iPhone or iPad is disabled. Franz Me, 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 me. What is up, Goat World? It is me, your boy, JDZ, and I'm back at you again with another Goat Format dueling stream. We have GFC. It is day number two. Today, we will have a new champion. Today, I have this trophy behind me. I don't know if you guys can see it right there. That's going to be going home with somebody today. Today, today, today. We're going to get this thing underway. Okay, okay. So, today, we have two rounds of Swiss followed by a double elimination top eight tournament. And I think it's going to be great based on what happened yesterday. It's a lot of talented duelists still locked and engaged, ready to get this thing started, ready to get this thing started. So we have approximately three minutes to get this bad boy underway and I'm ready for it. Hopefully you guys are locked in and motivated just like yesterday, just like last time, just like always goat world is going to be here. So I hope you're having a beautiful morning. As you can tell, the sun is shining. So your boy JDZ is up, up, up and I'm locked in and ready to go. Okay. 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 So let's see. Let's, let's get back to the, let's get back to the action and we can see what's happening with the, uh, with the people that are going to be participating today. As I stated before, there are going to be, uh, right now we have approximately 20, get this thing over there. Why is it so tiny? That's what she said. Okay, we're gonna pull this thing. Let's see if I can get this thing. No, let's just drag this whole thing over here. Maybe a little bit, a little bit bigger. That's also what she said. Still, still pretty small. She's still saying all that. But anyway, we got Moxie's who's leading the charge right now at seven and zero. Oh. So it's pretty safe to say that if you're in this top seven and zero oh situation, based on the way that this thing is going down, you're probably gonna be making it on to the top eight portion, but there's still motivation for you to keep playing at your best because you want to make sure you're at the top of the top. Because as I stated before this event, if you are at the top portion of that double elimination, you will start on the winner side. If you're at that bottom portion, you will start on the loser side. So it's, imp it's very important that you keep that zero column over there to ensure that you have a better chance going into that top eight, but there's still a lot of duels who are alive and well, a lot of cool things are happening. A lot of chaos turbo. Obviously, there is some last turn in here. There is a lot, a little bit of warriors actually showed up. So there is an opportunity to see some warriors in here. A lot of turbo. Maybe I saw a few goats in there too. So it's a little interesting spread. I don't have a full breakdown of what the top little 20 situation we have here is. So the pairing should be dropping out soon. Okay. Um, to donate to the prize pool. Good question. I got a question coming in for from from pan rocks in the dms sliding into the dm saying can we use uh the if you want to if, if you still want to donate to the prize pool currently it's sitting at 320 dollars usd okay if you want to donate i have my paypal the just paypal deliction what am i even saying dude i have it's, it's early no coffee yet no coffee it's a little bit earlier than yesterday i have my paypal links are in the announcements i can send them as well into the youtube perhaps or just go into the announcement on discord Get those links, and if you feel in your heart to donate, please feel free to do that. All of it is going to the player. What am I doing? Why is that me? Why am I seeing myself? Get that out of there. Why am I look? What that that could? Why that am I hearing could, myself? Oh my sick. gosh, dude! Shut up, dude. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, sh just close this completely. Ugh. Ugh. Close this completely. Ugh. Okay. Okay. We're ready to start. We're ready to start. Sorry about my malfeasance. Let me get this out of here. Let me get this out of here. And then we'll be ready to go. We'll be we'll be ready to go. Okay, so dueling book again. This it, why is this a replay? Get that out of here. What is going on, dude? My whole system is just falling apart. Everything is just coming unstowed, dude. Just ignore this guy again. We're not even gonna talk about him right now. Okay, just let him be there. And then we should be ready to go. So I believe um, I believe the pairings are announced. Let's get to the let's get back to the let's get back to the action. Okay. 
pairing should be announced. Let's, let's make sure because there was a little issue there. We were having some issues prior to this because some of the players were not submitting their replays. There was a little bit of confusion. Maybe there, it wasn't as clear as it could have been on my part, but there was a little bit of confusion. So we're still trying to track down a few duelists who did not submit their replays. I think that is uh that is an issue because we are collecting replays just to, for fairness and transparency across the board. We're just trying to keep them in there and some people put them in and some people didn't. So we're just trying to make that, uh, we're trying to make that clean up right now. And I think we're good to go. So let me hop, let me hop into the channel and see if we're ready to start. Make sure MMF is ready and then we can get, we can get it cracking again. Huge shout out to MMF, huge shout out to the staff. Without you, none of this would be possible or plausible. I can't see the chat right now, but I'm coming in in just a second. And then once we get started, we're going to lock in. I'm coming, I'm, you already know what time it is. Okay. All right. All right. Because that's that's another that's another issue that we have, and as um, you know, as a moderator or as a tournament organizer or any type of staff, the last thing I want to do is the last thing I want to do is to kick somebody or ban somebody or or throw somebody out of here or do something like that. That's the very give some giving people game losses, removing people from tournaments is the very last thing I want to do. But I'm telling you right now, when we announce this stuff and we say this is what we need to happen, and you don't do it. You got to look in the mirror and you got to blame yourself. OK, because it's been very clear. Like, this is how you do it. We got thrust. You shout out to thrust. He's showing you how to do it. Everyone's showing you how to do it. But you got to be paying attention. You got to be listening and you have to do what is asked of you to do if you want to participate in these events. Period. 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 That one hour early start messed up some West Coast folks. I mean, we, I, I announced, I clear, I clearly announced yesterday. I said it three times. I said it three times. Okay. This happened. This, this, this happened. Okay. Right here. Literally right here. Right there. Right there. It was, it was a, it was an update. We updated it. We updated it based on, based on the things. So. We can wait. We can wait a little bit. We can wait a little bit. Let's find them. Who's all missing? Who is missing? Let's try to find the, this. Let's not talk about what it is. Let's try to track them down and get them to and wake them up. Get his phone number. Get his Twitter. Get his Instagram. OK, get him on Discord and let's wake him up. Let's not talk about what has changed. Let's talk about what it is right now. Let's find the duelist and get him out here playing instead of running around in circles trying to talk about the, the ethics and morals of, of whatever. Okay, no pairings. Who us? Okay, we're in the chat. We're in the chat. We're in the chat. Okay, cool. Zogler is first. Yo, what's up? Madcap. Day two hype. I, I can't see. Oh, let me get. The, let me get some. You guys can't even see. You guys didn't even say anything. I had. To, I'm showing you stuff, and nobody can see. You're looking at my ugly mug, dude. Let's pull it back up. Let's pull it back up. That. Let's pull it. Let's pull it back up. Let's pull. Let's pull it back up. Let's pull it back up. All right. So I'm. I'm gonna pull this back up again. I'm over here running my running my jib. OK, flapping my yorps, dude, jamming my flams. And you guys can't even see what I'm talking about because you're looking at my ugly mug. Like, what the hell, dude? All right. So uh, this is this is what I showed. It's showing like the people who made it right here. Like I said, you got Moxie's in the top cut, Insidious, Herney Hog. These, these people are at the at the higher echelons right here. Um, there will be some X2s making it in. Actually, there'll be quite a few X2s making it in. But you want to be an X1 and you want to be XO. You want to keep those X's way low just to ensure that you have a higher opportunity to make it to that upper half of the uh, of the, of the top eight. OK, will day two list be shown on GOAT format? Yes, the day two list. Actually, um, the day two list will be out uh, at top eight. We're going to release the decks. Deck list will be open in top eight again, just for transparency's sake. I mean, understand that people may be using dueling bots. We understand people may have uh, dueling teams available to them who can harvest all these replays and scout all this stuff and, and other people may not. So just for transparency's sake and gaming sake and time sake, we're just going to release them. That's what we've been doing. And it's been working out all, all of our day two events. We just just to be up, just to be on on transparency's sake. We just released. OK, 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 cool. <laughs> all right, so all right, so ghost is up. Who who else is missing? Who else who else is missing? If if people are missing, 
I don't, like I said, I do. I, if we have to start a little bit later to accommodate people, I'm not trying to throw people out of the tournament for being slightly late. Let's let's you know let's let's not be let's not be totalitarians about it. Let's try to be a little bit flexible if we can, when we can. But at the same time, you got to be where you need to be. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And uh, we're we're getting it all sorted out now. What's happening over here? What's going on in Dueling Book World? What's cracking? What's cracking over here in DB in DB land? Man, what a good morning. I'm going back to the chat, man. You guys are way more lit over here. How does the top eight work? Is the top four playing each other? Yes. The top four will start off dueling each other. Okay. The top the top four will start out playing each other and then they will get knocked to the losers bracket. The bottom four playing each other and they'll get knocked the hell out of the tournament and they'll go on to play one of the top four that were knocked out they'll either win or lose knock them out and keep going we did this because for me i know a lot of people don't agree with it and that's fine too i'm not saying you have to agree with everything that we do and all the decisions that we make everyone is entitled to their own opinion and that's so fine because both sides have merit and they're both you know equal for the most part but i hate the i i personally disdain the idea of going undefeated in Swiss 7-0 8-0 in Swiss you go into a top cut and then you lose to the person that you beat at x2 and now you're out and they're going on you lost one time they lost twice you're out they're winning I hate that I never I never personally yeah that's just the way it is you just got to deal with it man that's the way it goes you just tell them to shut up and do it. Who cares? That's the way it is. Well, it doesn't have to be the way it is, okay? We have the power. We have the control. We can change the way it is. You don't have to maintain the status quo. You can do what you want. And this is, I think, more equitable to me. It doesn't have to be the way it is. Period. We can we can make those changes if you want. Format is cool, but top 16 is cool. Top 16 is also cool, but what happens mathematically <clears throat> Another thing I don't like about top 16 West. And again, I agree with you. I like I like top top 16. I like more of a top cut because it gives more people a chance to win and more people will continue to play for longer and more games for me as a content creator and as a streamer is great. But the issue I don't like about top 16, you got X2. I got X2. You're going in. I'm going home. I hate that. We lost to the same guys. We beat the same guys. Why am I going home and you're going on? I hate that. I hate that. I don't like that. I don't like that. And that's how it always ends up with top 16. Some people are going to make it in and some people are going to make it out. And those people that make it out just because of some arbitrary tie breaking clap, clappity clap. I hate that. It needs to be solved on the, on the field of play. It needs to be it needs to be figured out in Swiss. You play more Swiss rounds and only when you look at your record and that bitch says X3 on it, you'll be like, hey, I got X3. I didn't make it because I wasn't I just it just wasn't my day. You look at that thing. It says X2. I made it, but I lost twice. Damn, it is what it is. I'm in, but I got some work to do still. You XO, I'm in and I'm, I'm good. That's just and then you, 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 you resolve the rest of it later. Okay, enough, enough, enough jamming. I think we're ready to start. Okay, are we ready? We'll start when MMS says everything is there. Are we ready? Are we waiting on ghosts? Let's see, let's see. I think, I think we should be, I think we should be getting ready to start. We should be getting ready to go here soon. We should be getting double elimination though. It's bad for newcomers in my opinion. There are people who want to play games for the experience. Double elimination is the most fair structure. I don't think I don't think so either from an equity standpoint. It's fair in terms of a tournament standpoint, but from an equity standpoint, I don't think it's fair because if you lose early, you lose round 1. Okay? Guess what? You're playing double the amount of games to the guy who lost round 6. You both lost, but he lost later on. He lost later on in the tournament, so now he plays half the games you have to play to get to the same point. He has to play half the games. You're playing double the game sometimes. Literally. Like if you if it's a if it's a six round tournament, you lose round one. Guess what, asshole? Now you're playing 12 games. And the person who is on the top side is only playing six. That seems unequitable to me. Oh, and by the way, you can look at the bracket 
and just literally watch the person that you're playing next and get their whole deck, their whole side plan, their whole strategy, their whole thing before you even sit down and start playing. And then you load up and y'all got to play against each other because you can just literally see who, who you're playing next. So just because you're out front or you lost later, you get all this information, you're getting all this stuff. I just think it's it's a good it's a good thing, but there's some unfairness in double elimination as well. Um, they're all there's no there's no perfect solution. You just have to accept that there is no perfect solution and you can keep trying. Okay. So it looks like um Okay. So we got the pairings. The pairings are up. The pairings are up. The pairings are up. The pairings are up. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. I'll tag. I'll just tag. Uh, you could just tag everyone. I don't give a damn. Or let's tag. Uh, do 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 do. Maybe I'll make a quick roll with all these people real fast. I don't have. I don't have what it takes to do that, do I? Damn. 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 Okay. 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 Let's see. I will. I'm going to share it here. We'll just put it here. Okay. Here are the pairings for round number eight. Okay. We got AJ, AJT and Confuse Ray at five. Ali Muto and Herney Hog at six. I haven't seen Ali Muto play, so we might jump in there. I only, I'm not familiar with their game, but they're at six, so I kind of want to check them out. Andreas at five and the Pui at five. We got some great matches to start this thing off. We got Kia at six, Geronimo at six, Moxie's at seven, and Cities at seven. It's going to be an absolute banger, dude. It's going to be a banger, but I, I, feel, I feel confident that both of those duels are going to make it into the top eight portion of this tournament. So maybe we can come back to them next round or maybe at the end of this round. But I kind of want to see some people at, towards the bottom. And I want to see people grinding their way into this thing. So I want to see some Fox and Flashy. And I want to see um, Ali Muto and, and Herney try to try to see what they're going to do. All right, so we're about to get this party train rocking. The pairings are out. Let's go ahead and start tagging. And let's start dueling. Let's start dueling and let's start tagging. We got the tags coming in. We got the duels are ready. They're locked in, motivated, ready to play. Okay. They're locked in. They're woke up. They're in here. They're 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 hydrated and they're ready to duel, which is exactly what I could ever. That's all I can ever ask for, as as a as a tournament guy. And let's do it. What's Ali Muto's dueling handle? As I just say, I know Herney Hog. I'm gonna go Herney Hog here, and let's go to watch. Maybe they're already dueling, and they're already in the damn game. These duels are ready to play. I'm with it. And let's go, duelists. We are in. Let me fix my screen. Let me fix my screen. Let me fix my screen. We are in. This is the Go Format Championship. This is day two. I'm JDZ, and we are ready to rock. We're going to have a champion today. A new crown will be posted. A new Clash of Champions invitation will be given out today. Okay? We got Herney Hog starting strong. Great opening. Textbook turbo opening. You love it going first. Play a bunch of trend. Set a trap that shoot. Vibrate. You love it. As we got Pickums coming in. We got pickums coming in. We got pickums coming in. As Wes says, my picks are insidious. Gia, Herney, Demock, Danny, AJT against Greek. Easy win. Taking shots at Greece. And my gun is back too. Hey, yo. Taking shots at Greece for no reason. Dang. And Ghost Rider, Fancy, and Les. That's too many. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think I got nine in there. No. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. You got nine. You got to drop somebody off. You got to drop somebody off. Let me see your pickums. Get your pickums in. If you, I like, the, I like what you, I like the energy though, Wes. Get your, get your picks in. I want to see who you guys have as your top eight. And maybe if someone nails it, maybe if someone nails it, I could do another prize, huh? I can give something away. What do you guys want? I'm gonna go through my bulk, my bulk pile right here, and whatever I pull out, I will give. What we got here? What we got here? I got some cards here. I bought. I got some cards. I just bought. I have a what's pretty good. Damn, this thing is not good. These cards suck, man. I'm sorry. Maybe not. All right, here we go. Ultra rare. Uh, not one. I'm gonna keep that. I actually want that one. All right, I'll give you a. I'll give you a first edition, Mystic Swordsman level six, dude. How's that? I'm gonna take the price tag off so you guys can't can't judge me. Get your pickums in. Get your uh, get your pickums in now. You gotta do it right now though, within the next five minutes. I right, got ultra rare. Mystic Swordsman level six, dude. I'll send that to you right there. <laughs> if you win the pickups. <laughs> what are we picking? I need to see your top eight in order of who is going to finish in top eight. 
it's got to be the correct order and also the correct names, correct order, correct names. And then we're going to go for another uh, Sukiyomi loop established in this chaos turbo mirror. Yeah. Who top eights, who top eights in order. I need to pick them. DM it to me. D it, D I need your DMS in discord. It's, it can't be in comment section. Cause I don't want to write it all down. Send me your DMS in discord. If you want to participate in the pick -ems. <laughs> when the ultimate is that too tough that is that is pretty hard that is pretty damn hard but you hey whoever gets the closest whoever gets the closest you don't have to nail it whoever gets the closest is going to win whoever whoever is whoever gets the closest is going to win all right as we got to go ahead and set this thing down uh geo alves asked jdz is there any spice today there is a little bit of spice it's not a lot as you know this is a very meta tournament and chaos turbo is going to be what people are going to be playing uh, so there's a lot of chaos turbo in here there is some warrior in here i believe there's still a last turn deck floating around through the top cut and i think there might be a reasoning gate deck still floating through here um i'm not sure if it was machine or what the what the total build is but it's, it's it's a little bit in here not a lot but pretty good pretty, pretty yesterday we saw quite a bit actually uh i was busy winning goat locals with the patent pending earth aggro strategy dude earth you're you're going earth mode earth mode engage Let's go. Did you win? What did you win? What was the prize? Did you get some store credit? Are you breaking the bank? As we're gonna go ahead and send that Sukio flip me back to the deck. This night ass has been plusing. Okay, this is a dangerous combination when you can't stop it. I hate getting locked out with night ass. I hate getting locked out with anybody. Magician of Faith is pretty terrible, obviously, but night ass is something different, man. Just keep flipping that thing. Have your have your have your have your, have your uh, swarm of scarabs at home. Hate to see it. Hate to absolutely see it. Sick. Okay, cool, cool, cool. As we're gonna go ahead and rip the Minecon. Take over the Decoichi, it looks like. Just trying to get a draw, just trying to catch up, it seems. But now you have this very threatening Knight Assailant that is still face down that you have to deal with. So how are you gonna break it down? We got some cards now, five in hand. <clears throat> man bring back change of heart huh and trip this thing you think they do a huge go format tournament at nationals this year like they did for edison go format is turning 20 go format is turning 20 are we 20 yeah yeah it'll be 20 next year 2025 2025 will be 20 years of goats man that's nutty you think they would but I, i've had i have my theories and I've, I've laid them all out, but just to summarize how I feel, I don't think um, Konami cares much about Go Format because I don't think we make them enough money to care. And I think there are other more popular retro formats that they are investing more heavily in. Being Edison is number one, and Tengu is up and rising as as a, a number three right now, but they're probably going to overtake, per, you know, and be a number two kind of thing. Because from the reports that I'm hearing, I talked to a lot of people about different retro formats. And they're just saying like Tingle is, is pretty fun. A lot of people have a lot of have a lot of nostalgia for that format as well. And as we get older, you know, the average go format player is quite old. Um, nostalgia also ages, man. So the people who are nostalgic for goat format are just getting too old. And the people now the people who played in their peaks when you're 15, 14, 13, you're in 2010, you're in 2011, you're in 2012. And that is going that is going to continue to migrate more you know newer to newer things until you're playing like the shed all stuff the 2014 stuff i heard is really awesome that people uh remember fondly and that is what it's going to continue on does that mean hey go for is just going to collapse and die and no one's going to ever play it i don't think that's the case but i don't think to the point where they're like oh yeah unless unless what can what can happen pedro what can happen is it can be like people like a like a resurgence like another nostalgia push like a big nostalgia for the nostalgia i don't know kind of how like the 70s comes back in style every now and then in the 80s like right now my kids it's all the style is early 2000s which is so weird to me so creepy and weird like p kids are dressing how we dressed in early 2000 that's like cool again this is kind of kind of kind of kind of strange but still still pretty cool all right as we got graceful charity here so ali muto getting to the units Finding, finding the units, trying to counter the units that have already been discovered by Herney Hogg. 
getting that graceful charity. So we might have a game here, folks. These duelists might be gaming. This one, this one might be a good one. Cause you're already, you know, in the, in that little nice little range. Both duelists finding some trend early. Both duelists not just sacking the piss out of each other. You sent. Yes, you sent top eight cent from West. Okay, I'm gonna put West down. And then we got the sauce as well. The sauce sent as well. Free to enter. We should start. I don't want to do this. But I don't want to add like like any type of prize. But it could be fun. It could be fun to like have like a like a pool of who makes the who makes the top. But people will start throwing games and gambling. It's just gonna turn to a mess. But this is for free. It's for fun. The card is like a five dollar card maybe, and whoever wins gets the dub. As Rampage. I believe that's a little bounty. It's saying Moxie's is up 1-0. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Let's. I'm not secretly rooting for anybody. But I think I think GFC GFC champion Moxie's has a great ring to it. I really do. It really does. I, I I'm rooting for a lot of people, but Moxie's he puts in the work, man. I think he deserves it. I think he deserves it. As Daniel Angel says, what website slash platform do they use to play? Well, Daniel, this is DuelingBook.com. Huge shout out to DuelingBook. Huge shout out to DuelingBook.com. It is completely free, completely web-based. You don't have to download any plugins or upload any add-ons or bypass the matrix or jam into some thing. Just go to www.DuelingBook.com. Log in and you're dueling immediately, okay? You're not uploading the gigaflops and uh, download the bypass and marking the, marking the terror ram, dude. You're just in there immediately. Flashy takes game one versus it's Les. Oh man, I love this feel. I love the field reporter. I love the field reporter. I need to know. <clears throat> I need to know. Dang, got the coffee going. As we're thinking here, coming in from Ali Muto, still in that first main phase. Usually thinking of a chaos play here. You're at 5,500. Graveyard is set up nicely. Hand is looking set up nicely. But we're just going to go ahead and show some restraint. Just set one into the face of just a Koichi who's putting on a little bit of pressure. Putting on a little bit of pressure. Got to root for anyone. Got to root for anyone when it comes to the rehab takeover this season. Oh, dude, they've been... They, I don't... I don't... I can't... I don't know what to... I don't know what to attribute it to. Like, but they're just going crazy, man. Aren't they... I can't even hate. I can't even hate, dude. I can't even hate, dude. They're going crazy. They're going absolutely insane, man. I don't know what to. I don't know what what they're doing. How they're how they're so consistent. How they're crushing it so hard. But that whole organization, top to bottom, is absolutely going insane, dude. Banana bread throughout the whole dueling goat world. They've taken over. They've taken over. They've taken over the. They've taken over. Somebody's got to rise to oppose them at some point. But they are going crazy. Marcus Hayden says Nightbot blows. Dude, why you got beef with Nightbot, dude? Taking taking shots at the at the at the at the at the homie, dude? What did Nightbot do? Is my gun too loud, by the way? I, I had I had to work on some stuff last night. Is the gun is the gun too loud? Let me know. Moxie's opened like AJH. Them the breaks. Hey. Hey, you know, you know, you know what I say about the sack. You know what I say about the sack. You know what I say. Could be even could even be louder. Oh shit! You say, you say less, dude. Say less. Let me let me do a function check. I gotta get the gun up, dude. The gun is back. I gotta make up from yesterday. I did not get to shoot this bad boy that much yesterday. Gun check. Test fire. How's that? I didn't I didn't get to shoot this bad boy yesterday. I was having some issues. Test fire. I'm gonna do one more test fire, and then we're gonna be locked in. How about this? One more time. Test fire. How are we looking? Too much. Is that pretty good? Are we locked in? I think that's. I think that should be base boost that bad boy. <laughs> no, I can't. I can't. I can't go too high. I can't go too high with it because because uh, someone was saying like, "Hey man, I I was I was I was taking a go for Matt Doling shower right, and I had the stream on. I was like, hold up, pause. You can't be listening to your boy JDZ while you're in the shower, rinsing your body. But I'll let it pass though, because we homies, and I don't give. I'll give it up like that. He says, I was in the shower, just listen to the listen to the stream." And you fired a gun, and I almost slipped and bust my ass, dude, because it was so damn loud. You got to turn it down. And after that, I'm like, okay, I got to make sure I'm not out here literally blasting the homie. So let's go ahead and this. So I gotta, I gotta, I gotta make sure the, the pistol, the pistol is in, in in a good in a good volume. 
Okay, I can't be out here killing the homies out here. <laughs> Paul, I was like, <laughs> I was like, Paul, you can't be you can't be lathering up. Listen in the goat world. Turn that off. You know what I'm saying? Get your get get cleansed. Get out of there, and then lock back in. That's it. Hey, yo. Oh, I'm blasting the homie. Oh, <laughs> damn. Hey, yo. No, okay, but he finally made the commitment. We got the Sork down, and he's able to banish that damn pesky Dekoichi that has literally run your life points all the way to a healthy, healthy, attainable range. So parity has been broken, and Chaos Sorcerer has now hit the field. One big boy down for Alimuto's side, and he seemed like he is rested and ready to go. Herney holding three, still locked out of Chaos. No Thunder Dragon to be found, but you will go and rip the Nobleman Trying to bait something there. Nothing happening. No back row. You're just going to lose your sentence to Serpente. A little bit of bait on your half, your behalf, it seems, as you'd rather have that serpent go out than some other flip monster. And you do have the Thunder Dragon now. So your graveyard is established, but you have two backies to consider if you're going to make a chaos maneuver of your own. Unless the hand is known based on that second installation of Trap Dust Shoot, as the graveyard is looking great for Ali Muto, Herney needs to get to the Gasolina. Quick, Fortune must favor him. Starts off strong with the pot duo Goblin and then bails from there. As we're going to rip mine, Khan, be able to banish itself. And here you are back at an even state, it would seem. No, you're still down one. As we're going to pass back on over to Ali Muto, who is now holding four, sitting on two. Dang. What's Moxie's plan? Moxie's is playing the warrior strategy, it appears. Moxie is playing the warrior strategy, doing his thing, playing very well. The few streams that this few matches that we saw of Moxie's man, he's he's putting them down in the correct order and sequence. The deck seems ready to go. As we're flipping Magician of Faith, this could be a backbreaker. As you're able to get that faith to come up and resolve after setting that sinister serpente as the bait and getting that mind control pulled with the sork, and now you can get this graceful charity and try to run away with this thing. If you're Ali Muto. Who's sitting at a 1606 on the ladder? Damn, dueling. Herney Hogs at a 1516. Dueling. 11 bands. You only got three bands over here, though. So that's not that's not that many bands, but you're still cooking. As we're gonna go ahead and kick the graceful charity. Kick some TDs out. Cash those bad boys in. So now you got some real cards, and Herney needs to find some units quick. Because we have a uh, one piece of the Trinity left. <laughs> As K Real Kab Kabasuyuk says, "Yo Jay Z, do you play Yu-Gi-Oh with the family?" Um, I tried. I, I tried with my oldest daughter. Uh, my youngest daughter has been asking too. I tried with my wife a few times. She's just not feeling it, dude. She is not. She'll she'll play. I think she'll play, but I think that it's it's gonna take a lot more time because she's not a gamer like that at all. My my oldest could play. My oldest plays uh, Master Duel on the Switch. So she could figure it out, I think, relatively easy, but I just don't think they feel it as much as, as I do. And it just would take a lot of time. And if if they ever if they ever really say, hey, I really want to play, I'm serious about it and I want to do it, I'll I'll for sure teach them. And we can just play together. We play a lot of uh we play a lot of Lorcana together. That's the game that we play as a family. Because it's it's way easier and it's a lot of fun as well. And we all like, you know, we're kind of Disney nerds, as you guys know. I'm I'm Self, self-proclaimed self Disney nerd. I like all the Disney stuff. So we'll play that. <clears throat> and it's a good time. But maybe maybe someday. Maybe someday. Maybe someday. All right. Sorry, I got to... <clears throat> just woke up. Got a little... Get that. Get that out of, get that out of, out of there. Just like you guys need to get on that like button immediately. Let's, let's start it early. Let's start. We had a, we had a quite a few likes yesterday. I like the likes. It kind of lets me know that people are rocking with the program. If you can, go ahead and like the stream, share the stream, talk to your friends about it. Let them know that the Goat World is back, up and active. Also, go ahead and subscribe to the channel as you're going to go ahead and use a nice ring destruction just to stop that magician of faith loop. If that thing sets up on you with that grace of charity in there, you really can start kissing your ass goodbye immediately. Also, duos in there too. So. 
that was a good use of a uh, ring of destruction there. But this Knight of Satan is looking vibrant. Great play there by Ali Muto. He's going to get the Magician to face back yet again. So Herney Hog is going to be right back in this bind in a few turns. So that's a lot of stuff to consider as Tsukiyomi, Magician of Faith, looming. You need to get to an answer. You need to hold on to it. You need to not get baited out of this whole thing. So Ali Muto is kind of moving up in position in game number one as Herney Hog is still trying to find him. He's got four. Two of those are Thunders. Perhaps, yeah, it's not looking great. You need to get to that charity stat, cash those bad boys in, and you could be ready to cook. As now you got another threatening set monster onto the field. I'm not sure what it is. I looked away for a brief moment. Just the briefest of moments. The moments, and he found it. Look at that. What a time. What a time. What a time. As Graves of Charity now comes on in clean for the Herney Hog, and he's able to get to those Thunder Dragons cashed in, find some new units, and now you might be able to make some plays. You understand Magician of Faith Tsukiyomi in hand, looming. What can you do now? He's just going to have to be forced to set into the face of this monster on the field. <laughs> Les had game shot and attacked into a cyber jar, bro. That we saw that happen yesterday. Cyber jar is crushing. HMVB says I'm looking slick. Yo, you like that? I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Why did he thumbs up the thumbs up then chain ring? Um, hmm. I don't know. Maybe he felt felt the vibes, dude. I, you can do that. I think you can do that. You thumbs up and you have to say that you're, I have no response to your summon, but you can chain to the effect maybe. Yeah. Thumbs up the thumbs up the summon. No TT. You're out of the summon window. And now I declare the effect of Tsukiyomi. Target Magician of Faith. Chain ring. I think that's correct. He's good. He's clean. He already targeted Moth with Suk. Yeah. I think, but you have to, you have to no negate because there's a, there's a summoning window from what I understand. And we've gone through this in War League at at nauseum okay from what i've gathered in my research and i'll bring that back to you guys if you are an advanced level player you probably know all this stuff if you are a novice level player you may not but when you summon there is a specific time called the summon window okay there's a summon window if if you thumbs up as the turn player that means you have no response in your summon window that leaves it up to your opponent who has an opportunity to play a card in your summoning window. If they thumbs up and do nothing, that means they have played no card in your summoning window. Then you go beyond that into another, another turn. So it's like, so if he comes, so yeah, it's, I think it's fine. There was no, there was no, uh, there was no issue there, <clears throat> but Herney hog is cooking now as you got your magician of faith to go off. So both of these duels are absolutely putting these, man, in this, this is, this is the kind of stuff that a lot that a lot of, like I miss when I'm watching these turbo mirrors after the 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th time or whatever. It does get a little redundant. But if you notice, like, and I'm about to sound like an idiot, dude. Not an idiot, but like if you don't get it, you won't ever get it. But if you just notice how they're how they're putting their stuff down, how they're setting, when are they setting, what are they setting, how is it all going? Like, are they like the the it's like a back and forth kind of what is this card? What could it be? What resource are you going to use to get rid of it? Are you going to waste or get break? What are you going to discard? How is it going to work? When is he going to put that faith down? How is he going to get used out of Tsukiyomi? Like, are you going to attack? Is it GK Spy? Is it, and it is GK Spy? So it's like, I don't know, man. I don't know. I think it's cool. I think it's cool. I think it's cool stuff. I think it's cool stuff. I, I think it's cool stuff. All right. But I think, I think that's, uh, I think that it's kind of the game now. So you have to be able to, do that stuff pretty well as we're going to go ahead and set another card now this is dangerous right here this is dangerous if you're herny like you gotta this new set man you gotta rip you gotta but he also has i think he has serpent and no serpent got knocked i mean you gotta play like you gotta play it like it's real as we're gonna go ahead and souk on the spy here souk on the spy and then attack into the first set and it's going to be your own gk spy there so maybe we're setting up for a 
some tribage, perhaps. Who knows what Herney Hogg is thinking about? As we're going to go ahead and set another card onto the field. And now we're going to MST that right away. So now, if that is that Magician of Fate Tsukiyomi loop, you can pull even further out as Herney Hogg is trying to climb, climb, climb back into this duel. But we'll see how it goes down. Or maybe Ali Muto got bluffed, got bluffed by the bluff. And it was the faith. So the faith is now up and active. And you're going to go for that Grace of Charity. Just dig ever so deeper into your GOAT format dueling deck. Three more coming off for Ali Muto. But I don't think that Ali Muto has a, has a positive discard. I don't think. I think that uh, he might be out of night ass. That's going to kick the GK Spy. No Serpent. No TD. So this Grace was strong. But it's not as strong as it usually is with this Turbo deck. Because your discards aren't as uh, aren't as readily available, unless he got second night ass. Did he? Where did, maybe he's only playing the one. I'm not sure what the hell's going on. <laughs> News report coming in from West Fowler says game two. AJT BLS is a grind. He has plus six, but now just breaking through. Likely going to a game three. I gotta get my news. I gotta get my news music ready. Where's just because I gotta get my news music ready. Cause that's good stuff, man. That's awesome. I like I like that. Wes Wes keeping it going. All right. Get my news music locked in. Let's try to find it. Oh, son of a bitch, dude. Son of a bitch. Here we go. As uh as we're waiting on those discards, this is a tough spot. This is a freaking tough spot, man. It's a tough spot. We're in a tight spot, boys. Oh, God dang it, YouTube. What is that? What's happening to it? All right, here we go. I got it set up now. So next next news report, we can we can break it down the right way, dude. I don't know why I'm why I'm playing like I don't know what the hell is going on when I so clearly do. All right, let's put the chat over here. Now the chat's gone. I, I hate YouTube, bro. YouTube is trash. Just let me live, bro. Just make that tw 20 feet long and everything else can be microscopic. I don't need any of the, any of your information. Who cares about any of that? Okay, we're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're so up, dude. As we're going to kick the Nomen of Cross out and, excuse me, we're going to kick the Heavy Storm and GK Spy. We're going to be the the think there and then we're going to use that nomen cross out on the flip down gk spy and we're going chaos time it's macaroni time you're feeling it and chaos Sork is going to be out active ready to swing or ready to banish let's see what he's going to be up to let's see what he's going to be up to in the first main phase let's see what this bad boy is going to be up to Hmm. The stare down is real. The emotions are real. The cases are real. Damn. And we're we're stuck, dude. Are we? Is it me? Am I timed out? One second, please. Just had a little think. Maybe doing some calculation. Let's run some numbers as well. Let's get the numbers up. Where's my calculator at? Let's get some numbers out here. What are we? What are we calculating, dude? Oh, we got we got three thousand because you know BLS is part of this equation. Plus twenty three. Plus sixteen. Plus twelve. Yeah, that'd be if there is a black lusted one. This thing is cooked. If he's there, this thing is a. <laughs> oh, hey oh, get that out of there. Uh if there is a if there is a black lusted one. Nate Dog is saying if Herney if Herney has the has the tribe coming in next turn, if you can survive one and you can tribe up, this could be a game. This could this could this could be the end of the duel. Perhaps. Perhaps. No, no, if, if Herney has tribe, if Herney if Herney comes back and survives this turn, 
because when people start busting out the damn abacus and start doing arithmetic in the middle of the duel, you just start saying, oh, damn, it's probably cooked. I'm probably finished. But if he does have the tribe, and he very well could, you're over, you're well over half your, your deck has been seen, and tribe is a card that is virtually a staple in every deck. As we're going for a snatch deal. Okay, so maybe, yeah, maybe the play is snatch, attack, attack, attack. How much is that? And then there could be a ring of destruction as well. So that could be what it is. As we're at 24, 16, 23. 300 and then ring and we're out of there so yeah that's what it is that is what it was it is the ringu of destruction and ring takes another one dude what a what an asshole of a card you can't stop it yeah you can't stop it yeah the old the old fatal abacus dude when they start when they start counting beans dude and then start running numbers and uh, well, if I just simply add carry the one, four, five, eight, seven, seven, nine, f f quadrilateral of pi equal to the. Mm, dude, I lost. Just scoop, bro. Come out of here. I don't got time for your mathematics, dweeb. You nerd. I don't got time for you over here counting. Well, if I just carry the one plus the five, eight, uh, minus the six, uh, add the. Just, just shove off, dude. Get out of my damn face. <laughs> well, if I carry the one minus five, divide by the corollary of add sine, cosine, and tangent. Equal to nerd, dude. Shove off, dude. You beat me. Ah, that was a good match, though. I think I think that was well played by both duelists. It just came down to it just came down to a little bit, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, as you guys know the vibe. Okay, so we're going on into a game two scenario. Game two, El, uh, Herney Hog will be leading us off. Had a pretty strong start last time, but Ali Muto got to the units required to counter counteract the strong start as upstart goblin double upstart goblin just money in the bank dude coming on in into a graceful charity so you're starting off strong again if you kick double night ass i'm pissed off dude i'm calling your dueling book manager as you kick one decoichi and then you're going to add decoichi back to your hand so that's still another strong start coming in from that red corner player as the trend flow and you guys shoot again so go first, play a ton of green, play some trend, get a plus. Great, great start for this deck, man. That's, that's, I mean, what can you do? That's all. I, Ali is my man. Do it, brother. Ali is your guy. Yo, shout out to Ali. Tell me something about Ali. What do you, what do you know about Ali? Are you guys friends IRL? I don't know much about I, Ali. Okay. Give me some, give me some feedback on Ali. I need to know these duels. I don't. I feel bad not knowing who Ali is, but they seem strong, competent, and capable. And hopefully they stick around the goat world a little bit more if they're out here absolutely cooking. Okay, we got some we got some votes coming in. I see the votes. I see the votes. I see I see the votes are coming in. Okay, I see that. Cool, 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 cool. I love it. Some of these are pretty good. Some of these are pretty good. Some people might be whoever gets the closest. Whoever gets the closest, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you the prize. Some if you even if you don't hit it uh dead on. But Ali Muto swinging back, swinging back hard, coming in with a little bit of Trinity of your own. So you're gonna be able to use that delinquent duo, rip some units, and try to even up this game position. Delinquent duo, hate it or love it, the underdog is on top. All right, let's see what's cracking. Ali is Osnabrück's finest. Is that a fact? Dude, Germany is up, dude. Is that a fact? Yo, huge shout out to Osnabrück then. Huge shout out to German goats. And I'm telling you, man, huge shout out to European goats in general. Maybe Germany is up next. Right now, I, I, my unbiased opinion, I believe goats still completely runs through Italy. I think Italy is the, the forefront of goat format Yu-Gi-Oh! right now. I, I feel that way personally, just based on experience and the way the game is played. They have huge tournaments all the time. They give it up for goats heavily over there in Italy. But I think Germany is a fast contender as goat format headquarters, man. The country, Deutschland, dude, out there. 
getting it in. They play they play heavy numbers and they have some really really strong players. The issue, the only issue I have with with German ghosts, we just need them in, online more. Italy is kind of they don't they don't play as online as much as they used to. They used to have a nice heavy online presence, but that's kind of uh, fading fading down again as other things become more popular. But Germany is there. Greece is there. Greece is there. Wes Fowler. Wes Fowler and his hatred for Greece is hilarious. Okay. I don't I don't know why that is. I have nothing but uh, adoration for these for these Greek dudes. But Wes is out here taking shot after shot after the whole continent country of Greece for for whatever reason. As Ali Muto has shifted into what appears to be a scapegoat type deck. There are scapegoats here. Scapegoats are present. I don't know how well those suit you in this matchup, but having scapegoats in could be the play as Ali Muto is going to be rocking scapegoat and metamorphosis. And the pro set heavy storm is going to go one for one with a solemn judgment. Great use of a heavy storm. You don't get your 4,000, but you are going to go ahead and play metamorphosis here as you bring forth the thousand eyes restrict. Look at this bad boy, man. I miss this guy. I miss this guy, man. I love seeing this guy. I love participating with this guy. I love playing. With this guy, hey yo, no pause. But man, I I he's just never around anymore. People just aren't rocking with the homie anymore. He's out. He's so out. <laughs> he is so out, man. As tribal one is gonna be out. We're gonna kick the thunder dragon. Just get rid of all those spellcasters right away. Let's see if we kick another, or we're we just gonna attack over. And we'll just attack over. Uh, Wes says, Wes says, when I started playing, the Greeks were flooding goats. So you have an old school hatred with, with the Greeks as moral games says JDZ format. No, 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 no. This is, this, this is goat. This is goat format. I am just, I am just the host with the most often imitated, never duplicated the mustache menace, the mustachio menace straight from the dentist. Okay. Bear witness to me. Okay. I'm JDZ and I'm out here. And you're out here and together we ride but it ain't about me it's about we and together we're gonna get it done okay as the saw says there are are there there are other players from greek aside from the gardener yeah they got a ton of greek players man what are you talking about man what are you talking about geronimo is in his thing he's greek we got uh we got uh evans gr is greek we got zogler is greek we got so many we got the whole nemesis crew out there you got maru 13 out there from greece who else we got who else we got there's a lot there's a lot i'm i'm my brain is still asleep i got this coffee coming on board but there are a ton of greek duelists out there check it out go do your research shout out to the ogs salute to the real ones go check out the 2005 goat format world champion okay the only one we got the only one we got it's going to be from Greece, okay? From from Greece, not America. America has never won a GOAT format world championship. Not even once. Not even back in the day. As we're, whoa, look at the tech, dude. Don't, don't hate the technique. I just missed it. And we're going to go push, push, push. We're all in, dude. And your cheeks have been absolutely busted here. Just go ahead and scoop it up. Let's Karibo. That's a lot of damage, dude. That's a GG. No re, and we're out of here. But y'all see the tech? Don't 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 hate the tech, dude. If if it worked, keep it in, big dog. Did you see the tech, dude? Did you see the tech? Oh, dude, that's the hidden tech. That's the secret tech. Okay, don't let the cat out of the bag, dude. But that thing can go absolutely crazy. Now you better if you're if you're if you're Henry Hong, dude, you better play around that damn uh, four star ladybug of doom, or your ass is gonna be doomed, bro. It's gonna be over for you, dude. Four star ladybug of doom is back at it again, dude. Let's get active, bro. That thing could have popped off. I would have lost my damn mind. Where the hell did that thing come from? Love to see it. Love to absolutely see it. That's so sick. <laughs> That's so sick. Hopefully, if that, if that thing popped off, dude. JDZ, it, JDZ, a Greek actually won the 2005 World Championship. That's what I mean. Oh, did I say what I say? The world, the world championship, yeah, in two thousand and five, was a Greek player. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, it's real, it's real, it's real. The the only, the only goat format 
real 2005 champion was from Greece, man. So they are always on that no matter what. No matter what. But Italy is up right now. They have two. France has one. Germany has one. America has zero. Okay. I hate to see it. And I'm sick. As we're going to go ahead and hit the Thunder Dragon right now. Thunder Dragon up for two. Wes Fowler says, Rob Cedar gets the dub. Okay. Okay. Rob Cedar moving on. Going strong. This just in at the GOAT Format Championship, day number two. The duel has come out slashing and dashing in a match, in a race to the finish to see who's going to make the top eight. Rob Cedar has got the dub and moved on. More at six. <laughs> More at six. It's always at six. More at six. Something like that. Something like that. We'll work on it. I got I to gotta get it better. We'll work on it. AJT gets a dub too. Oh, <laughs> AJT is cooking. GFC champion AJT 519 gang trying to trying to overthrow the rehab organization. Is that real? 519? AJT's been down this season. He has been down. He has been down. But he's been working a lot. I've been talking a lot to this to this uh to this duelist. He's been working a lot. So he hasn't been playing as much. But man, he has he hasn't he hasn't been crushing like he did uh during his POTY run. As we got GK Spies are up. One in attack position, one in defense position. That four-star ladybug's about to go crazy, dude. That thing just pop off. We're gonna be. <laughs> we gonna. Be... Wes is killing me, dude. Wes is killing me. Wes is killing me, dude. Advocates mode activate. <laughs> is that what it is, dude? Is that what it is now? Ah, oh, dude. When he busts out the advocates, dude. When the beans start sliding. When you start. When you start fingers and when you start fingers and toes in it, dude. When you start calculating, oh shit, dude, just scoop, bro. It's I'm cooked. I'm finished. It never very, very rarely, I'm talking like 20% of the time, do they go, hey man, calculating. Let me I'm I'm just calculating real quick. Do they rarely go come back and be like, hey, you know what? I just miscounted. I don't got it. Matter of fact, I'm way off. I'm like 20,000 life points off. <laughs> when you start counting your fingers and toes, dude, I'm way off, bro. I got nothing. I don't know what I was thinking. My hand's dead as hell. I got no, or you can start doing that. That could be like a psychological operation. You can start running. It's like play reasoning gate or play Stein gate, say calculating and then just scoop. Cause you don't got it. And maybe they might just say, all right, whatever. I'm out and scoop. Just sneak some, just sneak some Dublinskis there. That could be the, that could be the energy. <clears throat> that could be the energy. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That could that could be the energy as we're flipping as we're flipping to Koichi. Add one. So Hen Herney Hog is in a is in a pretty decent spot here. Do a four star ladybug one time, please, 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 please. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> damn it, damn it. As we get the as we get the twelve twelve is going to get in clean and Herney is up up up. Again, we still holding thunders. One up start. Start was a little bit slower this time, but still, um, not not the greatest. <laughs> I'm calculating, and then he drops double limiter. Is that did that really just happen? I mean, did that really just happen? Did that really just go down? Did did someone say, "Give me a second, I'm calculating," and just drop double limiter on an open on a clear on a clear on a clear day? That that might be BM. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay, okay, <laughs> okay. I was about to say that might that might be uh that might be BM. As we're gonna go ahead and set another car onto the field in defense position and pass. <clears throat> Excuse me. Cease fire is criminally underplayed. Um, I have been trying. Like I play, I've, I've been playing a lot of Pac Man for for that video that I made. I play, I've been, I played a way more pac-man than probably any human being should to make that video and i was doing like trying to build that deck and like doing research on pac-man stuff i played so much pac-man and during my analysis of playing a billion rounds of pac-man i deduced that ceasefire is pretty damn good dude see i i think see i think ceasefire is pretty damn good 
I was jamming. I was jamming people up. Zago says Pac Man might be loved, dude. Try it. Try to put ceasefire. Try to build a Pac Man deck and put a ceasefire in it. It's really, really cool. It's really, it's a really cool card. And right, like right now, you're doing, you're doing a pretty nice size amount of damage, and you're gonna be able to, to stop the flips too. I think that's pretty cool. It's, it's a neg though. You can't. And the way, the way, the way goat format is right now. Maybe back in the day, a couple of years ago, when it wasn't as uh, as streamlined and as analyzed, you could afford to play a card that that negs or doesn't have value in the game field of play. But everything is so streamlined right now. Like one card that negs could be in a match could be the difference maker in winning and losing. I'm picking I'm picking ceasefire over desert sunlight for me because I want that I need that damage. I need everyone's playing solemn judgments. You gotta everyone's playing you're playing duo, solemn judgment, this and that. Brain control. What is what is happening, dude? Brain con. We got the text, dude. LA Muto's got this thing tagged out for no reason, dude. Brain con coming in. And duo is coming in. So now you're able to uh, uh slip by the sinister serpent and you're gonna get a little bit of value out of this thing. Granted that Thunder Dragon's gonna come out with the greatest vigor and speed that you've ever seen. So you're getting one car, and it is going to be that Thunder Dragon. So that's super disappointing for you. But at least you will for sure get another car. And now Her Herney Hog has to think about what that is. Dude, that text, dude. The texts are in. As we're sitting here with this Dekoichi now. Dekoichi Sukuyomi Loop established. If you can protect, maybe you can vibrate here. As uh, standby phase is called, do you have the Dusty Boy? Is there a shooter? There is no trap to shoot. You're just going to kind of have to kick it and hope for the best as your whole card might have to be able to stall you out a little bit wrong, a little bit longer. As West Fowler says, I will, f all Ali is a god. I will follow him wherever he <laughs> As West has just proclaimed his allegiance to Ali, dude. Okay. I can respect that. Nasan al Gib. What is Al Gib? What Al Gaib? How does it on, uh, on, on Dune? Al Gaib. As we're ripping the TT, you will take a neg there, but Breaker was going to neg your ass anyway. So you might as well just go, uh, just lose it, just lose it that way. As Ghost Rider goes down, Ghost Rider is Listen Al Gaib. That's Ali. Is that Ali Muto? That's a vibe. <laughs> Wes has just claimed allegiance and will follow him into the end of the earth. As we're still holding, you still got uh, the opportunity. Your graveyard is set up. Your normal summon is gone for Herney, but maybe you're thinking about going chaos to put up some pressure. TT is gone. You got an open board with 48 left. It's not even your turn. What am I talking about? He did not do that. He could have, but he didn't. Ah, saved it. But now we're in main phase one for Ali Muto, and maybe Ali Muto can do that as well. Send some guys in, but like not to do that. We're just going to set it up. We're going to set it up as... Uh, as a, as a little got a little finish off the T set, kick it on over to Herney. Uh, Real my dad says any base duelist in the top eight. By base, I mean not Chaos Turbo. Any base duelist. Um, we, we, once we get a little after this round, we can see who all is remaining. But there were some. I mean, this Kelly Muto's playing some Chaos Turbo, but I'm 40. Okay, damn near 40, so I can't be out here calling things base and not base because I it just won't be natural for me to to, to do that. I remember uh, Lil B, the base god. How, he's got to be 40 now, too. He was, he's, he's the one with the whole base, base this, base that. I, I can't be based. I'm sorry. I, tr I try, and I just look like an idiot if I'm out here talking, talking like that. Let's see. How old is Lil B? How old is Lil B, the base god? He's got to be 35, right? He's 34. Okay, so Lil B, is, Lil, Lil, Lil B the base god, is 34. He's got to be... He's so <laughs> he's got he's got to be somewhere in there. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Yeah, Lil, yeah, Lil B, Lil B is old. You're thinking 25, dude. Lil B was out 10 years ago, and we got Reaper in there too. And we're no man, though. How many cars is this duelist playing? I gotta see the deck. Ali Muto is Ali Muto's got the tech, dude. He's got so much tech in this deck. You got to be cutting stables at this point. You're playing so much tech. You got so much tech as you're going to rip in with the Reaper. Don't fear the Reaper. You reap what you sow. Reaper on the, on the, what is I lost it, dude. I had it. 
I am old as I am old AF too. I only say bass ironically. I, I tried it. I want to say it because I think it's a cool thing to say. It sounds cool when other people say it. And I want to obviously be cool as Night Assailant is going to be a terrible rip. So you get a guy. Did he did he resolve that? You have to resolve that if he ripped that Night Assailant. Still. That is mandatory effect. Did that Night Assailant just get ripped? Did Herney Hog add? Did it, did they that when night assailant is mandatory? So you, if he did not add, I'll text him. I hate jumping in games, but that night assailant is mandatory. If he did not add, if that got if that got ripped, what happened? Can someone help me out? Let's. He added the question. Okay, okay, my bad. I'm over here googling Lil B the base god. People say things unironically until they say it as it is. I do. I am grumble. I am very guilty of that. One hundred percent. Cause I work with people who are way younger than I am and they will start using like young people slang around me. And I will start saying it un saying it ironically until I start saying it normally. Like there are some things that people even say in the discord. I'll take that to work and start saying it because people are typing it. And I start saying it very influenceable, dude. I, people, people say things like that and I just ingest it and I start saying it too, you know, lit. I never said lit. I say lit all the time now. And now lit is even old. Old thing to say. I say, uh, as we're going to go ahead and pop the Decoichi. Okay. Okay. He got back. He got back. He got back. Deco. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I missed it. I just looked away for a second. And now we're going main phase two chaos here. It looks like Sork is going to have to come out and banish little Reaper, the base God, get him out of there. And it's fine. You know, getting, getting old forgot about mid. That's a silly one. I say mid because again, everyone else says mid. I speak that Riz. No, <laughs> I speak that. I speak that Riz. Like my kids, they start saying skibbity. Everything is skibbity, and they start calling everyone chat. They say hey chat. Like they talk like they're streaming. Hey chat. Hey chat. Yo chat. What's up chat? They talk to each other like that, and it's so bad, dude. And now I start doing it with them. Skibbity. Everything is skip. Oh, that's not skippity. They say phantom tax. I don't even know what the hell that means. Like that one, I have no clue what that one means. What the hell is a phantom tax? What is what is the what is a phantom tax, dude? Got that Rizzler? Shout out to Meat Canyon with the chat, dude. <laughs> chat? I don't know. I don't, dude. It's I I don't know. You guys gotta help put, get put me on game. Put me on game. I'm gonna start going back as this mind control is actually super duper strong because this set's got to be real. You got way too much tech for this set monster not to be a juicy magician of faith, and it's gonna feel so bad. What is it? What is it? Unless he's bluff, unless he's bluff master central, add in. You knew it was faith, dude. You knew faith was there. That just seemed very faith like. That, that seemed very fake. I need a Meat Canyon. I need Meat Canyon to make a spoof of JDZ streaming. Oh, God, dude. It'd be so bad. It'd be me, like, horribly drawn with, like, a bald ass, like, extra bald head, a super thick mustache, fucked up teeth, a shiny jacket, talking to myself as multiple characters. Dang, dude. It'd be a mess. As we did have the Ring of Destruction. So that's going to be able to drop uh, Ali Muto down to 25. Hernie's at 53. Is that Sugiyomi still looming? What game was that? Did I miss the game that that happened in? I could be, uh, I could be, I could be losing it as we're going to go ahead and set another Mon onto the field. So Sugiyomi is still looming. I think that was a previous game or it might be this game. Hell, I don't know. Hell, out. these turbo mirrors be blending together sometimes, but it could be a soup there. Uh, Herney could be rocking TT, perhaps. I know a lot of people have been kind of taking that card out of their composition. It was a Tsukiyomi. So it was Tsukiyomi still present. We're going to think about it. You can get rung up here again as Herney is thinking about doing that. Could be SJ as well. You could rip if he felt so inclined. You could rip. I can see a plot twist. JDZ turns off the stream after Turbo wins another event. He looks all grumpy and he goes downstairs to his shrine. <laughs> T you think you think it's a, uh, you think it's a conspiracy? Like my hatred for Chaos Turbo is only my love for Chaos Turbo to make it 
to keep it going up? Maybe. Nah, 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 man. No, I, I just talk. I just talk crap about it because it's uh, because it's just so it's so prevalent. If Chaos Herbo was only played um, like at twenty percent of the the meta or ten percent of the tournament entries played Chaos Turbo, it would still very well be the best deck, and I probably wouldn't talk so negatively about it. It's just because everyone plays it to the point where the detractors and the naysayers and the people who don't play this format or don't like this format believe that that's all you can do. And to a certain extent that even might be true, but I don't think it is. I think that if people just said, Hey, you know what? Maybe I might not be as optimal. Maybe I might not be at, at my best, but I want to demonstrate that I'm better than the field. And the way you do that, at least in my opinion, at this point, 20 years in goat format, the way you do that is by doing something that other people have not done or can't do. If you win a tournament and you're playing an off meta deck, you are better than everyone else because guess what? Everyone else has already won a tournament playing the meta strategies. In my opinion, that's my assessment. As you're going to go through the rigmarole. What y'all doing right now? What y'all doing? Turn that damn TV down. Sorry, just yelling at my kids in an old Southern man's accent. Dude, I, I do that all the time. That's my bad. Randomly. They can't hear me anyway. They don't give a damn about what I'm saying. <laughs> As we're just going to hard summon the Koichi, and then we're going to do a lot of damage here. That was a risky, risky maneuver because Chaos could have just absolutely blasted you up out of here. That Magician of Faith was alone and unafraid. You got to set something there, right? You got to put something down. You got to put something onto the field, just a bluff. You got nothing to even, I would have had to bluff something right there. I would have had to put something out there to protect this, to just, that Magician of Faith was looking way too open. <laughs> oh man, really strong Kaiku. This is a vigorous Kaiku. You needed to stick, ring your dead. Now, you would have already rung up that Dekoichi last turn, so there's probably no ring. It's got a mirror. What do you got? I'll just text him, dude. I'll text him. Hold up. Zelda! Come here! All right. And we're gonna go with Enfei still, still no trap. Are you just monster jammed up? And you got the Kaiku and that's gonna be a GG. Hey, can you guys turn it down and keep it down? That's not very skibbity bebop. Um, <laughs> it's not very skibbity, all right? Thank you. And that's gonna be a GG as Tribe. He probably topped that thing too. What the hell was in his hand? All monsters, oh, that's what it was. He was just absolutely, <laughs> it was just monster jammed up. Hate to see it. That sucks, man. No chaos either. No chaos, just all mons, no chaos, as Herney Hog is going to get the Herney dub. Hate to see it. Hate to see it, man. That's that's life. Hate to see it. Dang, that sucks for being monster jammed. All right, so it looks like we have 25, five, five seconds, seconds, seconds left in the round as we're counting down. So let's pull the uh, let's pull this back up one more time. Let's pull this thing back up one more time. Let's see who all we got. Oh, it's on Discord, man. I swear to goodness. I, I just promised, dude. Let's see who we got out here. Let's see who we got out here as match Dirty Dan. <laughs> Dirty Dan. <laughs> That's a good name. Dirty Dan. Rux and Muchates getting it in. Okay, I don't know who these people are. I don't know who these people are. We got Stan God out here getting active on the rated ladder. And I think we're rounds complete. I think we're rounds complete for round number eight. I think we're rounds complete for round number eight. We need more sleeper meta tournaments. I agree. That could be fun. That can be, uh, that, that could be, that could be fun. That could be fun. That could be fun. Okay. So, so, and what, what, what might ultimately end up happening? Um, and I was thinking about this last night and I was talking to some other people about it. Cause sometimes when I get like in a, in, in, in a downward funk, you know, talking about the goat world, talking about, you know, the, the way things are and the tournament structures and all the negative things people say, sometimes I get like in a, a legitimately, I just get down on it. I'm like, oh man, I don't know. So what might end up like it might just be like 
what the future, I don't know what the future holds. You know, we got to go from our world championship. So I already have obligations. We have events laid on to get us to the GOAT world. And it's going to be a, a feat as, as it always is. But maybe next year, maybe we might just do less tournaments. I think maybe we're oversaturating ourselves with how many tournaments we do. Maybe less PWCQs, less um, and more open free events. I maybe go back to one PWCQ a month and then that'll open up more time for the staff to do. Like I love the nitro circus. I love that. That's my favorite tournament that I host and that I'm a part of. I think it's great. I think those are fun. And then it's, um, and then we can have that be like a larger scale, um, event like on a Saturday or Sunday. Cause right now we're just jam packed. We're wall to wall and it's nonstop throughout the throughout the year or maybe i can i can find people to run the tournaments because i love the streaming i love streaming i love creating the videos i love the editing process it's very therapeutic for me i love all of that i love the discord i love hanging out but i really 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 do not love the tournament organizing aspect i don't like the judging i don't like that part so maybe if i could figure out a way to export that or put or find a way to have other people do that for the goat world and I could just sit back and stream it. I would, I would love, I would much prefer that. But the staff is so limited, and we're losing more people every day because it's the 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 constituents are treacherous, man. People treacherous. People don't, people don't, uh, people do not rock with it like that. So it's just, it's just something that I'm thinking about. That's something that I'm thinking about. So we are, uh, we are uh, on our way. If you intend to drop this round and still have tournament this row, please let me know. Okay, MMF is cooking. So I it looks like we're getting it all set up. It looks like everything is underway. And uh, and it's, and it's going to be good to go. Zavoma says, yeah, you're right. Too many PWCQs. And it seems like it's, yeah, I, I think we might have to. So what, what may end up happening is next year, we'll go back to one PWCQ a month. And it'll alternate between a Saturday or a Sunday. And we can have maybe some start at a European time, some start at a West Coast time. Just change the times a little bit. <laughs> change change the times a little bit just to ensure more people can play and just just decrease the amount. Because right now it seems like we're going PWCQ, 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 and we're just doing tournament coverage. And we're not able, and it's just not allowing a lot of time to do other events that I want to do. Uh, it's not allowing a lot of time to do other content I want to make because we're just doing too many tournaments. And also, it seemed like the people are getting burned out a lot faster because we're grinding so hard. So it might mean we might have to open up new avenues for people to get to the world, the Go Format World Championship. So if we need to add more GFCs, lower the PWCQs, add more world qualifying events, lower the PWCQs, and just lower the amount of events all around, that's something that uh, myself and the new staff are going to talk about thoroughly post Worlds this year. As I stated before, I don't think I want to make any changes right now this year going into the go from world championship because we already have that stuff laid on it's already been announced um and that's 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 how it's going to be but going into after worlds um because now we're getting into we're getting into ggp season my ideal dream would be you have your go format online season ends in may the ggp season picks up in may throughout the summer and then you go to worlds in october that's my idea and I think that would be really cool because people can travel during the summer. You're playing IRL in the summer. You're playing online in the winter, and it all just makes uh, it all just makes everything everything nice. But as of right now, I think there are just too many tournaments, and that will be addressed. So stay tuned. More to follow on that, and we'll figure we'll figure it out as we go. But still, it's still chill. It's still chill. Okay, Francesco Tonello says, first time playing in years. What deck should I build? The first time playing, I would get into the Discord. And I would look, I would just go down the list of the decks. If you're trying to play, depending on how you're trying to play, if you're trying to play very competitively, if you're trying to play in a competitive fashion, I would start with the most competitive decks and start there. If you're buying cards, buy the best. And then as you learn the format or as you try to want to start different things, then you start experimenting with the more rogue and random. Unless you're just a spice guy and you just want to cook, then go for the spice immediately. But I would I recommend everyone. Like I know how much how, how much I talk negative about the Chaos Turbo strategy. I recommend everyone pick up a Chaos Turbo deck because that's probably what you that's probably the the best deck. So if you're gonna waste not waste money, if you're gonna spend money, go ahead and buy the best deck. I like playing Go Control personally. I like playing Chaos Control. I like playing aggro based stuff too. 
So I would, I would, and I always like to cook, you know, my own stuff. So just how you want to do it, how you want to do it. All right. So it looks like we're still hanging out here. I'll get the stream set up. Round, round number eight is complete. Uh, there are going to be some duels that get out of there. There are always going to be, there are going to be duels that, you know, have to drop out. Thank you all for your participation. Thank you for trying to make it. It just didn't work out this time. There will be other events. There will be other events. There will be other events, events, events events as we're going uh as we're going on to round number nine but yeah i would i would start i would start for i would start with chaos turbo and then once you get sick of it and if you are normal you should get sick of it pretty quick i would then go on to baby playing warriors try that then i try to play zombies then i try that and i try to play you know control i, I leave the control for last because it's the most punishing unforgiving but it is the most rewarding once you can get some wins. It feels the best when you win with the control deck. Um, okay, so cool, 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 cool. And like those kind of questions, man. Get the, keep the questions rolling. If you guys got any questions about anything, it's always ask me anything during these during these waiting times. As we got Moxies and Insidious have pretty much secured their top eight performance. Congratulations to both of those duelists. Congratulations, Insidious again. Overdose again. Somebody's got to take these guys out. If it's if it's if it's not Elvarado, it's going to be Don't Copy. If it's not Don't Copy, it seems like it's going to be Insidious. If it's not Insidious, it's going to be Elvarado. They're just kind of walk. If it's not going to be Elvarado, it's not going to be Insidious. It's going to be damn Alefia. You know what I'm saying? They just are going through this thing right now. So congratulations to Insidious for making the for making it. Congratulations to Moxies for making it. But I would keep showing up though. I definitely would keep would keep playing. Do not try to scoop your way out of this thing you better play your ass off this next round because it's still critically important to get into that top four all right so here are the top seedings at the top 18 this is the last round of swiss you need to win and another thing i like about this format specifically that we're doing everybody in here has a chance all you need to do is win and you're probably going to be in if you lose you're probably going to be out that's it or maybe if if one if Moxie loses, he's probably still going to be in, but Herney's going to be in, and it's probably going to bump somebody else down here. So maybe I'm maybe I'm not maybe I'm not spitting. That's not very skibbity. I don't know, but still, these fives they still have a chance. It's not a, it's not a lot of them, but they still have a chance. Uh, we have uh, Fancy Diesel still has a chance. The Pui has a chance. AJT has a chance. So who do you guys want to see? Who do you guys want to see? We're about to kick off. We're about to kick off round number nine, last round of Swiss. Oh my goodness, I'm locked in and motivated. Who do you guys want to see? Do you want to see? Who do you want to see play? Who do you guys want to see play? Get into the get down into the comment section right now. Type the names right now. You want Moxies versus Insidious. You want Moxies. Oh shit, you guys can't see, huh? My bad. My bad. Let's fix that. My bad. My bad. Oh, boom. Here are the matches. Here are the matches here. Here are the matches here. Let me know who you guys want to see. Let me know. Everybody, we got a lot of Moxie supporters out there. People want to see Moxies. You don't want to save Moxies to the top cut. You want Moxies and you want them now. We want Moxies. We want Rob Cedar. We want them now. Okay. I'm getting Moxies all throughout this thing. So we're going to Moxies right now. We're going to see what the good homie Moxies has got in store for you guys. We got Moxies and Rob Cedar. Both of these duels have been playing amazing GOAT format Yu-Gi-Oh! At the highest levels. We've seen them on stream a few times. They've been playing phenomenally well. Okay. And then go to Pui and Herney if it's quick. We got a lot of Moxies and then Pui and Herney. Let's, let's see what's happening. So they're hosting up. Let's host it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's see what let's see what is happening here as Mox is, is trying to go undefeated in Swiss. Rob Cedar is trying to stay on that top side. You're gonna need as many wins as you can to end up in that top four of Swiss or of the double elimination. That's where you want to be. So there's still, even if you're at the top of this, there's still heavy implications to come out, play well, and try to continue to win. So don't come out and try to, oh, it doesn't matter. I'm a scoop. I'm just gonna who gives a shit. Well, you might scoop your ass right into the loser's bracket still. So you don't want to do that. All right. Cool, 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 cool. And as you guys are coming in, if you're just joining the stream, this is round number nine of Swiss. This is the last one. Make sure you like this stream. Make sure you subscribe to this channel as we're on our way to 10,000, thousand, thousand subscribers, subscribers, subscribers. And we're in. And we are in as Moxie's. It's gonna be rocking. I'm again. I gotta turn. I got. I can. I gotta turn these. Uh, I gotta turn these moving images off. I'll show it again so you guys can see what it is. But it's jamming my. It's it's not cooperating with my mainframe over here. So I I gotta shut them off. It's jamming me up. 
So I'm going to kick that off. Boom. It looks pretty cool. Shout out to the Mandalorian. Shout out to Moxie's over there. He is rocking the Gold Format World Championship sleeves. Rob Cedar, he's got Tour Guide, rocking Harpy, everything. Again, outfit needs work. That Harpy's outfit, it needs work. It's not very avian. It's way too much flesh out there. As we're starting pot upstart. As we're starting pot upstart. A lot of upstart pot stars today. Everyone in the chat, hit that like button. Like you top deck pot agree with an empty hand. Let's go. Let's go. Go ahead. Jump all over it. There's no, there's no, uh, there's no sense about it. There's no, there's no negative about it. It don't hurt you at all. Just engage. <laughs> cool. Cool, 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 and chill. Cool. Nice. 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 Also, I failed to mention as well. I meant to, I meant to mention this when we were uh, when I was doing the intro, but uh, go back to the announcements in the discord. Spooky did some deck text. I think what I'll do, excuse me, what I'll do once we have a little break in service again, a little break in contact, I'll be able to pull those up so we can go over those together. But in your leisure, if you have time, go ahead and pull those up. Spooky always does the deck text and shows like some of the spice that was played as Mox is just going to go ahead and reveal solemn judgment here. That's too much advantage to just give up as you cannot let him catch those thunder dragons in as you're going to leave this mystic swordsman alone and unafraid chaos is established so bls is going to be a gg but you're going to hope and pray Tsukiyomi is the best case scenario as you're going to go ahead and slide this mystic swordsman onto the graveyard set one more and then balance pass suit back to the hand moxie's kind of falling behind the sack is sacking but it's going to do that sometimes i'm sure he's been in this position many times before as he understands this matchup very well he's now holding five staring down two backies with six in hand two of which are a thunder dragon as rob cedar i don't know if it's the rob cedar it might be a rob cedar but it's definitely rob cedar who goes way 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 back in this game as well so no slouch no geek off the street no some loser who's lucking their way into this thing clearly this duel is at seven wins in this tournament and understands how to put these cards down in the correct sequence and or order as Moxie's is thinking about it here. Staring down these two backies, trying to figure out how you want to get active into the hitbox. Is it Kaiku Slam? Kaiku Slam, get Wing Blast, BLS is not the play. As we're going to go ahead and hit the Mystical Space Typhoon, snipe the Mirror Force. Easy. And now you got four in hand. Do you have some pressure? Can you get a plus? And there is Kaiku Slam. Kaiku Slam has hit the field. He's active. He's open. And he's running free. In for 18. And there will be Regeki Break. No Wing Blast. And it is going to be that Sinister Serpente who's going to put that Destroyer into the graveyard. Now you are down a total of four. Granted, three of those cards are TDTD and Sinister Serpente. But still, nonetheless, I count them as full cards. Solid Time says, hello. Greetings from Austria. Nice suit. Yo, solid time. Thank you for the compliment. Greetings to Austria as well. Austrian goats stand up as delinquent duo. So Moxie is just getting absolutely ran through with these Trinity cards as the entire Trinity has been resolved for Rob Cedar, who is up, up, up in a major way. But now at least things can look up. If you just don't die, the Chaos Turbo deck can't just pile on the, the damage. You're down horrendous. At no fault of your own, you just get sacked sometimes. It is what it is. And honestly, you'd rather get sacked here and now in the last round of Swiss when you have a pretty comfortable seed opposed to in the next round. So this is not the worst case scenario. And you are, you know, getting sacked by someone who has a lot of wins as well. So Moxie, if you can just figure out a way to stabilize, and this guy is the great stabilizer right here. This guy is the plusser of all pluses. As you're going to go BLS slam, banish GK spy, bring out breaker and just put up the pressure. I love the aggression. This is what you got to do. This is what you got to do. You just got to put your balls to the wall and absolutely send it. Snatch deal isn't real. You got to figure something out now. As Sukiyo flipped me, it's going to be able to remove this breaker, the magical warrior with the greatest of ease. But I still like to play, put some damage up. 
hope for the best. Mere force doesn't exist anymore. And now you got this black, black luster soldier of an active. Do you swing? And you're going to go for it. You're going to put the bad boy to work. And BLS is going to stroke in. 3,000 gets in clean. And now you set that ring. Let's see it. Maybe if that's ring. That's crazy. That's a crazy, crazy ring of destruction if you got it. Oh, my goodness. As now you got Heavy Storm, it's Pro Set. It's not the Ring of Destruction. It is just Sakuretsu armor. And you're going to set into the face of the Black Lusted One. Moxie's has a decision to make. Do you run the red light or do you get your Banish on and hope for better days? Goblin Attack Force off the top in the main deck would be game. But you may not have it. As we're standing by in the first main phase, thinking heavily. That set could be anything. Man, oh man. Checking the Ops GY. Looking bulky in that GY. Looking bulky over there. Not going to lie. <laughs> Nate Dog says, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say he does not have Goblin Attack Force in the main deck. I mean, you can only hope, dude. You can only hope. You can only hope. As Mox is just thinking about the swing situation, thinking about pushing in for some damage, there. Uh, hmm. We'll see what we'll see what he does first, and he'll just elect to banish. I think that might be the correct call. Sukiyomi, and it was a night assailant, Stone Cold, and we got Don Donny Z coming in, and we're getting a rip. So it's looking rip. What are we taking? Thunder Dragon is the rip. So now Rob has the opportunity to get to a chaos play. He has the opportunity to get to the snatch deal. He's got really live vigorous draws in his deck. You need to get to one immediately, okay? Immediately as BLS and Don Zalu, and he does get to the chaos monster, and everyone throws their hands up and says, oh, no, this can't be, as we're going to go ahead and use the chaos sorcerer's ability to banish the black lusted soldier. So now Moxie's does have the opportunity to get to some units. Rob has the decision to make as well as you're going to just set another monster onto the field and hope for better days as off the top. Do we have an answer? Is it snatch deal? Are you that good to top deck snatch deal in this situation? Can you pull it off and we're just going to go battle phase and then we'll just attack into the set could be the Sukiyo flip me and it will wall out that Don's Luke. And then it can reset itself. So let's see if Moxie's has a trap card to play, and you will not. So this looks not great. This looks not great. Man. As we'll just banish here, Sook is going to be able to flip Chaos Sorcerer, and then we got a lot of damage. Normal summon, and you can take the win here. And that's going to be a GG, man. So that sucks. Moxie did everything he could, and he almost got there. But that Sork off the top was just too much to bear as we're going to go ahead and get into a game three scenario, game two scenario. So you got, you, they can't go full trend. They can't go full trend on you every time, but man, oh man, Mox has played it as best as you could. And Rob Cedar didn't give up. You know, you got, you start out strong. And sometimes, at least for me, when I play, whenever I start strong, I start getting the, getting the, I got to win jitters. You know what I'm saying? I get those, like I start getting the yips, dude. The, I got to win. Oh man. I play all these trending cards. If I lose, I'm on, I'm, I'm live, dude. I'm on national TV. I got 130 Muldoons checking me out. If I blow this, <laughs> I, 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 if I blow this in front of 130, 30, 30,000 viewers out here, we got 130,000 viewers in this chat right now. I got the Muldoons out here analyzing my play. If I'm getting full Trinity and losing, 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 you know what I'm saying? I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, oh no. We got 130k out here watching this live. <laughs> oh, that's uh, sir, that's not 131,000. That's 131. One. Really? I thought that was. I thought we just rounded off the hundred thousand. The which it just rounded to the nearest hundred thousand. The nearest ten thousand. I'm sorry. 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 Moxie's is getting the sack out of the way before top eight. This is great. I. Pfft. I just, that's the same thing I said, LeBounty. That's the same thing I said. If you're going to sack me, sack me right now in the ninth round of Swiss when I'm already secured into the top portion. Get it out of my system now because it can't happen again. It can't happen again, okay? It can't happen again. You can't go back to back full trend. You're going to get, you're going to get full, 
You're only going to fool Trinity from time to time. It's going to happen to you, but it can happen back to back to back to back to back. It can't keep happening as my skills first start strong with a trap dust shoot. I am El Kati says, I just started go format since playing in my childhood. Yo, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome back. Welcome back to go world. And I, that's, that's, that's another, that's another great fun thing about it. Cause you played these cards as a kid and you still can play them now. And it's a lot of fun. So welcome back. Welcome back. As we got Potter Greed is going to be up as well. Is he sacking again? Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. As we're going to go ahead and uh, and hit the hit. Lose. Well, how did this song get lost? What, what happened here? What happened here? How did Solomon get in the graveyard? What did I miss? Oh, hey, MST. Did he MST? I'm looking. I'm looking at the chat. Yeah, he MST Solomon. Sick. Dang. As we're in the first main phase, it looks like we got a little bit of sac, a little saccharation happening again. As Moxie didn't didn't uh, write down the information, so we don't know what the hell is going on. Probably seven out of the nine rounds, Cedar completely sacked, sacked, sacked. Is that true? Is he a sack artist? As Moxie is flipping the Spirit Reaper, has some information based on that trap does shoot, or, and is just going to say, you don't got it. Or if you do have it, you better spend it, or you're going to take damage. As the Spirit Reaper, don't fear the Reaper, gets in clean, and you're getting a rip. So that's a plus value rip right there. Spirit Reaper, maybe a card that needs to get played a whole hell of a lot more, because this guy puts on the pressure. He's a pressure guy. He's a threat guy. He's a he's a gotta get him off the field kind of guy. Like, don't hit me kind of guy. And when people don't want to get hit, they start doing some way out of pocket activities. As we're gonna hit a jar of greed here. I think Spirit Reaper is really, really strong. Man, we got this bad boy at three, and people just don't don't play it. I don't know. Don't don't fear the Reaper. Boop, boop, boop. As we're just gonna set, set, set. And pass, pass, pass. Maybe you're setting a lot to pre prevent the Reaper from reaping. But let's see what Moxie elects to do here. As if we can get a heavy storm, and there it is. The heavy storm goes down as Jar Greed is getting chained. That's a great sign for the Moxinator. As you're losing Saku, plusing heavily on the Zing Zin Hu. And now this Reaper gets in clean yet again. You're plusing outstanding. And you're bringing out Tribe. You're just saying damage, please inboard the beautiful head huntress at 1600 and gets in cleanly as you get another rip as rob cedar is shuffling we're snatching one it's going to be that thunder dragon so that's a great opportunity great snatch for rob cedar there as you're going to set one card on the field kick it back on over to the blue corner blue corner's up no dark monster no need to even check you're staring down a pretty formidable board and you can't chaos your way out of it. You can in fact snatch steal your way out of it or you can Zumbira your way out of it. Look at this bulky beefy baddie is on the field and he's able to crack down on the tribe infecting virus. He's vaccinated. The COVID shot was effective. The virus has been neutralized. Perhaps we're thinking about it in the battle phase though. Maybe Moxie's has a card. Maybe Moxie's has a card. Hmm pondering and we'll just let the tribal one go on to the go format dueling graveyard 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 and he'll fall mightily as we'll just set another spell trap onto the field and now we are thinking here we let the tribe go he thought about it for a while he still has some information based on the hand contents as we'll just shift the spirit reaper to defense position, set another car and pass it back on over to Rob who has, excuse me. Zaborg would have gone nuts. Dude, you had a Zaborg, man. That'd be crazy. That'd be crazy Zaborg, but you gotta be extra careful because this damn Zambira, I don't, again, Moxie knows his hand, but as soon as that Zambira hits to the graveyard and you got that dark monster set up, it's it could it could get it could get curtains fast uh so i think that's that's kind of the part of the game that both of these duels are playing i guess he could have thunder dragon he could just tribute for it at him at any moment so i guess it really doesn't matter as we're going to go ahead and use sakuretsu armor here and now the graveyard is set up 
And now he's got the Chaos Sorcerer almost immediately. Let's see if Moxie has an answer for this as Chaos Sorcerer does hit the field um, timely. And now you're going to be able to banish what will be the Spirit Reaper keeping Moxie's off of Dark Monsters as well as we'll set one. Maybe Moxie's got the ring. Stone Cold Reed on the Sork. Save the ring. Could be a vibe. And there is no ring. So now we're kind of kicking it. I'm pretty sure you knew that that Chaos Sorcerer was... And it was, was an issue. You're going to go ahead and hit the Nomen across out here, banishing all copies of Night Assailant. Do you have Snatch Deal? Do you have something for this Chaos Monster to come to to deplete it? I don't know. Deplete? What am I talking about? Dang. As we're going to go ahead and now be forced to shift the Ninja Grand Master to defense position and pass it on over. <clears throat> As we'll just go ahead and get another banishment in, losing the light monster as well. As Moxie's still sitting at 75, you do have a lot of a lot of cool cards you can draw, but you really don't want that Magician of Faith to be placed upon the Go Format dueling field. You want to be able to get this damn Sork out of here, uh, and you're going to set up another and probably pass here. Do you have a monster to put on the field to defend yourself? As you just set one and pass. Yeah, I kind of fit. I mean, that Zombira was that Zombira was looking was looking juicy. I don't know if Moxie's had. I would I would have just I don't know I don't know if it's a mis, not a misplay, but I definitely would have just let his ass sit there. But he could have just tributed it. Like I said, he could have brought out the uh, Thunder Dragon at any moment and sacked it up, and then still been had still had the pressure with sixteen, and then still had the chaos stuff to come over. So I guess it was the right right thing to do at the end of the day. As we're gonna go ahead and hit the Dust Tornado killing the dead delinquent duo it really wasn't dead but you're at 12 2200 life points and now moxie's finds the delinquent duo of his own and you're going to rip the black lusted one that's a good sign for the moxinator as you're losing another uh powerful card as you set one spell trap onto the field you're going to flip the cyborg look at him kinetic soldier is up and active and he's on the field of play and he's bashing in for 1350 Putting a little bit of pressure up as well as just set another. Moxie's now can't top the blade like they used to do to get out of the situation. Moxie's needs to find a normal summon of some type to get to protect yourself as this Cypher Soldier, Kinetic Soldier. You call him Sling Blade. I call it Kaiser Blade. Maybe you got a Zing. No Zing to be had as Moxie's is ripping, ripping, ripping. Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer, backed by a Solemn Judgment, is Frequency. That's vibes. And you just don't have it as Cypher Soldier, aka Kinetic Soldier, gets in clean. Another 1350, 50, 50 as time is ticking. Moxie needs to find a Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer yesterday. Where is he at? Where are you, Christmas? How will I find you? And is he going to find the Exile Force to banish the Cypher Soldier? You call him Sling Blade. I call it Kaiser Blade. Do you have the, an answer to this, Breaker? And yes, it will come in the form of the Torrential Tribute. So now Moxie has the ability to top and sack, to top and play. Do you have a guy? Where are your guys? <laughs> where are your dudes at? Dude, where are your units, man? No trend. No guy, huh? You just got a guy you put in defense position. And now you're going to RB that. Go after the Mon or go after the set. We're going after the Mon. And let's see what we do here. There could be an opportunity to play a solemn judgment, perhaps, as Moxie is pondering here. As we will lose the Majeo, the fella, 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 losing your light monster, but you do have a light now. Brian Higgins says, go, Rob, Cedar, Rob, Cedar. We got some, we got some 519 love is in the chat. Are we zinging? We're not zinging. You're unzinged still as you're going to go ahead and set a card onto the field. Could be anything. Could be another four-star Ladybug of Doom as Moxie is going to continue to set monsters out on the field to defend yourself. We got two set back row versus each as Rob just has to pass. Moxie's on the play. We're ripping. Still no guy. Like, what kind of warrior deck just can't attack? Dude, where are your freaking monsters at? What's going on? Get a guy. You can't find a guy. As Rob is now able to build the wall. So you know there's a potential for moxies they it could be this could in theory just be three or excuse me one serpent and three gk spies on the two gk spies on the field they're just sitting there waiting looming on each other and he's got two sets fail traps for rob as moxies now sets another onto the field so both duelists 
equal, pretty equal in life, pretty equal in uh, in cards. As we're going to MST target new set, it will be another Ragi Kai break. Okay, Moxie's in 20, still looking for a, a pot or a charity. Rob has duo and pot resolve, looking for a charity of their own. And you find the reinforcements of the Slarmy, dude. Who are we bringing out? Who are we bringing out as the Mystic Swordsman level two? Lil Deuce Deuce, Torrential with a Sangin is terrible. Nothing to be had. Flip the Donald Z. Nothing on Donald Z. Flipping. Who else we flip it? Flipping the bust it down blade night. Nothing on blade night. And where it looks like we're going in for 14. It's trying to get in as we're slicing and dicing. We'll soccer to here. Let's see it. Are you, is it time? Is it time? Do you have double solemn down and we're ripping one. So we're going down to mathematics and 25. There it is. 12, 25 ring. Do you have another? You knew that was an option. You knew that was something, a, po a possible outcome as you rip the ring in ring range and Moxie's did had to roll the dice. Didn't have it. And that's going to be a GG and Rob Cedar gets the dub and moves on. Very well played. What a match, man. What a match. What a match. Moxie's didn't have the units. Rob had the units, but Mox played. It. I think it was a good match. 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 I think, uh, I think you had your own ring. I think Mox was just going for a push, just trying to get the dub. What was the other set? What was the other set? What was that set? Was it Spy? Because if it's damn Cypher Soldier, you lose anyway. What was what was that other set? If it was Cypher Soldier, I mean, you can't you attack in and get blasted and get 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 you know ringed anyway. But I guess you could then solemn the ring. It was GK Spy, so you get walled and it's just freaking curtains anyway. So I don't hate to play. I don't hate to play. You got to try to win. When it's time to win, it's time to win. It's time to win. And ring takes another. It's too strong. Okay, but shout out to Rob Cedar for getting the dub. And it's going to uh and it's going to uh it's going to move on. All right, but let's see who else we have as I'll check the timer. How much time is left? We have 33 3 3 minutes. As you said AJT has already won. Uh any more game? Who else we want to see? Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know who you guys want to see Pui versus whoever she's still playing. Okay. We just want to Pui. Doesn't matter the op dude. I, I, I like, I like the, I like the feedback. You guys got to let me know. Is, is Gia still playing in cities and Gia? We did get a Gia earlier. So I'm going to, I'm going to jump into Gia first and see what's cooking here in this round. And then we'll, we'll bounce past back on over to Pui versus who she's playing. You know what I'm saying? I got my ultra instinct bias. Ultra, 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 ultra. Ultra. Something like that. You can know the vibes. Ultra, ultra, ultra. Gang combo. As you're going to go ahead and hit the ring of destruction. 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 Take a little bit of, take it, no damage. As Gia is on the goo, the goobla. As we're flipping Magician of Faith, adding back the pot of greed, just like you like to do. You know, hate to see that. Faith add pot vibes. Vibrational. UI is we got a, UI is a good team, man. UI is a good Yu-Gi-Oh team. Yu-Gi-Oh dueling team. We're very slept on. Often hated. I did not, I didn't, I never in my life realized how much hatred there was towards the Ultra Instinct Yu-Gi-Oh dueling team. There is so much. Indoors has so many haters too. There are so many people who do not like indoors. I like indoors a lot. I think he's I think he's an awesome guy. I really do. People hate indoors, and it sucks, man. As we're going to hit the knock, pop the set faith. This is looking like it's pulling away. As let's check the graveyards again. Gia got no trend. You, you got to get to the trend, man. I don't. It just sucks that that's so. Uh, what our format is, man. You got to get to it. You got to get to it as the Ashura Priest is going to be out in attack position, staring down a TT. We're blowing it up. Is there a Sangin to go beside this TT? And there is. So that is a violent TT, able to get a little bit of value back. <laughs> Moxie's, Rob Cedar, Demok, Herney Hog, only X1 so far. Moxie's, Rob Cedar, Demok, Herney Hog. 
are the X1, and he got the delinquent duo as well. Good grief, man. How are you so good? How are you so good? Dang. As we got the uh, delinquent duo, and you got, oh my goodness. Dang. Like, this is this is too much, man. This is too much. Dang. This is too, it's too much. It's too, it's too much. It is too much. Dang. As we're going to go for a immediate chaos turn, re return chaos play in rebuttal. And we're going to banish the chaos sorcerer here. And now Guy is just going to have to be forced to pass on an open board. And let's see insidious in the draw phase typing into the, 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 the chat box. We're going to go ahead and not chat box into the, Dueling book EXE, and we're going to go ahead and draw your draw your snatch deal. No, I'm kidding. I'm joking. I'm joking. If Insidious were on the other end of the trend, he would be in the chat complaining right now. That's how it goes. That's that's fair. That's fair. That's how it goes. That's how you take it when you get it, and you complain when you don't. That's that is the go format way. To be expected. I I don't hate when anyone does that. When you're getting it, you're getting it, and you're like I'm the best. When you don't get it, I'm getting sacked. That's, that's just, I, I can't, I can't hate. I can't hate on that. I can't hate on that. And we get card D. Okay. Card D is going to yield one. It's got to, is, are, are we, are we dueling, dueling book algorithmic snatch deal inbound, dude? It's got to be, it's got to be a way. <laughs> no, no, man. No, no, no. I, I, it's, it's not, it's, that's, ne that's definitely, that's definitely, um, how, how the game is played. As we're going to go ahead and be forced to set the Black Lesser Soldier. So really selling TT, maybe discard trap, maybe something, maybe solemn judgment. Who knows? As we got Upstart Goblin is going to be played. So Gia has the opportunity to get to the Heavy Storm right now and try to thwart Insidious. This is his plan. Are you good enough to get to it? Are you skilled enough to draw Potagree into Heavy Storm right now? MST might be okay. As MST is just going to hit MST and then you flip the BLS. Does he have it? And you're just going to swing in with this bad boy. And it was the mirror for us. Oof. Hate to see it. Hate to absolutely see it. As now you're going to be able to set one spell trap onto the field. So Insidious did have a powerful turn. But now you're at pretty much equal in cards. And Gia still has a plethora of Trinity cards that are left over. And now we're entering into the battle phase as 16 gets in clean. We're just going to go for a ring. Never mind. So not so clean as we're going to lose the tribe infected virus. Gia has a lot of great cards to draw. Maybe there are kind of disjointed. Kaiku the ghost destroyer will be a great one as you are just going to be forced to draw and pass. So now insidious has the opportunity Upstart goblin is going to be played. Gia gets a little bit of life point reprieve as let's see if insidious is looking in graveyard. Do you have some guys? And it looks like another chaos play is coming down as Insidious is able to spam and slam Black Lesser Soldier and gets in for 3,000. And then Tsukiyomi is going to put the Black Lesser Soldier into face down defense posture. What do we have here? Do you have something going? And that's just going to be a GG as Insidious. Bit of a sack. Okay. That was a little bit, that was a little bit of sack activity. You know what I'm saying? You got no, no trend, you know what I'm saying? Versus much trend. It's going to be like that. Hate to see it. Is my color popped? Who, me? Am I popped up? Am I jacked up? My bad. But still, GG. I'm, I'm just hating. I'm just hating. You know what I'm saying? Gia, Gia, Gia's, Gia's my girl. You know what I'm saying? So I got to, I'm, I'm biased. Not going to lie. I'm, I'm biased. Soup Bluff TT with the MST worked. That's why we do these things. That was a cool play. I'm not going to hate. I'm a hater, but I'm not going to hate in cities. You cooked right there because you had me convinced that it was TT or Solemn. I was convinced. He was clearly convinced, so you kind of cooked. Not gonna lie, but still, you're, you're still that's that's the homie, and uh, you're an op, dude. So <laughs> get bent, get bent, dude, get bent, dude. No, I'm kidding, man. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I am kidding. Okay, I got I got nothing but love for Insidious, man. And thank you, and seriously, thank you for everything you do for this community too. As uh, Goat Format War Chief. And as Edison Format War Chief, everything you do for Retro Space, man. Thank you for that. And thank you for playing. And congratulations on your potential uh, top performance. But we're doing the calculations now. We are doing the calculations now. No, I think we still have a few minutes left. So let's see if we can see how many games are still left outstanding. We have 26 minutes left. Um, who is left? We have Dan and Ali Mutor playing. I know that one's left. I'm going to pop in there uh, for a second. Let me just see who else we got real quick. 
who else we got real quick? Okay, okay. All right, is that? Yeah, this this is uh this is yeah, gonna, this is GFC right here. So this is game three. As we got Ali Muto versus uh Dan Top Deck Team, who has a ton of experience on the ladder as well. Um, holding it down in def got the got the thousand ash strict up. Uh, life points you are up. So we still have plenty of time left until time is called. So it should be uh, should be good to cook. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. As we're going to go ahead and just set another spell trap. Nothing in standby. Let's go to let's go flashy. Flashy is up a game. <laughs> flashy is up again. Not very skibbity. Oh my bad. I gotta I gotta be a lot a lot more skibbity, dude. I'm so sorry. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. I'm just a hater. I I got emotions too, man. I try to I try to be unbiased as I can, but I hate hard, dude. I just get my hate on. What can I say? I'm a hater. I'm a hater. I like what I like, and I and I and I hate I hate the rest. I'm an op. It is what it is. As we're gonna go ahead and rip the solemn judgment, negating the grace of charity. Just trying to keep your opponent's stuff at bay. Life points may come up. This is game three, so it's very unlikely that this game will go to time. There's still plenty of time left to be played in this round. There's still plenty of time left to be played in this round. And these duels are playing at a pretty at a pretty impressive uh clip. So they're not they're not slow playing or anything like that. So it's it's very likely that will end that will end it. Who knows though? You start seeing a thousand hours strict on the field, things tend to kind of slow up a little bit. He's still the homie though. He's still the guy. He's still my boy. That's my that's my purple boy. That's my that's my homie. Cool. Cool. What's going on over here? Let me hop into the chat, dude. Let me hop into the chat. Let me hop into the chizzy, the chizzy, the chizzy, chizzy as, oh, sorry about that. We got the extra, the extra GFC uh, bracket should be coming up here soon. We're going to plug the names in there manually, get that thing rocking through. Maybe we can hook it back up to the bot. I think we'll be hooked back up to the bot. So it's going to be cool as we have Gigion, uh, Gigione, I am um, Tommy. Maybe it's, let me, let me Google what that says. Let me let me let me do a little research. Let me check this out, cause Dan be going crazy sometimes in the chat. Danny Cassie, hothead. Okay, this duelist has a uh, has a temper when they play, so you gotta you gotta watch. He's a good player. He's a very strong duelist. He's a very very strong duelist, but he be out here going crazy in the chat sometimes. He's he's just, he's just hot hot blooded duelist. I would say. That's all. I don't want to I don't want to speak too ill, but that's all I'm gonna say. I'm trying to maintain my maintain my bias. I don't know what that means. But it's gonna be what it is. <clears throat> Flashy is going into the RGT uh, abacus mode again. Demok too. Is Demok RGT as well? So we got some RGT out here. I think I'm gonna have seven A M I D M pick. I need them in order as well, though, Wes. The order has to be correct. So you can't adjust it. Don't edit. If you edit, you're getting booted. If you edit, you're getting booted. It gotta be in order. And it also has to be the correct. And then whoever has the most is going to get it. So RGT is moving on. I think Flashy might have enough points to make it to the top cut. I think I think Flashy would 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 have enough. I would say based on their yesterday's performance. We'll see. We'll see. As we're still thinking here in the first main phase, Ali Muto has got to make something happen. Ali Muto has got to make something happen. Zogler says I think Flashy's using my list. That was a good list. I think you had a good. I think your list was 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 pretty solid. Your RGT list that you played last time was quite good. I liked it a lot. I like how it can actually play more than OTK because you're not going to OTK every time. And most of the reason to get decks when they're not OTKing, they're kind of they're kind of losing. As we're going to put yourself into a goat like goat lock crisis, which is kind of scary. Which is kind of scary, but Thousand Eyes will be able to get another quality suck out of the way. And your life points are insulated now. And your life points are insulated as Snack coming on in saying, let's go, Pui. Let's go, Pui. I, I, I would concur with that sentiment. Let's go, Pui. Pui, as a major GO format champion, would be cool. Would be neat, man. She puts in a lot of hard work and she is an incredible GO format duelist, okay? 
incredible. She makes some great videos. Go subscribe to her channel, and she is super wise on this game. Well beyond her, well beyond her years, I would say. She's quite young. I did the mathematics. Pui is young enough to be my child. Okay, that's a fact. So, and she's much much better at this game than me, and a lot of other people. So that's uh, I go say something. I think she got a, a background in playing other TCGs like Magic the Gathering and uh, and things of that sort. So she's just a gamer through and through, and maybe that stuff translates over. And she's, she's she has a good uh, good feel good feel for the game. All right, so we have uh, a lot of activity happening here. For Dan, top deck team. You got your snatch in there. You got some Trinity going. A lot of shoots. You're holding holding strong. You're in standby phase. You need to put something together quickly for Ali Muto, or you will lose here. You need you need to put something together fast. I'm gonna start playing Lightning Vortex, huh? That'd be kind of sick right now. I'm not gonna lie. Lightning Vortex would kind of go absolutely bananas. Needle ceiling. Four star Ladybug of Doom. Where are you? It won't even be that good. Never mind. Keep that in. Keep that at wherever the hell you got it at. Don't put that on the field. Keep that damn four star ladybug of doom, wherever the hell you got it at. Don't don't set that on the field right now. As Kaiku could be frequency. This guy could be vibrational. This guy could be the future. As you're going after the Thunder Dragon with the Kaiku, the Ghost Destroyer. Dan is thinking vigorously. He's two back row, looking live and direct. You're trying to check your GY as well. This damn Kaiku can walk the dog. Sometimes he can. But man, oh man. Thinking about it hard. Dang. Thinking about it. Think thinking about it long and hard. Ayo, no pause. That's what she said. <laughs> Sorry. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Oh man. Oh man. I'm feeling good, man. I had a I had a phenomenal night of sleep last night. Usually I toss and turn. Usually usually I toss usually I toss and turn. I'm tossing and I'm turning. The last night I put my head on that pillow, closed some things, woke up and I'm back, baby. I'm back. I'm a fan of needle ceiling in Edison format. It seemed like a good car in Edison format. But that, that pesky old Stardust Dragon, dude, that guy is always jamming me up. That pesky Starlight Road, huh? Starlight Road, Stardust Dragon, as a noob, as a novice, crushes my ass, dude. No pause again. No pause on that one. Absolutely comes after my cheeks. I go needle ceiling. They will 1,000. No one even, like all the meta duelists, the top players, the Warlake players, the RBET players, the the BS, BCS players, the Format Library players, they're not even playing Star, Star, Starlight Road or whatever the hell the damn card is. They're not even playing it. But as soon as I load up on that bad boy and I'm on that ladder, as soon as I play a Mirror Force, you better believe that damn Stardust Dragon is jumping on my ass like you wouldn't believe. Out of nowhere. I'm like, oh, I got his ass. <laughs> my GOAT format brain kicks in. I got that TT down. And I'm like, watch this. Watch this asshole. Watch this. He's about to do it. And they go through their, their flippity flops and their jammity jams. I seen girl poppity pop. Boom. Goyo guardian. Guess what? Asshole. TT. <laughs> you're cooked. And like, actually, you're cooked, pal. Here, here take this. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Every single time, dude. I hate it. I, I can't stand it. I can't stand it. It's like, oh, uh, well, guess I'll just get bent. <laughs> guess, guess what, asshole? <laughs> Start a <us> dragon. <laughs> Oh man, I'm cooked. But still, it's a lot of fun. I have fun with it. But still, needle ceiling here would be pretty bad. I think it's I think it'd be I think it's playable for sure in go format. But maybe not all the way. I don't know. What is the floodgate? You never want to see. There are so many. There are so many floodgates I never want to see. I never I never want to see any of them. I don't want to see I don't want to see a single floodgate. I don't want any any of them. I, I do you consider chain energy a floodgate? That's the one I hate the most. It gives me anxiety. Uh, do you consider wave motion cannon a floodgate? I also hate that one too. Um, do you consider gravity bind level limit? Obviously, ops do hate them both. Unless I'm using them, then I love them. Obviously. Um, what else? What else? What else? Like anything. That it, 
yeah, chain, chain energy. If, if you consider chain energy a floodgate, because it's floodgating my ability to summon shit to the field without losing damage or whatever, I, I hate that's like top. That's like number one. I hate that card. Whenever I see it, I'm like, oh, dude, come on, man. Let's duel, pal. I don't want to do all this shit. I'm trying to play. <laughs> You're trying to do this. Chain energy is funny to use in Master Duel. Is that still illegal? You would think some uh, some current format duelist would be able to come out there and figure out chain energy and just win. Like immediately the turn first turn. You go first, like play a single copy of chain energy and or a, something to protect chain energy. And they can't play without losing, I would only assume. Unless they could just combo just enough and then kill you or negate it. I don't freaking know. They'll probably be, they could, they could probably flippity flap just enough to put chain energy to the bottom of your extra deck, take your bank routing password in a combo, and I don't know they they can do all the stuff probably. As we got trap dash shoot coming in, Dan top deck team is looking like you're in a good spot right now, but trap dash shoot can be the difference maker sometimes. It's really strong, especially in these later games. You can take the master play out. Have a good idea of, and get the most uh, bang for your buck out of your cards. As the hand is Chaos Sorcerer, Blacklist Soldier, Night Assailant, and uh, Sukiyomi, and saying it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, Chaos Sorcerer. <clears throat> what about a useless flood <laughs> floodgate like Toll? Uh, no, the most, I think, what was it? Inspection? I think that one's pretty terrible. They got some pretty terrible cards. I wanted to do a series like on on YouTube cuz I like making videos, man. I like doing the video stuff, being a youth. I didn't realize that how fun that 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 was and how cool that process is of making videos. But I kind of want to go through the card pool and just be like, what the hell were they thinking? These cards suck. There are some really really dog shit cards out there. There are some yeah, I get I guess inspection can be it has utility, but there are some very very bad cards. And I think there's like a there's like a card that's like one you flip this card face up you can just shuffle your deck dude like that's it you shuffle that bad boy you can flip and shuffle and like a Pac Man guy but he can just just for deck shuffling so that's pretty cool as we're gonna go ahead and send send back to the deck and now Dan has a lot of materials here you could even push for game if you felt so inclined. Shuffle your opponent's deck would be cool. Would it though? I mean, would would it? I'd be all right. And I'm sure like each of these cards has some some niche application of when they could just be like crazy. <laughs> Come <laughs> Com combos with wing blast. Send it back to the top of their deck. Shuffle it away. You just burn three cards to do. Not to put a card back in their deck, dude. Just something like that. I don't know. <laughs> shuffle, shuffle card is a fusion material with Zombira to make last word. No, that's a. Uh, it's 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 Mario Kutai. That one. What does Mario Kutai do? Now I gotta look it up. That's Mario Kutai card. I can't spell, bro. This is fucking miserable. There's no way Retro Boss can hook that up. Oh, he did. Yo, shout out to the real ones. You can activate this card effect during your opponent's turn. When your opponent activates a spell card, tribute this face-up card to negate the activation of that card and destroy it. Yeah, that's pretty. That's a pretty. That's a pretty skibbity card, dude. That card is quite skibbity, and the artwork is also equally a skibbity, dude. That's a. That's a water though. So he's ass. Never mind. Get it out of here. Keep your H two O S somewhere else. If you're not light or dark, you don't exist. Even though you do this, this card should be a dark monster. Let's be real. As you're going to go ahead and just summon Sukiyomi to reset the GK spy, just playing it slow. Playing it slow. You're in uh, you're in a controlled position of this game. There's no need to overexert yourself or go into a compromise spot. You're just kind of kind of keep grinding down cards until you can eventually uh, win. You got haymakers all throughout the deck and left. You got your chaos online. The only thing you need to do is kind of kind of fade another Kaiku to Ghost Destroyer swing, but you got the Tsukiyomi that's out to that, so it's just, yeah, it's just like a this is just an attrition thing, as Ali Muto can probably feel the 
feel the restrictor, the Cobra is tightening around the body of Ali Muto as this duel is just grinding to a halt, it seems. Just grinding to an absolute halt, it appears. Oh, I'm sorry. It's the fusion material for a skill night. Okay. Tainted wisdom and ancient brain. That's right. That's right. That's right. Tainted wisdom and ancient brain. Mario Kutai and Zombira make last warrior, which is kind of cool. That's energy. As we're just going to go ahead and snatch deal into a tribute set. It's tribute set. Bring down the thunder dragon appears in defense position. Just to try to hold, put hold squat. Just to hold it down for as long as you can and hope for better days. Again, now you got the two set spell trap. You're facing a, a gauntlet of 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 obstacles. Let's go, Guardian Sphinx. Ain't no way. Could be. Got one right here. Shout out to the Guardian Sphinx. I found this in a dollar bucket for seventy five cent. I had to cop. It's in pretty good condition too. Pretty good condition. As we're going to go ahead and tribute up the GK Spy. No flip. I think they're all cashed in, probably. Yeah, it appears that they all have been maybe used. Yeah, it's in pretty damn good condition. I looked I looked at it, man. For 75 cent, dude, you can't you can't beat that. Got me a little Guardian Sphinx right there. It's unlimited. 75 cent is 75 cent, dude. I'm buying up. If I see an ultra rare for 75 cent, I'm probably going to buy it every single time. I'm probably going to buy every single time, time, time. What's setting right? Um, He has he has information from the trap to shoot. It could potentially be summoned there, but maybe he's trying to not get blasted by a, uh, by a, by a, uh, that K, I think he's got chaos in hand. Maybe just attack, attack, and you just die. I don't know. Maybe, maybe these cards are just fake as hell. And maybe they have potential for a Chaos Sorcerer summon defense position. Vanish attack was just too much to bear. So he's just trying to do something like that. He's trying to do something like that. <clears throat> yeah, I, he has I think he he does have a he does have a chaos guy in hand as well. So if he goes summon, he can unless he goes summon and crash or something like that. Good morning, Goat World. It's still morning for me. It's 10 a.m. for me. It's 10 a.m. Good morning to you, Michael Gray. Good morning to the GOAT world. Good morning to all of you out there watching. Just a friendly reminder, if you haven't done so already, please, please, please like the stream. It goes a long way. And also, if you can, if you are watching the stream and you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do that as well as we're on our way to 10,000 subscribers, man. Major milestone. I think once we get to 10,000, we can just shut the whole channel down and just be done with it because that's it we made it that's the finish line Ten thousand is the finish line you know that's uh that's no nah, i'm kidding we won't we won't do that i'll keep it going we'll keep it going and that's it's been a, it's been a good run and i'm pretty sure uh the youtube youtube was going to be a part of my life now i think i want to keep being a content creator because like i said i'm having a blast maybe change up the content a little bit i want to get into other things i have other ideas and things i want to do that aren't Yu-Gi-Oh related aren't go format related i got a lot of stuff i want to talk about as my actual life career is coming to an end, a lot of interesting and exciting things that I've done in my career that I would love to talk about on the internet. And maybe it can pop off and people can connect with that and we can vibrate there and have another community, of course, continue to play some uh, play some Go format Yu-Gi-Oh! Or maybe some other formats of Yu-Gi-Oh! I don't know, man. The world is my oyster. There's a whole new world, a new fantastic point of view. No one to tell us no. Come on! Or where to go. Or say we're only dreaming. You know the vibes. If you don't know the vibes, you better fucking ask somebody, dude. You better wake up and go damn ask somebody, dude. Because you don't know. You better damn ask somebody and find out. Take some cliff notes. <laughs> get, get on YouTube and check the damn, check the summary report or something. Figure that shit out. You better ask somebody. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, twenty. <laughs> My bad, I forgot. I forgot. I gotta. I gotta maintain the sound. I gotta. If I'm gonna hit it with the come on, I gotta lower the. Uh, let's do a come on check real quick. Let's do a come on check 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 check. My kids, you hear them? That's my ASMR check. So if I'm gonna come on, come on, something like that, like that. It's gotta be like way down here with it. 
So this is normal, 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 normal. Come on. Okay, something like that. We'll we'll figure it out. <laughs> oh, dude. As we're gonna. Oh, we got the BLS. BLS might not be good enough because you got Chaos Monster coming back your way, unless you got a way to to put this thing to work face down or something to answer this Chaos Sorcerer that is going to come after you. You gotta figure out a way to protect this thing. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta figure out a way to defend, defend the base. And it seems like you absolutely will not be able to, as you're just gonna leave that BLS out there floating in the breeze. Snatch Hill is gone, but there is a chaos monster for sure looming your way. And there he is. He will be deployed and engaged, smacking into the Black Lizard Soldier. Get him up out of there. <laughs> Sorry, get him up out of there. And that is going to be a frequency for you now. So you still have an, opp an, opp an opportunity to get to some more units. Luigi, Gia, Gianon, one more time. Boop, edit. Luigi, Gian, one more time. Come on now. That's that's a back-to-back -back end in there. Let me break this thing down. Luigi, Luigi is perfect. Don't tell me, don't, don't, let me, let me get this. I gotta learn, dude, I gotta <laughs> learn. We're gonna go G on, boom. And then we're gonna go in, boom. G on, G on, Nini, dude. G on Nini, G on Nini. There we go. G on Nini says he got six and three. Playing recruiters. Send me the deck, man. I wanna check it out. Send me the deck and we can we can pull it up here and see. G on Nini. Manic Lord says, I haven't played goats in a long time. Otherwise, you would have played just busy this weekend. That's okay. There'll be other opportunities. Come on back in and play some goat format Yu-Gi-Oh. I know you've been uh, rocking and rolling with some Edison format Yu-Gi-Oh, as have been a lot of people. As have been a lot of people getting busy in Edison format Yu-Gi-Oh. But I always say there's an opportunity to do both. We don't have too many GFCs, so you can come on in and, and do a little bit of both as we're gonna go ahead and send the farm again, again. Spirit Reaper one time. And it's gonna be Magician of Faith. And we're gonna go ahead and scoop up there for a GG's. Karibo is not real. GG's, GG's, GG's. As Ali Muto is going to fall to Dan Top Deck Team, who probably is gonna make it on in to that top, uh, to that top cut of this thing. All right, so I believe this has to be one of the final games. I'm excited for this top cut, man. I'm excited. As everyone is going to be waiting like the casting call for your high school stage play. Did I make it? Did I get the part? Will I be the lead? Am I ensemble? Am I going to be the lead? Do I get to sing? Am I going to get to kiss the hot girl? All of my life, I've searched for a land like this one. Something like that. Am I, I've rehearsed. I've practiced for so long. Did I make it? Nail biter, man. Nail biter. Nail biter. Okay, but GG's. GG's. To all of these duelists for coming out, <laughs> for coming out and playing, and and cool deck. Ali Muto had had some very cool text in there. I'm excited to see what they played and what the ratios were of that, um, and also the rest of the uh, the rest of the, the 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 players. So we will have those decks. They will be released. I'm probably gonna release all the top 16, but the top eight will definitely be passed along because it's gonna be open deck list just to for transparency's sake. All right, so a lot of calculations and a lot of uh, a lot of things are happening behind the scenes. Huge shout out to MMF. All right, as we're trying to see, Herney is locked in. I have no idea what math you're using, but neither of those things are okay. Let me stop reading because MMF will start going off the rails sometimes, and he, he MMF has full 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 ability to do that. If he calls you, if he says, "Hey man, you are probably the dumbest person I ever met in my life. You're an idiot." Okay, it means, hey. Check it out. I'm working hard over here. I'm doing my thing. Let me cook and I'll get you the answer you need here in a moment. That's what it translates to. So just send me the MMF actual words and I'll give you the direct translation of what they mean. So don't get offended. Just eat it. Say Roger that. 
throw up a salute and and continue to stand by okay <laughs> just continue to stand by so we're we're uh we're uh we're 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 hold we're holding position right now so we're just kind of keep standing by here what i can do i'm gonna start pulling up um i'm gonna let's see let's see let's see let's see now i don't want to do that just in case people make it <laughs> jdz the anger translator yes that'll, that's that's my that's my function here i i take it in and i'll translate it out to what it actually means and how you can process that to avoid conflict because there will be conflict if someone says hey man I need you to shut up because your ass is on your shoulders. Okay. Fix yourself. That means it just relax. Stay cool. Be patient. We're working it. Thanks for playing. And you're going to be all right. You know what I'm saying? That's it. <laughs> oh, shit. oh, dude. Oh, dude. Oh, dude, we're back. Okay. Grumple says, Ali didn't lose. Danny and Herney got the DB hacks. Somebody, if, if, if someone confirmed that there was a way to hack DB, I would believe it. If I would believe it, I would believe it. Because some of the oddest things happened to me on Dolan Book. And I think it has something to do with me being tinfoil. I need to... I don't have my I don't have my tinfoil hat. I need to make one and get it in here. But I would be placing it on my head right now. But I believe firmly that there is some relationship between the dueling book deck editor and the matches. There's some type of script or some type of RNG in there of where your cards are placed and where they come out in the decks. Okay, I can't have no proof of this. This is complete conjecture. This is complete conspiracy. Okay, <laughs> this is a complete conspiracy through and through. But there are so many games where I've opened like Tri Breaker, Tri Breaker, Tri Breaker, so many times. And I'm like, dude, this is so weird. And then you just start moving them around, and they'd be like, oh, I opened whatever was in those spots. You see, you see, watch, watch right here, you know. Conspiracy. I don't know. Whatever. That's my Alex Jones. No, the guy from uh, Incredibles. That guy from Incredibles. Well, any open system can potentially be hacked. It's it's a it's if you're if you're trying to tell me because people are like oh it's impossible it can't be done. I'm like motherfucker. Have you seen Dueling Book? This code is not. This is not NASA. We're talking about. This is not the freaking FBI database. This is not you know the damn Federal Reserve. Okay, this this website is severely flawed. Sometimes I'll look at replays and I'll have current cards in my replay. Like it's it's not that. It's not Fort, you know, some oh, we got the NSA. This is the most secure cyber website you've ever seen in your life. Hack it if you must, but I'm telling you, you will not be able to bypass our super double encrypted database protecting software. We've we monitored this frequently and we update it and people hack freaking nuclear power plants. People can hack Dolan Book. It's not, you know, <laughs> as I said, if triple A multiplier games can be hacked so that they take control of your PC, it's safe to assume that it's very easy to do nasty stuff on the book without a question, without question. It is for sure possible how to do it until it's actually proven. It's all going to be conspiracy until it's actually proven. But once it is proven or if it is proven, obviously it would just completely invalidate the entire online process it would suck completely because the online game would die at that point um but it would it would be like damn i guess this whole time it was it was possible how many people did it tbd tbd all right so we are um we are still trying to cook we are still trying to cook as uh we got a lot of things happening behind the scenes as calculations are being done <laughs> As calculations are being calculated, and it looks like we got something in. What, what is this? Nope, that's not it. So we're still waiting on round nine to completely end. Mathematics is being done. Everything is happening. Cool, 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 cool. And we're just standing by. We're just standing by. And we're kicking it. 
as soon as okay so boom brackets in the process of getting made deck lists are in the process of being given out all the things are everything and we should be good to go once the bracket is up i can go ahead and go through my dms too late if you didn't have it in already you're out do not submit do not edit if your comment is edited 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 you're out okay and we're going to give away what i'm gonna give away uh the mystic sword in level six ultra rare first edition it's worth maybe five dollars okay I'm not gonna hold you not worth a lot but it's not about the value it's just about the win okay it's about the dub it's about the dub okay so mmf has just dm me the final standings as they're working on the bracket and we're gonna go over these real quick we're gonna go over these real quick after top after the uh after the round nine here is where we land we have moxies playing the warrior strategy we have insidious playing chaos turbo we have Rob Cedar playing Chaos Turbo. We have Herney Hall playing Chaos Turbo. We have Pui playing the uh, Relinquish deck. Relinquish Turbo with some spice and techniques in there. We have Gia, 76 installment, playing what could be Go Control or Chaos Control. We have AJT, BLS playing Chaos Turbo. And Geronimo7 playing the Chaos Turbo strategy as well. So one, two, three, four will start. So Pui, Gia, AJT, and Geronimo should start in the loser's bracket. We have Moxie's, Insidious, Rob Cedar, and Herney should be starting in the top side. I believe Moxie's and Herney are going to play each other first. Insidious and Rob Cedar should play each other. Then we'll have the Pui playing against Geronimo and Gia playing against AJT in the loser's bracket. That should be what it looks like if I am not mistaken. But I'm going to leave this up. It's going to be some great games. So with that being said, as we got calculations going on, we have some uh, we have some 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 people who play. We have the sauce. The sauce says we had here's the sauces. This is coming from the sauce and I'm gonna pull it up. So you guys don't think I'm lying and cheating. We're gonna keep it real. Don't ignore ignore my ignore my discord. All right. It's junky. Don't I get a lot of messages. All right. Don't don't get me. All right. We have Moxie's at number one. Nailed it. We got Insidious at number two. We got Gia at number three. So you took a hit there. We got Herney Hog at number four. Nailed it. We got Ali Muto. He is not in it at all. You're out. At Geronimo at number eight. Rob Cedar and D Mock. So you got some hits there. We're going to compare you with Dueling High. Let's see what Dueling High got. Dueling High has Moxie's Insidious, Herney, AJT, Pui, Ghost Rider, Dan, and Final Zero. So Dan, Final Zero, Ghost Rider, and uh, so you missed three there. All right, let's see what uh, let's see what uh, Pim. Let's see what the Pim particle got. Pim says he's got Insidious, Moxies, Gia, AJT, Herney Hog, Pui, Demock, and Rob Cedar. So you missed Demock and you missed the order a little bit. So it might come down to order between you and the Sauce. It might come down to order, but you guys are crushing. You guys are crushing. Let's see what La Bounty had. The Bounty has Mox Insidious, AJT Herney, Ghost, Pui, Alimuto, and Fancy. So the Bounty is out because he's got Fancy, Alimuto, Ghost. So you got three. So I think La Bounty's done. La Bounty's cooked. So it's going to actually come down to. Let's go back to Dueling High one more time. Mox Insidious, AJT, Ghost, Fancy. Yeah, you got three. So you're out. It's going to come down to Sauce and Pim. Who's got the most? Who's got the right order? Who's got the right order? It's a little blurry. Can you see it now? I can't make it any bigger. Who's got the right? Who's got the right order? It is uh, Moxie's Insidious Gia because that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh no, Pim wins. Pim just got straight up seven. So Pim, Pim is your winner of the top eight bracket buster, dude. The top eight bracket buster. Um, I th but you have more. You have more in though. You have more in. You he got the he's got the right. His order is better. But you have more in. He missed. He missed. Uh, he missed. You only missed one, and he missed. He missed two. He has Demok, and he has Ali Muto in, and you don't. So you you win. Cool. So make sure you DM me again. Send me your information. Let me close this first before I freaking dox your whole life right there. I don't want to do that. Send me your information, and I will go ahead and send this to you, and we can do it like that. So thank you for playing. We're gonna do more bracket busters. That was a lot of fun. I had a blast with that. I had a blast with that. 
All right, all right, all right. How are the brackets going? We have we're working right now, Thrust. We just got uh, to a top eight situation. Uh, we're just completely we're just completing the uh, completing the brackets right now, and we should be ready to start into the top eight here. We should be ready to start into the top eight very very soon. All right, so we're just signing everyone up. We're getting all the information out there, and it should be as I stated before. If 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 I can, if the way that it's going, if I'm not illiterate which i might be we have moxies who finished first insidious rob cedar and herney it should be moxies and herney and it should be insidious and rob cedar playing round number one and it should be pui and geronimo and gia and ajt playing as well so let me know who you guys want to see and if those are the matches but the bracket should be coming up here very soon and then we can start <laughs> um uh, I said, hi, JDZ. I got 17th after standings. Will my list be on go format and format library? I'll have to talk to Jazz to see what percentage of those decks he want to put up there. Um, I'm certain he, he likes to put up a certain percentage. And however many he wants to put up there is going to be on him. But I liked your deck, and I think it was cool. So it's something that we're probably going to put, especially in the last turn area. And I'll have to see it myself. I'll have to see it myself. So we'll uh, we'll see. Pim had an edit. Did Pim have an edit? Pim, let's see what let's see what time to edit. Pim had an edit. Did he have an edit? Was there an edit in there? I missed it. I missed it. If he's got edits in there. Oh, 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 God, no, God, please. No, oh no. No. Jesus. Oh God. Oh no. Oh God. I'm oh God. Delete. He had an edit. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. When when was the when was the original? Because you enter before you finish. Okay. Yeah, it says edit. It has a time. 18, 18. It would have changed the time on the edit as well. All right. So we should I I, I still trust I trust in Pam. I trust in Pam. I trust in Pam. I don't I don't think he would uh I don't think he'd go back. It, it should adjust the time. Okay. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Cool and chill. Cool and chill. All right, cool, cool. Open Discord back, you moron, dude. Okay, here we go. Pim's valent. Pim's Pim's a part of the program, man. Pim is a part of the program, man. So I'm sure he wouldn't, uh, he wouldn't, he wouldn't do that. Okay, cool. So we're signing everybody up. The signups are happening. Everything is happening. Um, let's everyone just let's stand by. We're getting it all in. Huge shout out to the staff. Biggest shout out to in uh, MMF Macer coming out of retirement, helping out tremendously. Uh, it's been awesome. It's been a great, great tournament. One of the best tournaments we've had. I love this tournament. I think it was really good. Things seemed really, really smooth, and everything seemed to have uh, have happened in a in a nice, timely manner. It wasn't as much, you know, in your face kind of stuff. Usually, there's a big blow up or something terrible happened. There's only a few terrible things that happened when when Dolan Book was going down and people got kind of DQ'd or lost matches because of that. That always sucks, but that's always going to be something that happens. Um, there wasn't a lot of yeah, a lot of a whole bunch of controversy, so that's pretty cool, man. That's pretty cool, and uh, it's pretty chill. So it's a great tournament. I look forward to the next one. And the next one, I'm still looking for a date. I'm still looking for a date. I'm still looking for a date for the GOAT Format Championship EU. A date that fits. I'm looking for some staff that wants to come out and support. I'm looking for a time. If somebody wants to, to, to spearhead that whole entire operation, we can make that happen. Um, I, just, I just want someone to... Cause it, it takes a huge toll to, to make these tournaments happen. It takes a lot of effort. There are a lot of moving parts. There's a lot of sleepless nights. There's a lot of lost time that goes into it. There's a lot of anxiety because you want people to show up. You want people to play. You want people to have a good time. You want to have a good staff. You want to have all these things. And there's a lot of, um, it's like planning a party or something and you want it to go well, you know, you want it to go well. And it just takes a lot out of you. And, I've, I've done it a few times, so I want to make sure that um, if someone else wants to try to do that, I would be more than willing to to, to, help, to help it out. But no matter what, even if I have to do it again, I just can't do it. You know, I need a, I need a couple months off to retool, recalibrate and come back strong so I can make make it all good. I don't want to burn myself or the staff or anyone else. But if someone's hungry, motivated, motivated and ready to do it, let's do it. So big question. Is there a chance? 
if the ban list would change for GOAT or not? Like, have you ever thought of it? We thought about it and we've actually experimented with it, but in a actual legitimate world qualifying situation, probably not. It'll always be for an experimental or as a change of pace kind of thing. Exactly, Zoggler. If the ban list changes, you're not playing GOAT format, but what you can do is like a limited run tournament which I would like to do more of. We do those periodically in the Go Format Discord, usually on Fridays. We call it Nitro Circus. And what we'll do is experiment with different things. We'll take cards away, limited ban list, limited type. You can't play this. You can't play that. You got to do this. You got to do that. Just to try something different to have a little bit more fun, a little bit more creativity. And it also turns out to be really good matches. It's when you when when the format is played without Delinquent Duo, without Trap Death Shoot, without BLS, without Ring of Destruction, without Grave Keeper Spy, it is better. In my opinion, it's much, much better. But better is subjective because it's not true to what it is. You have to accept GOAT format for what it is. So in terms of like having a world's qualifier being a uh, no duo, no dust shoot, no no spy, no BLS, no ring. It'll never happen as long as I'm here because it's not true and it's disrespectful to everyone who's come before you who had to qualify in certain ways and everyone who's coming after you. And every it's just a it's a it's a it's going to over it's going to usurp what we're trying to what we're trying to do. Cause the originators, the founders of this thing worked diligently to ensure that the ban list is going to be what it is. The timelines, what it is. So to come in and just say, oh, I don't like it because it sucks or it's stale or whatever. I'm just going to change it. Then you can't, uh, you can't do that. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna do that. All right. So MMF is making an important, an important announcement. Do not play who they tell you to play. Do not play. Do not play. Do not start. Do not start. Please listen to the, listen to the judges. Listen to the staff. Do take all orders from the tower. Do not start. Do not start. I think the first player doesn't draw. Hold up. I think the first player doesn't draw would be a good improvement. That could be an interesting one to try out too. That could be another interesting. I'll write that. I'll write that one down. First player, no draw. Because the the beauty of this format and the beauty of retro format and the beauty of dueling book is that you can try all this stuff for free and it doesn't cost you anything. Just a little bit of time. What would it be like if this happens? Stay curious. Ask the questions. What would it be like if we couldn't draw first turn? Well, I got eight people who are down the duel. Let's try it and see what it's like. Turns out it's ass. Okay. And now we know confirmed that is ass. Don't do it again. What, is, what would it be like if chaos Ever dragon was banned, was, was not banned and BLS was banned instead. Hmm. I wonder, I got seven people. Let's get together and make a tournament. Let's try it. Turns out it's also ass. So let's, not do that again, because now we know. Now we know. Now we know. What would it be like if we had Witcher's Black Four? What would it be like if Mirage and Nightmare was in and Fiber Jar was in? I got some old dunes together. Let's get together and try it. Turns out it's actually pretty damn cool. Right on, man. That was fun. I had a good time. The time you spend with your friends playing a game is what it should be all about. Not about the winning, not about the losing, not about the optimization and all the blah blah blah. It's about the time you spend having fun playing in your hobby as the matches are up. And I was correct in my assessment, but here is the bracket bracket bracket. The bracket buster brought to you by Spishak bracket buster brought to you by Spishak. As it looks like we have Moxie's going into Herney insidious into Rob Cedar, Geronimo and Pui are clashed to duel and AJT BLS and Gia round out the bottom. And it is time, 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 to duel, we are in round one of the finals, and we have a champion will be crowned. So again, as I stated, let's pull the bracket back up. Let's pull the original. You see, you see what I'm saying? Like Moxie's. Just imagine if it was just a straight eight all across, and Moxie's had to play against freaking Geronimo Seven. Okay, Geronimo Seven has two losses. Moxie's has one, and then Geronimo Seven beats Moxie's, who has two losses. And Moxie's are now out of the tournament. Is that ethical? Is that moral? Is that fair? No. But now, if Moxie's loses, he'll have two losses to Herney Hall. Geronimo 7, if he wins, he'll have two losses. They both lose. It's fair. It's equitable. You got a match. It makes sense to me. I think it's cool. People hate it. 
but people hate everything. And guess what? We're going to keep it rocking. But guess what? Also, the tournament is starting. It's time to duel. Let's find a pair. Where do you guys want to start? Pick a match. Any match. They're all heaters, dude. And say it is a Rob Cider. Rob, Rob, Rob Cedar could be a banger. Pui and Geronimo Seven could be a banger. AJT, BLS, and Gia could. They're all heaters. There's a lot of turbo in here. It's a lot of turbo. So we have uh we have Warrior, Turbo, Turbo, um, Relinquish, Turbo, 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 Control of sorts is what is going to be the situation. All right. So what do you guys want to see? Who do you want to see duel? Who do you guys want to see play? I think it's pretty for for go for man. I think that's a pretty cool top eight. I mean, I don't, I, I I'm fine with this. I like this little spread. This is what the meta is, and we we accept that. I think it's a pretty cool little a little turnout. Um, oh no, start. We're not starting. Do not start. Okay, my bad. I'm 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 not reading. Okay, and the top eight deck lists are out. They're out, and they're free. Man, it's cool stuff. Dang. Dang. If you want to see these deck lists, they're out in the Discord as well. Get Join the Discord and come in and check them out. Go to the critical information area. I probably should have made an announcement. I'm over here on stream. I'm not announcing anything. Um, as we have, we got some Chaos Turbo. We got the Warriors. We got Boom. Boom. What do we got here? Boom. Rob Cedar's deck looks pretty clean. Boom. Main deck Zing is crazy. Look out for that. Okay. Okay. Herney Hog, okay. Please deck's cool. Please always playing some cool stuff, man. Please always playing some cool stuff. Gia's deck's cool. Oh, man, these guys are so good, dude. Turbo, AJT on Regeki Break. I did. I just noticed that. Very neat. Very neat seeing the AJT BLS play Regeki Break. Finally giving up that tired ass wing blast. Dude, love to see it. I <laughs> love to see it. Give that. Give it up. But yeah, pretty much uh, everyone's playing like the turbo decks, super standard. Um, it's, it's, I mean, this, this is, this is not a lot of spice, not on left and right, but it's pretty, it's pretty cool though to see. It's pretty cool to see. It's pretty cool to see. All right. So if you want to see those, make sure you get over there and probably as we're playing, I can start to, uh, I can start to reference certain things as we go, as we go along. So it is. Five chaos turbo, one blue turbo. They start they're calling it. <laughs> I've heard that blue turbo. <laughs> one go control and one warrior, warrior, warrior. The ultimate warrior. One warrior to yield to 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 cleanse them all. Cleanse this bracket, Moxies, as we're all depending on you, you, you. Okay, no more echoes. I won't echo anymore. Just trying to. <laughs> I'm trying to be. Uh, I'm trying to be dramatic for dramatic effect. That's my, my echo voice. All right. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All right. Cool. No spice. Just the good stuff. Pui with Doriado tech. If we can, if we can win this with Doriado, if we can win this with Doriado, that would be so sick, dude. If Moxie, I like Moxie's too. Rob and I have one card different. I think most people that's, that's turbo. Turbo is, is the deck. It is no, there's no fluctuation. There's there it's it's optimized, dude. It's optimized to the point that we are I'm not I don't I don't want to say tier zero because it's clearly not tier zero, but it's it's there's no change in it. There's not much you can do. Just play the deck, play it well, and have your results or play the spice. There is no meta. It's only turbo and everything else. What can the question you have to ask yourself, and the thing I like most about this format is my personality. I am a problem solver. I like to solve the problem. I like to try things. I, I see the problem and I try to use the resources I have to analyze the problem and then solve the problem. I do that. I like doing puzzles. I like, you know, solving mysteries. I like playing mi mystery games. It's just my personality It's what I like to do. So if I see that there is chaos turbo, I understand what the deck is trying to do. There is a problem set that is before me. What can I do to come up with ways to stop that or to deter that to you know and that's that's part of the fun of the game for me do i win all the time do i win a lot no because it's just the way the, the game is played but still a lot of it it, it it when it does happen when you can use emissary to beat turbo and you can beat turbo with sonic duck or you can beat turbo with you know plants or something you're like yeah i just did that and, and my theory worked out all right i'd love to see pui okay so we'll start there 
We got some fan. Can we start? No, we're still holding. Do not start. Do not start. Take all orders from MMF. Do not uh, start yet. Take take orders from MMF, and when it is time to start, we'll do a big tag. Let me get to the Discord. Um, let's get into the Discord real quick, and I'll be clear to start. I'm ready. MMF, I'm ready. I'm locked in. Rob Cedar is ready. I'm ready. I am ready. Let's do it. Let's do it. It's time to duel. I'm going to make an announcement. Top eight starts now. Let me see. How can I do this? And we'll get Pui. We got some fans for Pui. I know Pui doesn't like being on stream, but you got a lot of fans. Heavy as the head, right? That wears the crown. You get people out here chanting, Pui, Pui, Pui. You got to, you got to, I am just a humble servant, dude. I have to appease the crowd, okay? People want to see what they want to see. And we have... The top eight begins now. Look at that, dude. I'm an idiot, bro. What am I doing? How can I? Uh, I'm a. I'm gonna add everybody too. I don't give a damn. People are like, oh, I hate getting tagged. Oh, take this tag, dude. This is the damn GSC. Wake your ass up and get this tag on a Sunday. Happy Sunday to you. Happy Sunday to you. Get this tag. I'm hitting with a happy Sunday too. Let's get it out of there. Whatever. Jeez Louise, I'm old, dude. Good grief. Let's go. Let's go. All right, it's time to duel. Let's duel. You may begin. Duelist. Let's play ball. Let's duel. All right, let's do it. 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 Everyone locked in, laser focused, motivated. This is the GFC. This is round one of the top eight. Let's get it active. Let's play. I need field reporters in every game and in this chat. I need constant play by play update and analysis for the other matches that are ongoing simultaneous to this one. Okay. I need feedback real time from what's happening in the corresponding matches. And I need everyone to be locked in laser focus, motivated, hydrated, moisturized, well-fed, well-rested. It's time to move out. Let's go as Geronimo is sacking ridiculously. What is this game? Is there any justice in this land? Pot duo in the finals is ridiculous. Hate to see it. The hacker, the hackers, the hackers are happening as we're going to lose their premature burial. Hate to damn see it. I'm sick. But Geronimo, I mean, it happens. I'd love to, I'd love to start every game like this. It's really almost, it's not a lot of times you can win. As Melkit is saying, 137 watchers, 84 likes. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Let me. I haven't checked. The, I haven't checked the health of the stream. Yeah, that's that's uh that's absurd. I, I would say that's that's absurd. Like to watch a ratio, but we got a lot of people who just don't who don't be liking anything. We got a lot of people who just watch and don't. There's you gotta understand. There are a lot of um, there are a lot of like naysayers out there. We get another plus here with this Dequichi, so it's not looking great. I hate to see it. Pot duo starts. Flip Dequichi sang in on a and another plus coming in. Oh my God. Hard to see. Hard to watch, man. Hard to watch. Hard to absolutely watch. Let me close this off because we are in. There we go. Sick. Sick. There we go. As we got Break of the Magical Warrior. So this guy's looking to plus up here. Can't be ring. It's going to be Jar Grease. So you're not going to get your plus off, but you will get one through battle, it seems, as the Koichi will fall to the Break of the Magical Warrior. PQ2 says, I never like anything on YouTube. Well, you're you're an op. Like, what is that all about? Like this damn stream then. Change it up. <laughs> Change it up. Like, I'm asking, I'm I'm begging you to like this stream. I I never like anything on YouTube. Help a help a help a brother out, man. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You're not op anymore. You're a friend. You're a real one. Welcome to the program. Thanks for liking this stream. I don't you don't have to like anybody else. If you have one subscription to anybody, it should be here. If you like one thing, like this stream, okay? Don't like anything else. Go back to go back to your regularly scheduled program. 
but I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I never did either. I get it. Before the channel, before the channel, I start. I appreciate that. Because the most time, I mean, if you got, if we had like a billion, a billion subscribers and a million views and a million, jillion, all this kind of crap. And we're Mr. Like people are there liking Mr. Beast videos. I'm like, well, he don't need you to like that damn video. Okay. We don't even got 10,000 subscribers. I need these likes to, 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 to get more people up in this mug, dude. Mr. Beast is good. Okay. Fucking PewDiePie is good. People out there like it. Shout out to Simo. People like his videos. He's he got it. He's up. He's on top. Team Samurai, they got it. They're on top. I'm a, we are here in the struggle. We're on a struggle right now. Like this damn video. Shit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh. Mr. Beast and Goat Format collab. When? Dude, I'll go on Mr. Beast in a second. I'll blow. Hey guys, today we're gonna blow up this GOAT Format deck. I got JDZ from Go Format. What am I doing here? Hey, tell us about yourself. Hey, I'm JDZ. I play Go. All right, enough of that. Here's $10,000. Let me smack you in the face. All right, bro. If that's what it's... Oh, damn. Wow, did you see that? I'm in slow-mo just getting slapped. Whatever it takes, dude. I don't care. I don't care. Today, in Go format, Yu-Gi-Oh, they played Dekoichi. It looks like a train. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to buy a train, fill it with Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and blow it up. Are we Are we really? Are we really doing that? Why? I don't know. Boom. It's raining cards. I guess. This is, this is skibbity. JDZ skibbity. Okay, that's enough. We're in the final. <laughs> We're in the finals. We're in the final. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. All right. So now Pui is trying to just, just get some cards where she can. She's trying to find a way to get some cards. And it is just not... Uh, <laughs> It is just not it's not working out. As Pui is in the chat listening, commenting in the in the watchers box says, "I burned this ten thousand dollar deck. Look at this. Hey, we got this card. It's called Tyler the Great Warrior. There's only one left. Let's put some explosives on it. We flew to we flew to Japan where this card was printed. We bought the factory, and I don't know. I don't." I don't know. No, Pui is playing uh, Relinquish. She is playing Relinquish as we're going to go ahead and hit card destruction here. And she is just digging, 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 looking for some cards as you're able to cash in those Thunder Dragons. Unfortunately, your opponent is going to cash in some Thunder Dragons as well. And now we're going to be able to see what it is. As we're going to call the Manju of the 10,000 hands. And we're going to get a ritual piece. Call it blue, blue turbo. I like that. I like, I like blue turbo. I was listening to the stream of goat grand prix in Atlanta. Huge shout out to them. Make sure you guys go over. They have their deck profiles out. I'm going to still do some coverage for that. I'm so sorry. I just been really, really busy. Um, I'm gonna get some coverage up for that tournament as well. Get it onto the website, get it onto the YouTube channel, but they were, they were making comments and they were talking about how quish the word quish cause people calling it quish. And it's like, um, it's like kind of maybe like a weird sounding thing for the ears and mouth to say quish sounds kind of whatever. So they did, they like, they started calling and they started saying blue turbo and other people have been saw it calling it blue turbo, blue, blue turbo, blue chaos, blue chaos. It's cool. It's pretty cool. As we got another piece of freaking Trinity is going to be up. Hate to see it. Like, how does this, how does it keep happening? We got to figure out something. It's got to be some algorithmic, some algorithmic flow is happening. Wait, what? Mr. Shogun Lopez? Did I, did you talk to him before or did I, did he think you were a fan? Think you were a fan? What happened? Oh, Shogun says the Simo guy once came up to me when I was sitting at a table at a YCS and asked me if I wanted to sign a, if he, if I wanted him to sign a car for me, I was confused. Dang, that's, that's wild. That's cocky. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's wild. That's pretty cool. Maybe you just had a good vibe, man. Maybe, maybe, maybe you just thought you, maybe you thought you were someone else. That could be it too. Cause you can imagine, um, like someone of that level of popularity. It's probably people like, Hey man, I'm, I'm I've been watching a lot of your videos. I rock with you. I've been rocking with Simo for a minute. Let me get your autograph. Maybe someone who looked like you said that to him. He's like, Hey, I'm busy. I can't do it right now. And then maybe he like, 
reached out and thought you were that person or something. That that kind of makes sense to me. But that's kind of wild. Like, hey, man, you want my autograph? Like, I don't know you, man. All right. I don't think my ego can take that. I don't I don't think my uh, I don't think my ego can can take that. You want my autograph? Dude, no, I don't want I don't want your freaking autograph, man. I don't know you. And if I did, what is your autograph going to do for me? I did something similar to that happen happened to me when I went to a YCS as we're going for a snatch deal here. So Pui is just getting absolutely sacked into oblivion, man. That sucks. Got snatched. Is missing another ring, and it's like you got it all. You got it all. Um, <laughs> I I was in YCS and where was that YCS in uh, in Vancouver, and when I, I did go up to that YCS, it was awesome. And the freaking I had a, I had on my my goat format Hawaiian shirt that I wear when I go out to these places sometimes, like a goat format it's a shirt with goats on it, and I got the goat hat on, I'm fully goat, got goat socks on, I'm goat. From the head, from the from the head all the way down to my tippity tippity toes, dude, through and through, go format. And I'm out there rocking it, and people are fucking with me a little bit. They're like, "Hey, I recognize you, man. You're the you're the fucking guy who's doing the thing." I don't watch all the videos, but I see you out there, and people are taking pictures. And I'm signed. I'm not famous, <laughs> but people are kind of rocking with the program a little bit. And I'm salute to the real ones out there, NYTS. But the um the reigning, the current and reigning world champion was out there and he's just kind of walking around doing his thing. And I didn't recognize him at first until he came up and he also had a Hawaiian shirt on. So I'm marking Hawaiian shirt. He's got Hawaiian shirt. And we're like, um, and he's like, Hey man, I like your shirt. And when he said that, I was like, Oh shit, you're the damn world champion. Congratulations on your win. You know what I'm saying? Keep rocking it. Would you sign a car for me? And he did. He signed my, uh, what did he sign? He signed, I think I have it still. Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? He signed. He signed a pot of greed right there. That's right there, coming from the from the world champion. So he didn't come up to me asking me to sign something. We took a picture together and we just vibed over, vibed over, vibed over that. Signed this little pot of greed, and it was pretty chill, man. He's a cool dude. Cool dude. Cool dude. Uh, him and uh, him and him and Scully and some of the rampage guys actually go way way back. They all went to the same locals together, and now he's uh, now he's a freaking world champion. Out here in current, doing his thing. Asking, hey, I say, hey man, you should come on and play some ghosts. It's kind of fun. He's like, ain't no way. I was like, Ro Roger that, <laughs> Roger that. And I pimped off, dude. <laughs> ain't no way. I was like, okay, shit. Well, I guess I'll just go. Uh, I guess I'll just keep it pushing. I'll keep it moving. I'll keep it moving real quick. I just walk up out of there. People don't rock with the ghosts like that. Maybe we can make it happen, though. We can get somebody in here. We can get somebody in here. And then he brings a 2005 gold control deck like Jesse Cotton did. What a freaking... Oh, that's, that irritates me. HMVB. That irritates me like you would not believe that he did that. I was so upset that he did that. And I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why, okay? Because go format, you guys know. And I'm just being completely transparent when i say that go format is not where it used to be we're kind of on on a decline i was I, in my assessment maybe it's true maybe it's not just my initial set you got duo again can you give me a break with the duo please geronimo okay i'm hating now when people open duo back to back gotta give me a break but it's kind of it's kind of on the on the decline okay it's kind of on a downward trend as we got Dur elemental hero El elemental hero <laughs> they should have called it elemental hero <laughs> Elemental mistress. <laughs> Elemental mistress. Doriado. Look at that. It's gonna be. <laughs> oh man. It's kind of on a. It's kind of on a decline. It's kind of going down. So whenever there's an opportunity for someone to put go in a prime spotlight type situation, I think it should be magnified in a positive and uplifting manner. Because there's so much negative press and um. I'm not going to say propaganda because that's not the right, right word, but there's so much negative about it. That's free. You can find the negative stuff everywhere. You can throw a rock and someone saying something bad about it, but it's very rarely you see it being promoted in a positive manner. So you're on the stage and you have all these people who don't know much about goats and you have the greatest player in the history of Yu-Gi-Oh probably ever in Jesse Cotton. And you sit down and you give him this deck that is antiquated, outdated, 
wrong and he's 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 forced to play it they should have said hey jesse we're gonna fly you out here because you know he's not paying to come out there konami's got to be footing that bill hey jesse we're gonna get you come out here i'm gonna get you to play some some go for Yu Gi Oh. i think it'd be great to talk about these retro things we're pitching this time with stuff i'll give you your can can you make a deck i mean you can let's see what you would do if you play ghost same thing with the other don't give them decks just hey here are the cards i want bring these to me at this thing here's the deck i want to play send him the damn link and have it show up for him and see what he can cook on his own instead of giving this man freaking detox in 20 because 20, people are going to think that's the best deck and it's clearly not and he just got absolutely bla- blasted by in a, in a thing with someone who actually had a meta deck you could tell i uh, shout out to the i can't even remember his name he's an italian legend uh in terms of play and, and commentary and stuff you could tell he had a meta ass deck. That deck was legit real, and Jesse had, and it's it just. I think that's. A, I think that give him some warriors or something. Give him something that can give give more game to it. As Pui, it's going to go for a relinquished sucky here. We're sucking it sideways right there. And <laughs> sorry, <laughs> oh, I can't believe I said that. I'm so sorry. But it's in defense position. And it's going to suck. That's called a. That's a that's a suck. That's a suck it sideways, dude. <laughs> hey yo. <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry hey yo my bad as Pui just goes all in in it to win it maybe you can even put that damn relinquish in attack mode huh put that bad boy in attack position because they can't attack into it i guess i don't freaking know i don't freaking know as Pui is sitting at a comfortable eight thousand. geronimo seven Whole 1900 ring is looming as Breaker the Magic Warrior is going to come on in. And Breaker is going to go to break. Oh, man. And Breaker is going to go after the MST. You get a plus. Breaker's going to swing. You get another plus. So he gets a comfortable plus to Breaker. Rare and indigenous. MST will be great. Do you got ring? No ring. No ring there. As you're just going to go ahead and kick it here in uh, with all your guys in attack position. As we enter to this first main phase, we're just Sork Banish. Send the Breaker. Shift to defense position. And we're crashing in with 14. And 14 will. Oh, man. 14 gets in clean as it will connect. And we'll set another. And then we'll shift the Relinquish to attacking posture. Is Geronimo the new best Greek player? Oh man, there's some Greek hitters hitters out. I still think Maru is. I think I think Zogler and Maru are 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 close. Are close. I think I might put Maru a little bit up, uh, just a teeny 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 bit up because Maru be out here cooking. Zogler's cooking, but Maru, man, he's out when Maru is in his bag. Or Maru is Maru is sleeper. Because Maru doesn't talk, man. And it's the quiet, the quiet duelists that kind of go under the radar. It's the quiet duels that people don't really uh don't really talk about too much. And Maru will show up, journeyman, get some tops, get some doves, and just fade off into obscurity, dude. And just go back to go back to doing their thing. Uh Geronimo's been topping the same thing. Geronimo doesn't talk a lot. So Geronimo doesn't uh doesn't get a lot of notoriety. That comes along with uh, this thing. As Sukiyomi is going to take the challenge and reset, and reset the uh, reset the the boy, the guy is down. Senju or Manju or something along those lines. Geronimo has done a lot of tops consistently. That's true. Geronimo's good. Geronimo is very good. Geronimo seven, and I like uh, I like I like Marvin. I like Marvin. Is Marvin Greek? Excuse me. Is Marvin a Greek duelist? M four R V I N E. Is that duelist from Greece? I think that might be a Greek duelist as well. <laughs> what do you call an attack position suck? That's just a standard suck. That's just a st- oh standard suck. That's just a normal a regular a, a regular. <laughs> suck me sideways. <laughs> What did I say? I'm so sorry, guys. I'm a child, man. I am a child. I am a child. A child, a child. That's that's my bad, dog. My bad. 
that's my bad. As we're going to have to employ return from the different dimension technology just to not die. As Pui has already uh, entered into the battle phase. We're in main phase two now, in phase, as we'll just send the Breaker of the Magical Warrior back to the out of play realm. So Geronimo has some return elements to this deck. I sh Again, those decks are open and available. So if you're in the Discord, you can hop in there and check those out. It's in the GFC critical information area. You can check them bad boys out at your leisure. As we're going to go ahead and play the Jar of Greed, trying to get it out, trying to get some answers. It's sitting at 250 life points. There's not a lot you can do. AJT. Cool. Yeah, she got a little a little one of return from the different dimension in there. Man, some good units. Good units all around. As we're flipping, as we're summoning the Manju of the 10,000 hands yet again. As we're getting another sucker out there. There's no chance you got another spell, do you? I'm pretty sure these decks typically only play the one of spell. And we're going to crash into the GK spy. So that's a pretty good crash. You're going to get some value out of it. At least you're going to get your spy out, but at least you got one of those bad boys in the grave. As we're sitting here, maybe you got second RB. Yes, that was a chaos sorcerer that launched that attack. Hey, yo. I wonder, I wonder what Manju does with those hands after he hits up Quish. Ooh, they're sucking and just putting hands on everybody, huh? They're sucking and handing everyone as the Relinquish is sitting in attack position now. We'll get a Banish. Everybody's locked in attack mode. We'll get rid of the uh, Chaos, the Gravekeeper Spy, and then we're just going to go battle in with 14. And it will be the Sinister Serpente that is now in the graveyard. Relinquish cannot stroke in. He's got no, no stats. No stats. Insidious and Cedar going to game three. Wasn't KC Phil Sophos the dude that cheated at World? But we got to be very, very careful with that type of language, man. I really don't like to label people like that. It's not my style. And I really would appreciate it if people around me didn't do that either, man. Let's go ahead and be careful when we call people. Because once you put somebody label as cheater, okay, when you say this person is a cheater, then you start, you start, it, that's, that's a hard label to get off. So let's really, really be careful when you start calling people cheater, okay? Maybe people might make a mistake. People mess up. People don't always, you know, these tournaments are long. People may not have have people might just mess up and then you know my bad and sometimes things don't don't go right after that but just to say this person is a cheater is uh is not not accurate all the time as moxies and herney are gonna be at a one and one <laughs> call them a sideways sucker. Dude, no side, no, no sideways suckers out here. That's so rude, man. I can't be calling nobody no sideways sucker. Everyone to a game number three. Pui is hoping, sending in good energy for a no third delinquent duo. Okay, if you go for the rare and indigenous third start of delinquent duo, I'm calling the freaking dueling book algorithm, dude. We can't have it. We can't have it as Thunder. I guess we're just going to go Thunder Dragon Charity this time. Or is that what we're doing? It's better. It's better to be a sideways sucker than a face down sucker. Ain't that true? Ain't that a fact, dude? Ain't that a fact of life, Fancy Diesel? If you got a... <laughs> Ain't that the damn truth? As we got no trend coming out. Just a humble T set as Pui is hoping for a little bit of trend to start this duel off. Dang, dude. <laughs> As we're going for the Manju, looking for another plusing opportunity, it's going to come in the form of the sucker himself, the blue thousand eyes, or thousand eyes, relinquish. 
going to be in hand as we just attack into the Sinister Serpente. That guy was looking like a bluff if I ever seen one. We were bluffing hard with that Serpente, and he's going to get attacked in two. It looks like we're going to grab the Sinister Serpent back to the hand. The Blue Thousand Eye. Relinquish. How many eyes does Relinquish have? He, does he, is he, is he, has he got a ton of eyes in there, or is he just look like a couple? Because, I mean, Thousand Eyes, If you if, based on Geronimo's picture here, you can see that Thousand Eyes clearly does not have 1,000 eyes. I would almost argue that Relinquish has, he has, he has three eyes. Okay. 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 Three eyes. We get out, folks, get in your game. <laughs> get out of this chat. Get out of this chat. As A, J, T, BLS gets the win and Gia goes down. No. I think that was a bad matchup for Gia. I think that was a bad matchup. I think the turbo players and the control players kind of, they clash not evenly. And just looking at the deck list, I think AJT had a lot of materials in there. Still, he had, so had, some, had some units. So AJT moves along. Gia is going to fall out of the tournament. I hate to see it. Well played though. Another top performance by Gia. Another sleeper duel that a lot of people don't register when they when they talk about who's good, who's bad, who's who's awesome, who's ass. Gia is another person that's always left out. No one mentions Gia. No one talks about Gia, but here she is topping another major goal format tournament again, having a great run, uh, playing control, and she got a very deep bag of tricks too when it comes to decks that she can play, and I think she's a strong duelist. But just running into AJT is always going to be tough, man, because he is among the very best game that we have in the game. As we're going to go for a TT. Dang. Huge TT. Huge TT coming in. Popping that abyss, boy. Dang. Monster Torrential Tribute. Hate to see it. Ouch, baby. Very ouch. I guess you could have kept plugging away with that 14 and hope for the best, but you got to get active too. You got to get aggressive sometimes. Be aggressive. Be aggressive. All right. Sick. <laughs> Sick. And now we'll go ahead and T set now coming in from Geronimo, who after that Master Torrential Tribute has a lot of the momentum and things are starting to favor. And Trap Does Shoot is going to be played. We'll take a peek at the hand, and this thing starts to spiral fast as now Geronimo is playing with perfect information and another set card onto the field. Maybe trying to get that, um, get some get some pressure with a Thunder Dragon or something, or flip a spy or flip a flip a Decoichi, anything in this type of spot could be detrimental. Could be the almost not even necessarily end of the game, but once this turbo deck can can get ahead, once you can get up in in card advantage. It's kind of hard to grind out grind them. It's kind of hard to out grind them. And uh, it's tough. But putting the damn relinquish back is kind of fortunate for Pui. She's got those searchers. She could just get that thing back out again if uh, if if it's so worked out. As LeBounty says, Gia always top eight to GFC all time. Like so consistently in the top FLCs, in the top of GFC. She's in the obelisk. She's out there dueling and she's making results and getting in she just needs to convert one time she's going to convert and it's going to uh it's going it's going to work out the millennium eye on thousand eyes remind me of an elephant's trunk it kind of whenever i see um whenever i see this thousand eyes strict and relinquish i think of those creatures from uh from the fifth element at the beginning when they give them the key to the priest only you can know what did he say what he said what he said I will remember you, the desert guy. And he gives him the, the key out of his finger. Though, every time I see Relinquish, I think of that guy. Those guys. Only you can protect the thing or whatever the hell. You know what I'm talking about. You know the vibes. You know the vibes. JDZ is good. JD oh, I'm not awesome. I'm good. I'm okay. I'm decent. I am decent. As we got Sinister Serpente is going to be on the approach. And it looks like we're going to clean up Sinister on Sinister. We got Sinister Wars. Chaos is live. We is like, send it. BLS me if you must. You don't got the you don't got the marbles, dude. You don't got the minerals to summon BLS and try to win this game right now. Just like I thought, Pui says, as you reluctantly set, set, and pass back on over to this fearsome and ferocious Sinister Serpent who actually survived. 
Time does not matter. Only life matters. That's so good. You got it, Faded. You know, <laughs> dude, that's so good. That is so good, dude. I freaking love that movie, man. I might watch that tonight. Write it down. Fifth Element going on tonight. The Fifth Element, dude. That movie is so good. I love that movie. And then we're going to crack on in. We're just continuing the pressure. We're going to continue. Lilu Dallas Botipas. I love that fucking movie, dude. It's so good, man. It is so good. It is so good. <laughs> what are you? Uh, are you, sir, are you human? No, I am a meat popsicle. Corbin Dallas, smoke you, man. I love that fucking movie, dude. It's so good, man. Uh, I need to watch it. I need to watch it. As we got Manju is on the, the approach. We got Sinister Serpente in defense position. <laughs> Chican, Chican, Chican. Yes. Oh, you can speak English now. That's so good. That movie is so good. My name is John Baptiste Emmanuel. No, Emmanuel John Baptiste Zorg. Dude, what's his name? What's his name? Ah, uh, that actor. He's the goat. He he might have been one of the best. He might be. He might be low like. Low key, can I say low key as a forty year old, damn near forty year old? Can I still say low key? What's his name, dude? You know what I'm talking about the guy who plays Zorg. Might play uh, the guy who plays Zor Zerg. Ah, oh, what the hell is his name? He he was in uh he was in True True Romance. John Baptiste Emmanuel Zerg. What was his what's his damn name, dude? Gotta maybe look it up. Gary Oldman, Gary Oldman, Gary Oldman. I won't. I got it right here. I got yours, and I'm a male. I'm gonna mail Jose's uh, probably tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, there, Gary o Gary Oldman might be low key, low key, high key, low key. One of the greatest actors ever. He got so much range, man. And he could do so many different things, like the True Romance, and he was in Hannibal. He was in Fifth Element. He was. He's in. He's Commissioner Gordon. He's wearing fat suits. He's wearing skinny suit. He's losing weight. He's gaining weight. He's got wigs. He's got it all. He's a true, true, true actor, dude. He can be anybody. And he crushed that one too. He can be anybody, man. He is so good. Yeah, him and uh, him and True Romance. I love that one too. He's also Dracula. Let me, let me pull up his IMBD real quick while we got this while we got this match underway. You guys see what it is? Please got the Thunder Dragon established. We've got Manju established. Geronimo is on the approach. Dex, he's kind of, he's kind of got a little bit of, he slowed it down a little bit, but we'll see what this set's going to be. Let's see if we can engage favorably with this set as I'm over here searching as she grabs the Sinister Serpente back to the hand. And then we're going to RB here in a standby phase. We're going after that set Mon. You hope it's not that Serpent again, but it is that trusty GK Spy. You need that bad boy out of the way to keep your pressure Hi, this deck can get low and aggressive super duper quick. And we're summoning and we're sending. Freaking TT already blew you up. Now you got to figure out how to not get absolutely blasted by a mirror force too. Because getting both of those things to plus on you in one duel typically does not end well. So we're staring down an open board as we'll send one to defense and then we'll punch in. will punch in he goes hard as the bad guy in the professional dude that's another classic role he's got some hits dude gary oldman's got some hits dude he's so good just you just look at his imbd and you just see like you can just see all the different costumes and all the stuff that he's that he's wearing and all these different stuff he was in oppenheimer as the president i didn't even know that he's in uh let see what's another what's another What's another one? Dude, somebody, I don't know. Darkest Hour is a good one. That's Winston Churchill. He killed that one too. Uh, Hitman's Bodyguard. That was funny. I like that. He was in Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. That's true. I remember that. He was Dark Knight, Commissioner Gordon, Tinker Taylor Soldier Spy. He crushed that one too. He was even in Kung Fu Panda number two. I didn't even know that either. What the hell is going on? Got the voice actors on lock. Uh, what else we got? 
no, no. Oh yeah, Sirius Black in Harry Potter. As we're gonna go for a snatch steal here. Snatch deal, take over the Thunder Dragon. Is, are we taking over just for a defense? This is even sadder than a snatch stolen spy to defend yourself. But we're gonna put this bad boy into attack and we're gonna try to get into the hitbox and we will take over the Manju of the 10,000 hand. Uh, let's see, he was Hannibal, in Hannibal as the guy in a wheelchair, which is awesome. Fifth element, Dude, he's got some absolute bangers man that's good that's cool that's cool okay back to the action back to the action gary Oldman. okay don't forget about him here's a go all right so let's see if Pui is talented enough to get to a heavy storm let's see if she's got the dueling skills to draw a heavy storm and play it and probably walk out of here with the dub unless uh unless there's some solemn judgments coming in from the geronimo aspect ratio of the duel let's see what we got here the Geronimo side of the house, and maybe there's some, uh, <laughs> maybe there's some, uh, some, some, maybe we've got some, uh, some, some solemn judgments taking place as the Boomafu comes in for the host with the most, JDZ forever. Yo, 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 for the two dollars. Let's go. Shout out to you, Zaboombafu. Zaboombafu. Every time Zaboomba's in this chat, dude, I'm lit. It just reminds me of a, of a happier time watching those. Watches the Boomafu and the Crap Brothers. Got an Oscar for playing Winston Churchill. Yeah, he crushed it. He crushed it. Like it when you're a really good actor, I've noticed when you're when you're a really, really good actor, I notice that it is just um it is just really um when I'm and I'm watching the movie and I'm just like completely captivated by what the hell I see on the screen, like what's going on. Like if I, am I, if I, if I don't even like, I, I, I lose, I completely buy in to who you are. Like I, I thought that he was Winston Churchill. Like I was like, okay, we're, we out here with it. This, the cinematography is right. The lighting is right. I'm out here. This, this guy is Winston Churchill. I'm in it. Moxie's versus AJT for the invite, bro. Oh, Moxie's goes down. Moxie went down. Moxie's goes down, and he's playing as AJT. That is going to be an absolute dogfight. Must see TV. We'll flex the cameras there immediately after this one. I almost want to tell him to hold up so we could start that thing from beginning to end. But man, oh man, that's going to be an absolute dogfight. That's why I think this format is good. I like this because you're just putting people and they're just fighting for their damn life the whole time. Like there's no breaks, there's no slide, there's no. You're fighting for your fucking, you're fighting for your life from beginning to end. And I'm with that. That's the way I think these tournaments should have to go down. As so we're going to go ahead and relinquish, we're going to relinquish suck, take over the set. JDZ, have you seen Games of New York? Daniel Day Lewis is unreal in that. I love that movie too. Leonardo DiCaprio crushed it. That's another good movie, man. Dude, when he's in there, when he's in there, uh, he's fighting Leo or whatever, and he's throwing the knives, and he starts, he gives this little speech, and he starts headbutting him. I was like, bro, that is so, that is so gangster, dude. That is so gangster, dude. At the beginning, when it starts off, and they're like getting their, getting their gangs ready, and they're meeting up in the, in the town square to fight. I was like, so good, so good, man. I love movies. I love movies, man. I like it. As we're gonna go for a tribal infecting virus play here, we're bringing out Sork, and we're saying. You ain't got it, big dog. You ain't got it. And Pui is pushing it to the limit. And the limit has been pushed. We're going in. Oh, Think. Geronimo is thinking. Geronimo is thinking. Who's coming in first? Let's see how you schedule these attacks. Another... <laughs> Another sideways suck. I missed that one. I missed that one. I missed that one. I missed the sideways suck, but there was an established. Geronimo just got sucked sideways as Sork is going to be Sakuretsu armored. And then we have 16. We'll try to reach in clean. And then we're going to go into the second main phase. Please sets one. <laughs> Please sets one. <laughs> And Pui provides her own commentary and says, that was a Sakuretsu armor. Get it? Sakuretsu armor. I'll be here all night, folks. 
Man, I really love Cleveland. Boy, are my arms tired. Airplane food. What's the deal with that? <laughs> As we have the uh, sucky Yomi. It's going to be able to face down, ass up the tribe infecting virus and suck him off as well to the graveyard. Okay, no, no more sucks. No more sucks. We're done with sucks. We're done with sucks. This is the finals. I got to be serious. <laughs> I'm going to grow up. I promise. I promise. I promise. I promise I'm going to grow up. As we got the sinister Serpente is trying to slither in for a 300 damage. This is... <laughs> we're trying to get in. We're trying to get in for 300. And we're going to take it. Oh, my goodness. The 300 goes in clean in attack position. Dang, dude. Dang. <laughs> These jokes suck, dude. Oh, my goodness. Dude, you guys are killing me, bro. I love a good pun. I, I do suck at them, though. Okay, we're done. We're done. Last one. That was it. That was now. That was it. Now that was it. We're we're done. We're done. We're done, dude. We are done. Why is relinquish in defense position? Maybe just to hold down the board. Just hold hold squat. Hold it down. Hold it down because I think defense position is actually better because it's going to require. I guess I guess it, it would require two attacks either way. You would, you wouldn't be able to attack it at all. I don't know. I don't know. Mirror force. Mirror, mirror, mirror force is another one. Mirror force is another one. But in this, in this, in this, uh, in this, um, in this situation, if there were a monster that would have to attack to the thousand eye or the relinquish, you get another free sideways suck, and then you have some guy with some stats. Maybe I don't know. So you kind of keep, you kind of keep it. Uh, you kind of keep them, keep them at bay. As you got the GK spy who's going to be up and active and attacking into the Sinister Serpente. Put that bad boy into the graveyard. As Geronimo 7 drops down to 100. Now, we just needs the heavy storm. You need to get to a heavy. Where, where, where is your heavy? There it is. Maybe Solemn. It's maybe Solemn's the only thing that can save you. Or you're about to get sucked all the way off this tournament, dude. You're about to get sucked right out of this tournament. And it's Regeki Break, so you are not sucked just yet. You are not sucked. You get to live another day. As Chaos Sorcerer will definitely go ahead and suck this guy right up out of here. And that's going to be one light, one dark. <laughs> and that's going to be a GG. That's going to be a GG. It would suck to lose like that. Hate to see it. But still, very well done. Great performance by Geronimo. Great performance by Pui. The deck kind of went a little bit slower that time. As you can tell, there's really not a lot of spells in here. And when that turbo deck's not ripping them upstarts and them pots and charity, it's it's still, it's still a good deck and it still can grind. But this deck Pui's playing is very aggressive, actually. And it can get low to the ground. But we got to get out of here. We're going to see AJT and Moxie's, two of the game's greatest players, okay, are locked and engaged in a fight for their rights, dude. They're trying to win it. They're trying to win it, and they're trying to get to the top, to the tippity-tippity top. I think they met in Swiss. Moxie's got the best of AJT in Swiss, and now trying to return it again, do it again. They're trying to double dip the chip and trying to get back to, I think this is round number two, or maybe even number three. I don't even know what the hell is going on anymore. But they're locked and engaged in a game number one as we're going to Graceful Charity up here, kicking out the Spirit Reaper. It looks like Insidious has has secured the first invitation of the GOAT Format Championship. This will be Insidious's third, I believe, third invitation to the GOAT Format World Championship. So you're secured, you're securing points. This year, we're going to be doing a, a point-based situation where however many points you have, that's how many tiebreaker points you get in the World Championship. So the more you get, the more you're going to be able to have more advantage going on. As Macer says, I got to roll out. Thanks for, thanks for, uh, I'm going to be out of here. Uh, thanks for putting on a great event and good luck to remain in Dulles. No, thank you, Macer, role model for coming out and providing your time to help this grind. Those early rounds would not have been possible without you and your help was much needed and required, I would say. And it goes for everyone else um, that helped out. Pui, Morp, 
Macer, a huge, huge MMF, Les Fox, you know, everyone. Teeling, I saw was out there handling some business too earlier on. Everyone comes together and we're trying to lift this thing up. And that's really, really cool to see that that happens. As we're gonna get a delayed MST, we're gonna snipe the Sakuretsu armor. And we're gonna to continue to smash in for 16. And let's see if that goes through. It gets in clean. As we'll take the 300 and the 1600 AJT holding on the two, trying to get back. Graveyard's looking, looking juicy. Graveyard's looking set up, but something had to have been solemn there just based on the way these cards are transfixed onto the field. Moxie's is still in a commanding position, and you have some Trinity has already been resolved, so that's a pretty key spot for you. So we're still holding uh, holding the line. Staring down. Gazing. Gazing openly. Oh, again, I got, I got, I'm sorry, guys. I got to cut these. Uh, I got to cut these gifts off. I don't know why. I think it might be something with my... Uh, with my 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 uh, Google Chrome and the Stylebot thing I got going on, but it is just jamming me up. I gotta cut. And it's definitely the gifts. As we're gonna go for a book on faith, book on faith chain RB mandatory. I think you gotta do it. That's too much advantage to give away, but you're gonna lose some more advantage here as this Donald Z is gonna come out and absolutely take it from you, taking everything you got. The bald or excuse me, the one eyed menace straight from the dentist. The purple haired bicep pumper. With guns this time, no bullets, just guns. It's going to reach in there and take the trap to shoot away. That thing was dead as hell, so it didn't matter. As Breaker is going to get in for another clean sixteen. As we're holding, holding on tight. Daniel Casey says, "Awesome tournament, awesome commentary." Off to my weekly goat local tournament. Let me know where you guys are playing goats at locally. Maybe I can do an announcement. I'll do this thing. It's called Locals Alert. And I'll put an announcement out for other people who might be in the Discord. There is a, I think we have like between 7,000 and 8,000 members of the Discord. Sometimes there are people who are in your area. Maybe they'll come and join you at your locals. So send me a flyer or send me some information about that. And we could do a locals alert for your locals. But if still good luck to you, hope you knock it out. And let me know, man. Take some pictures of something. Get people out there and, and just sharing that information. I want to see people playing Ghost IRL. And we can put that stuff on the website. We can put it in the Discord. And we could just vibrate. Good energy. Good energy. We need all good energy. As Max Kolb says, absolutely. Killer commentary as well, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think it's... I, I, and I, I get... I, again. Again. I do get hate for the way that I do the commentary sometimes. Because I get off subject a lot. I don't go play by play the whole time. I, I'm not making calls and reads. I try not to coach as much as I can. And I, I try to, I, I, I make a lot of jokes, you know, I'm sucking this and, and blowing that and doing all these kind of things. And some people are like, oh, it's not for me. It's too, I'm, people are way, way too serious about it. So a lot of people are like, hey, I don't, I don't really like, it. well, that's fine too. The games are unlocked. You can go and do that too. But I like to, it makes it really fun for me. And I think it's a, it's a good time. Um, to, to, to do it this way. Talk about movies. We talk about art. We talk about fun things and, and songs and music and we're singing and it's, it's fun. It's really fun. It's like the funnest part of this whole thing to me is being here on the stream with you guys and making the videos, judging way down. Okay. Judging low tournament, organizing low coordinating. Oh, low. I don't going back and forth with people negatively low. Those are things I don't like. I love this. Like I can sit here and stream and joke and laugh and cut up all day long because it's so much fun. And you guys make it fun too. If you're viewing, feel free to comment. Feel free to um, be a part of it and, and like it and, and get on in there. Fancy Diesel says, uh, the goofing around is what makes the stream. We have enough tryhards in the community. I, I agree with that. I, I agree with that. I But I understand every different strokes for different folks people like what they like and everybody's not going to like everything people are not going to like me people are going to want to see it fail people are going to want to hate it because they don't agree with my philosophy which is totally okay and that's fair i'm fine with that you just i just don't want it to be projected negatively and you try to tear down what i'm about and what i'm trying to do you can not like it turn it off and go I would appreciate it if you didn't do that, but it's fine. It's 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 fine to, to not to not like it. It's fine. But what often happens, like what people want to see is it's like when I when I bring people in to do commentary, if I other people doing commentary, it's always like, 
here here is here is JDZ doing commentary as literally how people want to see it done. Okay, so what do we got here? He's got a he's gonna tag into this Thunder Dragon. Ah, I don't know about that. Yeah, see, you see he's got ah, man, he's so ah, man, see, he got that mirror force, man. He should have knew that was mirror force. Ah, see. What I would have did, I would have, I would have, yeah. So clearly that was mirror force. Yeah, based on the based on the way he put that card down, man, it could have, yeah. Was, all right, so let's see. Main phase, hmm, what could it be? Okay, so let's see. He's got a, he's got Thunder Dragon in hand. He's got Thunder Dragon in hand. Okay, Thunder Dragon's in hand. That's set. It could be Dekoichi. It could be Faith. It could be Serpent. It could be Singing. Did he dust you? I don't know what Moxie's think he's got there. I don't know. Yeah, man. I don't know. That's so bad, dude. And he's got so he's got four. So you know one of those is solemn, right? One of them is probably shoot. He's probably got a battle trap shoot, maybe a dust tornado. Um Yeah, no, because he would've if it was dust tornado, he would have dust tornado the mirror force. So it's not it's not dust tornado. Um It was it was uh Yeah, and that and that's it. That's it. That's it. You got eight hours of that. You got eight hours of you got eight eight to ten hours of that. I can't do it. I'd I'd cut this damn stream off in a in a heartbeat. I can't do it. I can't do it. Okay. I can't do it. I got Thunder Dragon coming in clean through four backies. Moxie's ain't about it. Those are bluffs. This is my call. That's what I'm saying. You got Thunder Dragon coming in clean through four backies. Hate to see it. Boards locked. AJT is fully pot committed. TT will eat your ass right there as no middle cross out coming after the new set. It appears. It appears as you're going to go ahead and lose that Dekoichi, the battle chanted locomotive. <laughs> those four backies are kind of wacky as AJT must have a solid read on what those things might be. He's got a lot of trap dust shoots in the graveyard and those board that you're board committed. One big beefy baddie. And you're going to be in a in a in a compromised position as well. Top eight round two bagels bagels are these semis. Yes, this is this is top eight. Um, the winner of this will be granted an invitation to the go format world championship of which neither of these duels have. If that if you can even believe that if you can even believe that that is the case that these duels have been playing this season is kind of long in the tooth. And these duelists don't have an invite just yet. So that's uh that's pretty incredible. Um, so we'll see. And I also have their portion of of the prize, cash prize. We got the mats that are coming out, which is why the prize pool is a little bit lower uh this time, because the mats prices have actually increased significantly. Um, so we might have to we wanna we're gonna I'm gonna keep rocking with meta mats this year, but we might have to make some assessments going into the next year of how we're gonna do those prizes because the prices are so so much higher than they usually were. I think the deal just isn't as good as it was. As big mirror force coming in from Moxie's side of the field, as you're gonna be able to relieve some of that damage and get a little plus in the process. That's why I wasn't able to to give out as much as I would as I as I usually do. But um, I, th I think the prize pool is now, I think what I said was at 310. So it's still pretty, pretty decent for, for a day. But you also get the trophy and you also get the mat. And uh, it's going to be what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. It's spy format. Spy is the strongest car in this game right now. And I say that as the delayed flip Magician of Faith gets crazy. Was that delayed or how long was that faith on the field? I think it seemed like it'd been there for an eternity. And that bad boy is going to flip and resolve. And we're going to get that charity uh, to come back. Get that bad boy to, <laughs> to get that bad boy to come back. As we're going to reveal Graceful Charity again. Drawing three. Do you have some uh, some value with this thing? Is there a night ass? Let me pull up these deck lists. I forgot these decks are open. So you're able to see what the um, what is available. You're gonna be able to see what you got. <laughs> Nate Dog says yes. He didn't want to risk TT with a bigger board. I suspect. Yeah, that thing was kind of camped out there for a little while, showing some discipline. That's just a discipline play. That's why these guys are so good because just little small things like that just add up over time. Add up those really really good plays. 
like that are just above a normal level play, you do that enough times, it's going to add up and you're going to start generating more wins, at least from what I understand. Cause I'm, yeah, I'm flipping, I'm flipping and dipping, dude. I'm <laughs> Nate dog. I'm big time flip. That thing is flip, dip and flip the script. I'm probably sacking it and then jacking it, dude. I'm out of there. I got no patience. I'm, f I see that faith. I'm so, first of all, if I have magician of faith in my deck, that bad boy is never resolving for me anyway. That thing is either resolving for my opponent or it's for getting no middle cross out or I'm never drawing it or it's getting level two to eggs out. That bad boy is not flipping. So in the rare instance, so in the rare instance when that bad boy is on my side of the field and I got some good trend in my graveyard and I have the opportunity to flip it, I'm flipping it. 100% getting flipped. But you know what? AJT built a little diff, read the room, got him his value, understood the situation, and that's what it is. Master Reactor says, I don't think Spire's that good. It's not that good. It's that great. It's the best. It's so good. I've seen, I'm a, I used to be like you, um, Mass Reactor. I used to be like you. And I used to be like, ah, oh, it's not that good. It can't be that good, can it? It's just a fucking common. It's got 1,200 attack. Oh, how good can this card be? It's like a neg at the end of the day. But when I see this thing, when I see what this thing can do, man, sometimes it'll just, they'll be in top deck mode. And they'll resolve, hit two spies. And that turbo deck is able to just claw back in, just sitting behind this thing. Draw, draw, draw. If you can have this thing just sit up there for four turns, that's four cards that you've now got that you didn't have before. And turbo can turn those four cards into a plus two. Easy. Easier than any other deck in this format. And they just claw, 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 claw. And you got two of them. So, and, and for the most part, especially if you're playing Warriors or you're playing a Mirror, the only cards that can really get by it, you got Chaos Guys, Tribe, Ring. You probably can get through one of them, but you can't get through both of them. And it just, it just sucks. And those four cards are Cardi, two Knight Assailants, Thunder Dragon, and you're blown out. You're, you're blown out, dude. It happens so much. You know, yeah, I know we saw... We just saw how, how it puts Spy put AJT in this just like Jeff. This game in particular, you remember a few turns ago, AJT was in a down bad spot. He was kind of getting getting walked out of there. Moxes had some situation going on. Spy gets set up, and now you're just asses in the grass, dude. And you got to figure out how to get this asshole off the field. Which is why I was saying, like, I think it. I don't know if it's time, but there might be something these warrior players can do to maybe start playing more Ninja Grand Masters in the main deck or maybe more some buyers or something that can clear GK spy more effectively in the first game. Cause when he sets up on you as a warrior player that if you watch all these films and you watch all the games that warrior players play, I guarantee you when the spies are set up, that's when you're losing. That's when you're when the spies are getting knocked, you're probably winning most of those games. But when the spies are set up on you, that's when you're losing. More main deck goblin attack force. That could be energy. Maybe not because he's earth and all. And you're already kind of hurting for your, your ratios and whatnot. Maybe it's more Sork. Maybe go back to playing Sork. That could be that could be a vibe. But again, you're you're bricking now. Your top decks aren't as live as they always are in this in this warrior deck. Maybe going back to Sork could be could be the play. There was a time there, and if you go back and check all the older decks. Sork was heavily played in the Warrior strategy. That could be something like having having that thing in there. Michael says going to Giant Orc. Giant Orc would be a vibe. He is dark, but he's, he can't Rota. You're not Rota. You're not Rota. He's not Rota. Rota guy. He's he's. I wish he was. A, I wish he was a warrior. I wish he was a, a dark warrior that you can search for. Yeah, one Sork isn't unheard of in Warrior. It just stopped, it just fell out of favor. It just fell out of favor, man. People just stopped doing it. I think it could be a time to just, just go back to that. Go back to Sork. Go back to Skilled Art Magician. Um, maybe go back to, like, I don't know, more Zumbiras or something. Because look at this. You're sitting here, and you're getting walled. You need a way to get through this thing before you can push in for 600. If that spy just sets up on you, you can't do anything. As you're going to flip... The Dekoichi, the battle chanted locomotive into attack position, playing around the uh, trap dust shoot. 
maybe you're selling, maybe you're selling snatch deal. You're selling something or you're just risking it for the biscuit. Cause that 400 off the Koichi still not game. Still can eat that if you need to. What is the reasoning in playing skilled art magician in chaos warrior builds? It's just a solid dark monster that is, um, you can, you can set your grave graveyard up with it and he can, uh, take out kinetic soldier, I guess. It's just a solid, just a solid body. Sukiyomi proves solid body and it's dark. And if you notice all of your monsters are like, except for Don, all, most of your guys are going to be really weak to Sukiyomi. And this guy can, this guy can, uh, not, not do that <laughs> as, um, as we're going to go for a snatch deal play. So there was a snatch and now we have to think about it here. Moxie's MST has already been deployed as well. Mirror Force has been deployed. Thinking about it here. To special summon the Dark Magician. That would be so sick, bro. That would be so sick. And then you play the Heavy Storm. Wow. So AJT is kind of cooking here. A little bit of cookeration happening. As we go for a rare and indigenous snatch heavy. So he's trying to go plus ultra. And it seems like it's going to resolve fully. You're losing it all. Lose shoot. Lose TT. Lose pro set heavy storm. Dang. And then you're summoning the Sukiyomi. And this could be the game right here. Flip spy. And just like that, we're going to get a GG. Very well played by AJT. That was a cool play. I can't even hate. That was pretty cool. He put it together. Ran the numbers. Why didn't Moxie use shoot? Was it live? Was it live? Why was it live? GG AJT for champ. That was that was cool, man. I don't know. I don't know if there's a point where it was live. It was not live. I'm I'm fairly certain AJT was just playing around it and it just happened to be there. It was not a point where it was live. He had four in hand after flip deck. No, I don't think he set. He set a. He set a card first. Flipped the deco. Got up to three. He was playing around it the whole time. That was a cool play. That was a cool play. Good game. I like. I like seeing cool stuff like that happen. You got a snatch head. Like it had a had a little a little dual puzzle in there. All in good order. Good sequence. As Jonathan Donjon says, no, he set a spell trap before flipping. Yeah, he set it. He set it down. My screen is kind of glitching out, so you might not have seen it in real time. It might look like it was already there. But he set first, then flipped the Koichi, going back up to three. And then he played the snatch deal. Then he switched to defense position. Heavy Storm, sent it back, summon Sook, flip spy, attack, game. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, a lot, a lot of people, a lot of people, Michael, would have missed that, the whole play. And, and and fumble the bag right there to include myself perhaps you know that's not something you see right away but he played it he played it very well <laughs> he played it he played it very very well all right so we're going to a game number two situation as they're side decking i can go ahead and pull up the deck list for for both of these duelists real quick as maybe i can't can i do i have the technology can i do this Boom. Okay. So first we'll start with, uh, oh, they're already in it now. Dang it. We'll do it real quick. AJT, son of a, that's Gia. Never mind. That's AJT here. You probably see a little bit. Three is he's playing like a, like kind of what Nicey and the Solly guys and Ivan have been doing off of wing blast. Finally, thank, thank heavens. He figured that out. And then we have Moxie's here, who is a lone warrior player right here. So both playing pretty standard. Moxie has some, some goodies in there. Just one King Tiger, one Ashura. That's pretty cool. Reaper and Faith are going to be in the main deck as well. So there you go. Get out of there. Get out of there. Does anyone remember when scapegoats were played in Go Format? We had some scapegoats in the top eight, and there were some in the top in uh in the in the higher rounds of Swiss as well. There were some goats. What is that? 
as I'm in my in my coffee over there. Look a little, well, gotta fly in my Chardonnay and hit the lottery and die the next day. Breaker looking strong, popping the dust tornado, punching in for 16. Moxie's on the back foot as TDs have been claimed two in hand. Now we gotta figure out a way to get Breaker off the field. I don't see enough goats, just spies. Spies everywhere. I hate it. I hate that it's so good. And I honestly, would be another change I would make if I could go back. Ain't no damn way I'm giving spy more defense than guard. That's number one. Okay. I'm giving. I'm ain't no ain't no way I'm giving spy more defense than guard. That's number one. Number two, spy stats would be GK assailant stats. They would not be 2000 anywhere near that card. It would be Gravekeeper Emissary stats or whatever the hell's name. <laughs> 10,000 spoons when all I need is a night. Come on. Come on. That's my that's my karaoke go to. It's like rain. You know the vibes. As we're going to heavy right here, <laughs> it's a free ride. You know the vibes. Come on. I'm sorry, I'm on hype man right now. As we heavy, the Regeki break. Maybe Moxie can get loose on this Breaker the Magical Warrior. For real, if Spyware 19 would solve so much of the problem, I'm I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine with Spy being... I, I'm saying Spy at 19 would even be too high. It should be... Spy should have 800, 700. It should have Troop Dragon stats. It should have Troop Dragon stats. What are troop dragon stats? Let me let me Google troop dragon. Okay, where's troop dragon at? Like you're a oh that's you guys seen a that's the sausage. We're making some sausage over here. Get that out of there. You guys got a sneak peek behind the scenes. Okay, that's me making thumbnails out there. It really just shouldn't be able to search itself. Yeah, that that would be too easy. But I'm fine with the searching itself. Its stats are just too bulky. It's stats, it's stats would be too bulky as we're going to go ahead and set the magician of faith, get back to heavy storm. But uh, we got AJT who was on the approach, just pushing big damage. Spy has a dump truck. Shogun says spy. It's got a thick bottom half. Big cakes coming in for GK spy as Kiko, the ghost destroyer is going to be established to the field. We're getting rid of that thunder dragon and we're going to enter to the second main phase. Is this top eight? That's correct. This is the top eight. This is <laughs> top eight. Kinsworth killing me, dude. Kinsworth says GK. Yeah. GK. Hey, let me holla, let me holla, let me holla, 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 let me holla, let me holla. GK. Yeah. Dang. As we're going to go Sangin, it's going to be able to clear the Kaiku to Ghost Destroyer, and then Eleven is going to continue that pressure. Will Sakuretsu armor the Tsukiyomi? And just like they see that, we were talking about um, Skill Dark. That whole thing, Skill Dark blows that whole play up. Skill Dark blows that whole play up. Yeah, if it was 1k attack, 1500 de defense, who knows how good it would be. Still would be playable. It would be playable. It would be playable, but it would not be nearly as good. It will be playable. That's what we need. Right now, it is format warpingly good. It is too good. It is the meat and potato. It is the backbone of that Chaos Turbo deck. It needs to be out of there. Chaos Turbo will still be good without it, but it would not be as good without it. it let me holla, let me holla. Holla, holla, holla. <laughs> Bitch, get out. <laughs> That's, holla, holla. <laughs> That's me to GK Spy. Never mind. Ayo. No pause. Hey yo. Yeah, it needs it needs it needs bubonic vermin stats. That's what it needs. It needs it needs it needs bubonic. It needs to have bubonic vermin stats. It needs to have measly pathetic stats. I used to bubonic vermin the hell out of people, and then summon you know Jinzo or whatever. Summon my summon flip bubonic vermin. Summon summon skull, and it was a vibe. As we're going to go ahead and rip the heavy storm here, trying to plus up, and AJT will deny cutting half, protecting whatever that whole card could be. Probably something juicy. I have some ideas of what it could be. I don't want to say, and I'm sure Mox is already running the numbers of what that could be as well, based on what AJT has done. So this is a, a Mox is precariously perched in a compromised position here. 
as you're thinking about how you're going to effectively reduce this sanguine. At Heavy Storm, was your meal ticket? And <laughs> he <pro> <laughs> James Arc is killing me. He protected the entire card, all of it, every aspect of that card. And now Moxie's is in a conundrum, thinking vigorously. AJT is a known bluff artist, though, so he could just be a it could just be a straight up jar of greed back there. It could just be playing these mind games, just playing. So that seems like a very AJT thing to do here in the grand. Like he takes the riskiest plays in the most high pressure situations. Just straight up solemn, protect the jar of greed, just to absolutely bluff your opponent out of his wits. But if it's not, I've seen it. He did it. He did it early in this tournament too. Set five, no solemn vibe, and it worked out perfectly. Never punished. He's not playing thirty nine hundred for a jar of greed. Probably not. I'm I'm totally kidding. But how cool would that be if he did? As we're gonna premature burial, we're gonna get a target here. Targeting the Kiku, the Ghost Destroyer. Let's see if we rip anything. And we're going to go into a battle position. Alpha swinging into the San Gone. Swinging into the San Gone. Dang. I don't know. Some people say Carl Wait started it. I heard. People were playing Reflect Bounder back in the day. We're talking Turbo? I, I, I have said in my assessment just based on the things i've seen in my research no one can know and it was mirror force that was protected not the torrential tribute like i thought it was it wasn't it was indeed mirror force i thought i thought that was torrential tribute 100 but i guess sometimes you're right and sometimes you are incorrect and we're going to rip the mirror force to blow up the kaiku the ghost destroyer i i i say that um i say that um i i do give him credit for it because if you just go back and look at some of the earlier decks in the in 2018 and 2017 throughout the revival of goat format he was playing decks that could be considered chaos turbo way back then so that's why i give him the initial credit for it although there's no way to know and there's always people coming out oh, when i was in locals i was playing thunder dragon i was playing sork i was playing spy i was playing this deck yeah okay proof put it put it on wax dude because i no one's going to believe you so because everyone knows that guy or are that guy I'm like yeah i was playing thunder dragon back in 2000 back in 2005 man i was playing thunder dragon triple solemn jars spies sorks and i'm just saying you probably weren't okay because i know people where i where i was playing at you weren't okay you were not lucas was on turbo early too 2018 2019 a lot of people uh, in and he was crushing. He was crushing people with it. It's just, it was, and now I'll look at it now. So that's why I always say, at least for me, and I hope people adopt that ideology, is that everything is derivative. Everything is a copy. Everything is a um, an homage to something else. No matter what you're doing, everything you are doing now, somebody has already done before. So I always have deep respect for the people that come before me. That's why I salute to the OGs in everything, not just in goats, because it's always going to somebody comes before you. There's always going to be somebody did it before you. So everyone's like, oh, I created this. Well, you probably didn't because someone else has already done that. People played spy back then. People did play spy. I I, I can I can concur that people play spy based on uh, Max Suffrage's list I, I know i played spy i had because i you see what he did and i was a net decking guy i was in the library freaking pojoing my ass off taking people's strats dude i'm not gonna hold y'all I, I, I was like hey he's doing it he's freaking the national champ i was on pojo taking 45 minutes to download a deck link you know what i'm saying getting a scantron of someone's deck like wow this guy i you try you try it and it, it works out man so that's that's for that's for sure, but people just were not playing um, common cards like that. It's because they were common. I guarantee you right now, if Spy came out and was an ultra rare, ultra ultra rare, which it very well should have been. Let's be real. Who gives a damn about a damn great Dizard? What the hell is a Fujioho Richie? Who the hell gives a shit about a Rope of Life? Okay, who the hell gives a damn about any of that? Hell, Poemer, get the hell out of here. What are, what what are we talking about?
Spy could have very easily have been an ultra rare card. And if it were, it would have been played a lot more. If it were, it would have been played a lot more. Trap Dust Shoot could have easily have been an ultra rare card. If it were, it would have been played significantly more. But there was a serious rarity bias in those days. People did not play common cards. People wanted holographic cards. People wanted to bling their deck out. People were playing Ceasefire, Magical Cylinder, freaking Reflect Bounder, Genzo, Break of the Magical Warrior, Mystical Space Typhoon, okay? Because they're holographic. That's why people did not play Chaos Sorcerer because it was common. It's very true. As we're going to continue to rock out as Moxie is in a down bad position. AJT getting his vengeance in bushes here. As you're going to set more cards onto the field, Moxie's is down, but still not out. You have some opportunities. I don't think I've seen Moxie's resolve a Trinity piece on stream the whole tournament, by the way. I'm just going to say that because this duelist is not getting to the units. But you still have some options. If you can get to a piece of trend and maybe get to the Black Lusted one, you can probably still get out of here. You can probably get out of here. Captain Crunch says, I like Hellpoimer. It's a pretty cool card. But if, if you're trying to tell me here and now in the stream that Hellpoimer is better than GK Spy in any capacity, you are playing yourself. You're playing yourself. You're playing yourself. You're not playing me. You're playing your own self, man. Because it's just clearly not. I can't recall playing Sork back in the day, but people played more Demok. 100% Demok was played more than Sork. 1,000%. Because Sork was ultra rare and Demok was a common. It was crazy. It was it was nutty. As we're gonna go ahead and hit the Regeki break, target the Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer, send it into the second main phase. We'll set one vibe as Moxie's is down horrendous, but not out. Down but not out. You can withstand a few more attacks as we're gonna just shift the Magician of Fate to defense position and bash on in with another 16. As we're going ahead and set one and forget it. Now we're going to pass back on over to Moxie's, who has a few opportunities left to make something happen as Pot Agree is going to be ripped. AJT begins to think. And we're going to rip the Psalm. Does Moxie's have one to rip back? And no rip back. We're just going to pass it there. It looks like as your board is open. AJT thinking about running the red light. Maybe you can get a summon in and you can't. We're just going to go tribe in for 16. It gets in clean again. I think we're viewing graveyard. We're viewing and we're just going to Saku the tribe here. You're down a ton of cards. You still have one rip. You can get to a black lusted one. You can't seem to get to the black lusted soldier either. You're still holding your position. You need that faith to not go off. We need to see. Oh no, as it is a second installment of the Magician of Faith. And this thing is looking pretty cooked as you're going to get Mystical Space Typhoon, which is a scary, scary sight, uh, meaning that BLS probably is looming. As you go ahead and pop the Solemn Judgment, and that would have been enough to stop the Black Lust of Soldier. And it is going to be a GG all around. What a duel, man. What a match. Two Titans at their best playing, and Moxies will fall just short ajt does get his ultimate revenge and is able to take down moxies and continue to move on and ajt will punch his ticket to the goat format world championship finally the poty of 2022 will be the in the goat format championship making it to the postseason huge shout out to moxies for a stellar 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 uh performance in this tournament unfortunately you just didn't make it to where you wanted to be Warriors in shambles. We're not saying Warriors in shambles. I think Warriors are up. I think Mox was playing well. He just didn't. You guys know how the game is played. He didn't get the rips, man. He didn't get the rips. He was getting. He was getting outpaced, outdrawn, and it just sucks that 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 happens sometimes. All right, let's get another game going. Let's get another game going. Let me pull the bracket up one more time to see where the rest of the tournament is at. I believe we're in the grand finals, right? Are we in? Are we in winners finals? Well, let me pull the damn bracket up. Let me let me get the damn shit going, man. Oh, we're back on we're back on the retro, so I should be able to hit bracket. I should be able to hit bracket, or I think you guys can also hit bracket now if you can, uh, if you can see, wrong one. Jeez Louise, man, what am I freaking doing? Fucking first day on the job over here. First day on the job. Never mind, the bracket is not working. 
Forget I said anything. Yes, the bracket is working. All right, so. <laughs> Copy and let's do a quick little bracket buster real fast to see what's cooking. Let's see what's cooking as we have Insidious who is hold, holding the line in the grand finals. We have the Pui and AJT BLS rocking Dogtown. We're going to call that round three though. And then we have Herney Hog waiting in the wings as we're going to see who can make this thing absolutely pop. Let's cop on in and see the Pui versus AJT BLS. I believe these duels also met up in Swiss, so this should be a rematch, I want to say. I have to pull the uh, the Swiss the Swiss Miss back up. Revenge, Pui calls, as AJT has just got his revenge on Moxie's from Swiss. Now Pui is able to play AJT and is hoping to get her revenge in Swiss. So I think that's really cool. I think it's really cool. I think this is really cool. Um, I, I I I do I do I do like this format. Okay, I like this setup that MMF has done for this one. I think it's the fairest tournament that we've ever had. I think it seems fair to me. It seems equitable to me. It seems like we played nine rounds of Swiss and I think most of the results were solved in Swiss. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna be what it is, man. I think it's cool. MMF is a G. MMF is an OG or real G. I can't say enough good things about what MMF is doing for this game. And not just this game, retro format in general, all across the board. Without MMF, I don't think I don't think we have Go format. I really don't. Without MMF, I don't think we have Edison format. Without MMF, I don't think we have Tingu format. I really don't. I really don't. I really, really don't. Without MMF and Format Library, I don't think we have this. To put all these people together, to put all these rulings together, to have that base of information for sure Hall of Fame type level. Without their impact on this community and on retro space in general, we don't have it. So you guys really need to understand and, th and be thankful that people like that exist and they're willing to do this kind of stuff. Master Reactor says, at first I didn't like this structure, but I'm coming around to liking it now. It makes the, it makes the most sense because we're playing so many Swiss rounds. There can only be one winner anyway. There can only be so many one winner can make it. You're going to have to play all these people anyway. There's no free rise. There's no coasting. You're going to have to play and that's going to be it. That's going to be it. As Zogler says, I'll always prefer classic Swiss to top eight. I think most people will just because of just because of your the way the way you grew up playing the game, probably. But just imagine. Okay, let's pull this back back up one more time. Let's pull this back back up one more time. Let's see how it all how it all shook down. So boom. Just imagine we got we got Moxie's playing Geronimo. Okay. Say say for instance, Geronimo beats Moxie's, which could very which could have very well happened. Moxie's is now out of the tournament. Gone. You're finished. Geronimo moves on. Moxie's great Swiss run, first place in Swiss. Geronimo had several losses, gets into Swiss, and now his ass is Moxie's is out of there. I think I think there is, even though you know what I'm saying he lost he, he lost multiple times to people that Moxie's could have beaten in Swiss. You get paired up and you just lose and your ass is done. I think that is un unfair, but still, Moxie's plays Herney, he loses. He gets a chance to lose again. And now Geronimo gets a chance to play Moxie's and still has the opportunity to, to beat him in a one-on-one -on -one situation. I like I like that. I think that's cool. Because Go Format is inherently sacky. I would admit that. You got trapped to shoot, delinquent duo, BLS ring, and you just lost. So to have your whole Swiss run be invalidated by getting sacked one time in the top cut, it's never going to seem fair to me. People say, oh, that's just the way it is. Suck it up and deal with it. We shouldn't have to do that, okay? We shouldn't have to do that. We shouldn't have to do that. We shouldn't have to do that. As, uh, let me get back to the chat. As we're waiting on these duels to show up, AJT is probably taking a quick break. As AJT is going to take a quick break. As Golf Army, Golf Army is in the chat saying, I wish I knew how to enter. Golf Army, the information is out there, big dog. We need you out here playing. There is another tournament next weekend. As Master Reactor has said, there is a PWCQ. PWCQ, we try to do those uh, twice a month, unless it's a major tournament, and there's only one a month. So there will be PWCQ next weekend. That one is not free to enter. You will have to be a premium member in the Discord, or you will have to be at the tournament tier in the Patreon. Feel free to do that. Sign up for the Patreon. Help support the format. All of that money is being redistributed back to the format. I do not take a check. I do not take any 
profits, no ill-gotten gains, nothing like that. So all that money goes right back into the format in some form or another. Uh, this form is going to be into purchasing the the World Championship play mats. Uh, full disclosure, you know what I'm saying? We had some, there was some some business issues that happened behind the scene. We're trying to get out of that and we're going to build it back up and everything is going to continue to be in there. So if you want to participate in the Patreon, I need to figure out um, other things that we can do for people who say, I just want to be a part of the Patreon or I want to be a part of the premium membership, but I don't want to play. I just want to donate and say, here is my contribution. Here's my $10 a month to be a part of this club. Maybe there's something else we can do for those other people who aren't really into, you know, playing like that. They just want to help out. So feel free to join that um, and play. It's $10 a month or maybe like $12 a month with like taxes and all that kind of stuff. And um, it's it's cool. It's chill. JDZ, when are we getting a New York City area event? When you, Michael, be the tip of the spear, be the person boots on the ground, help organize it. We'll get a New York City GDP. We've already gone there once. It was cool, but I I can't. I just don't have the time or the or the personal finances resources to to host every Goat Grand Prix. So I really have to lean heavy on uh, the the people to to help help do that. And I've just been really busy. We have some. I just need to announce them and make all the flyers and stuff. I've just been so so swamped with work. It's a very busy time in my my own personal schedule. But we have um, May 4th, we're going to Cleveland. Let me see if I can pull these up while we're waiting on Pui and AJT. They need to get their game on. Well, I don't know what they're waiting on, but they need to they need to freaking uh, get out here and start dueling. But uh, while, they're, while they're waiting, jaw jacking, flippity flapping, whatever they're doing over there, I don't know what they got going on. But we have uh, Goat Grand Prix in Cleveland. That's going to be May the 4th. May the 4th be with you in Cleveland. Come on out. And play. This one is announced. It's open. It's free. They have a pretty small player cap of 48, but it's still going to be vibe. It's going to be good energy. And these tournaments, they're not going to be the biggest tournaments. I mean, if you can have 60 people, 70 people come to a GGP, that's a huge win. But they're around the 40, 50 range. It's like a regional go format thing. You can earn an invite. Have some fun. I love going to GGPs. So Cleveland is happening. We also have uh, Austin Brook is also happening on May the 4th. So we have one in Germany, one in Cleveland happening on the same day. This one should be streamed to the GoatFormat.com YouTube page, I believe. So they got streaming rights. And then once this one ends, we'll try to get the uh, Cleveland event up. So they should be having it on the same day, but this one should be ending right as the Cleveland event is starting. So all day GoatFormat action there. Uh, in June, 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 June is going to be wall-to-wall GoatFormat GGP month because we're going to Chicago. We're going to Connecticut. We're going to what was the third one? What's the third location? Help me out. Chicago, Connecticut, Detroit. Okay. Chicago is going, no. Yeah. Chicago is going to be on the 8th. Connecticut is going to be on the 15th. Detroit is going to be on the 22nd. So it's again, very regional. If you, if you have a car with good gas, you know, gas mileage, you can theoretically make it to all of those things and just kind of drive it out and be all, be on all those at the same time. So many within, yeah, within six, within six hours of you, so many within six hours. Yeah, get over there and play. Oh, I skipped one. Yeah, so that's so June is going to be heavy, but also in um, also in May, May the 18th. I don't know how I missed this one because I'm actually going to be in the building for this one. I'm being in a building going down for a GGP in Texas. Where's my flyer at for Texas? I made this myself. I'm very proud of how this turned out. Boom. I don't know if you guys seen that. We got Don's Alug in Texas. You see that? I made this. I made this. I made this right here. I'm actually going to be here. So if you're in the Dallas area on May the 18th, IRL GOAT format event in Texas, come on out and play. I'll be there. If you guys want to come and hang out in Texas, come hang out with your boy. I will be in the building. Done with guns in Texas, dude. Look at this. Look at that. But June is going to be that Midwest circuit is opening up, man. Northeast, Midwest, whatever you want to call it. We're going to Connecticut. We're going to Chicago. We're going to Detroit. You can make it to all of those if you have a good car and a little bit of gas points. Ride with your friend, ride out, have some fun, all time goats. A lot of opportunities to go out there and play. Um, and then after June, we're going into July. And July, you already know what time it is. I got to pull this one up. We're coming to Seattle. That's me. I'll be here. This is going to be my tournament that I'm going to be running. If you guys want to come out and play in this one, I, I want to make it really special. I want to make it good. 
Um, I'm going to be putting a lot of my own money into this thing too to make it great. I already have the ultra rare needle worm right here as a prize card. And there's going to be other fabulous prizes throughout uh, for that tournament as well. So GGP Seattle, come on up. It's going to be in the summertime. It's going to be great. All right, more GGPs are coming. Uh, at, during side decking, I'll keep talking about those and running my yaps. But we got dueling action, and it's happening. We have AJT. We have Pui. We got a run back. Swiss. Swiss meets. And this, this is another cool aspect of it. You beat me in Swiss. Well, guess what? I get a chance to get revenge on you directly, and we get to play big dog let's duel as we're going to get this bad boy started as we're going to get this bad boy started let's duel man as we're going to go ahead and come out ajt wins the rps comes on out no granary on the scene just a humble t set and pass back on over to the burn queen hanging on to those burst Stenatrix sleeves with this uh this this uh what is this card what is this thing over here on the uh, profile picture there. AJT rocking the patent pending Las Vegas sleeves he's got there. Holding it down as we're going to go Thunder Dragon up. Thunder Dragon up. We'll add one. Dang. Just to add one pass. Pui is sitting on a monster brick, it appears. Car destruction is required. Start Astronaut says, I need that needle worm. Come on in, big dog, and come and get it. You come on in and come and get it. It'll be yours. I'll give it to you. I think I'm also going to offer a buyback. So if you don't want it, I'll buy back from you because it might be hard to sell. Because this thing has the centering, like some of the worst centering I think I've ever seen on a Yu-Gi-Oh card. But still, it's a vibe. It's energy. It's energy. It's, en it's energy. It's right here. Pui is playing, uh, we're calling it Blue Chaos. We're calling it Blue Chaos. Blue Turbo. Blue Turbo. That's right. Blue Turbo. And it seems like she's sitting on a monster brick. Just played Thunder Dragon, only search one, and pass. It has to be one of the saddest plays you can make. Mr. Bean asks, can you play, or not Mr. Bean, just straight up Bean, can you play OCG cards at these IRL events? You're going to have to talk to your tournament organizer directly. So reach out to them. Contact them because it's going to vary depending on their OTS status. If the store is an OTS store and it is an OTS sanctioned Time Wizard event, then you absolutely cannot, will not be allowed to play Time with or OCG cards. If it is not, typically what I've heard the rule is you can play OCG cards, but your entire deck, main deck and side deck has to be OCG all the way through. And you and and you have to have the ability to reveal like what those cards do. That's that's some of the rules that I've heard go down. So if you're if you play like if you play some OCG, like you can't mix and match. It's got to be all or none because the card texture is different, and you'll be able to feel and people can potentially stack. Zogler says his tournament organizer is says we allow OCG, but only double sleeved. Okay, that I think that's fair. Just because the card stock is so much better. The card stock is so much better that it uh it, it it'll allow for feel and people can you gotta be careful man people be out there getting their damn their damn David Blaine on dude they be out there freaking they be out there freaking cutting and stacking and hacking it's uh it's not it's not worth it it's not worth it mixed language TCG is good I like OCG cards a lot the card the cards feel better <laughs> the cards feel better. Oh, Nate Dog, Nate Dog says people out there mind freaking the card, bro. It'd be like, all right, so for my next play, okay, you see here, I have one exiled force. Ah, look at that. It's a card that's it's something else. People just be stacking, bro. I'm like, how the hell did you do that? I'm like, you see that? That's people out there mind freaking, dude. We're not, we're stacking. I'm like, hold up, bro. Hold up, bro. Like you see, there's nothing in my hand. That's people be out there mind freaking, dude. Stacking, hacking, and sacking. We're not doing it. We're not doing it. We're not doing it. So you gotta be careful. And if you have like, oh, you gotta be careful with the hobby league cards. Monster torrential tribute. We'll take that. Singing and torrential tribute. Is there a better combination? As you're gonna be able to uh, add a card, get a plus, and blow up your opponent's position there. But still. 
those Dekoichis, the Dekoichi, uh, I mean, the, the GK Spy already did what he was supposed to do. The Dekoichi did what he's supposed to do. And your graveyard is stacked, stacked, stacked. This thing is set all the way the hell up. And it looks like AJP, AJP, AJT is already deep digging to this thing. We're going to go upstart. Maybe he'll try to put the beans, put the beans. If you can go all three chaos right now, psh, never mind. It's not enough. That upstart just gave a little rebate. What about Hobby League cards? Hobby League cards, same thing. They, um, they are too thick no pause they're too they're too you know they're, they're easy to they're easy to stack with so most tournament organizers to include myself like if you're coming to seattle i'll tell you right now if you're coming to seattle we're we're going to not allow hobby league cards because people can stack those too easy and i've seen the evidence and i've seen it being proved in application they're too easy to stack hobby league cards cannot be played the OCG cards, I will adopt the OCG cards can be played, but your entire deck must be OCG through and through. There we're not mixing and match. You can't have it's gotta be one thing and that's it. No hobby leagues. Hobby leagues, you can't you can't have them. Just just for stack I, I just to reduce and you still can stack anything, but it'll at least make it a little bit more difficult to do that. We're gonna look we're gonna be looking at sleeves, we're gonna be looking at shave cards. Like I know what to look out for. And um, that's just that's just one of those things we're not gonna we're not gonna have it. Mewtwo struck back says I swear the entire point of Hobby League singing being used was to deck manipulate that when Crush Card Virus was legal. People are degenerate, man. People are degenerate. People cheat. People cheat in Yu-Gi-Oh. I hate to say it. I hate that that is a confirmed fact, but it's a part of our DNA as a game. Unfortunately. Cheating and Yu-Gi-Oh are hand in hand. It's a it's a part of our history. Everyone, every single person you will ever talk to that has ever played this game at any capacity on any format, if they've ever played it, they will all have a story about how someone cheated them. Every single person. You will never find a duelist that says, hey man, I've never been cheated. My whole play history is clean. Either they've been cheated or, oh dude, I heard you heard about this guy. When I was this, this thing happened. Every single person has a I've been cheated story because it's so apparent and it's something that happens so often that so many people can. So you got to try to protect yourself. Kyle Lopez says, I've never been cheated. I don't, <laughs> I don't believe you for a second. I don't believe you for a second. Wondermaker says, I got, I lost at locals. I lost at locals to a, oh, the, to a semi cheater to to a local semi to a cheater yesterday so this is still in the present time how did they cheat you wonder maker what did they do what they do if you don't mind if you don't mind regaling us with the tale of how you were in fact cheated yeah it's lo yeah local semi-final loss to a it just sucks man because people are going to do it and i mentioned that before in previous streams and other syndications i've mentioned it before it's like, um, it's like a part of, it's a part of the, it's a part of the game. Dang, Nightbot, why are you blasting? Why? Hold up. Did you just ban? Are you, is Nightbot banning people? Hold up, hold up, Nightbot. Did you kick, did you kick? Where are you at? Sean Bush, Mercenary V, did you just get blasted? Can you type Mercenary V? I got to tell, hey, Nightbot's got to chill. We can't be out. Okay, okay. Not you back, you back. Nightbot, you got it. <laughs> big dog. I respect you, Nightbot, but I'm gonna need you to bring it way down, big dog. You you gotta understand we got some rails in here. And I I need you to calm it down, big dog. My bad, homie. Yeah, Nightbot. You gotta relax. I was just trying to do my job. I know, dude. But still, you got the homies out here, and we're just trying to show some love and vibe. And you're just fucking up the whole vibe with your attitude. My bad, big dog. I will not do that anymore. All right, Nightbot. Fucking chill, dude. I'll mean it. I'll fucking deactivate your ass. Okay. All right. We good. We good, Sean. We good. You good, mercenary. My bad. For, from the homie, Nightbot. He apologizes. I thought I'll let you know that he can't be. He's not gonna be uh, balling you up anymore. He'll, he'll let you live. As we got the lady trap to shoot. AJT, get into the units. Get into the minerals. Get visceral with the minerals. Checking hand out again. As Pui is trying to put something together. As we got a little bit of lag here, dueling book, hold on, baby. Just don't give up, please. 
please. At least the prize support is trash. In Magic the Gathering, people have lost life-changing money to cheating. And that's and that's a good that's a good uh, that's a good outlook, Calvin. That's a good outlook, Calvin Yu-Gi-Oh. Huge shout out to Calvin Yu-Gi-Oh as well. Make sure you guys go like and subscribe to Calvin Yu-Gi-Oh. He makes some great videos, goat format and Edison format. Much love, much love, much love to Cal. I see you out there, big dog. I don't know if I'm subscribed yet, but I'm going to. If I watch most of your video, so keep that in mind. I like the I like the local stuff. It gives me a good energy. Um, but you bring up a great point, and which is why I'm kind of glad there's not a lot of money in goats. I'm kind of glad there's not a lot of money in Yu-Gi-Oh because people cheat in in our game for free. You know what I'm saying? People cheat for no money. We'll have a prize pool, $300, $400, and people will cheat. People will cheat for free. People cheat on the GOAT format rated ladder for no money. Can you imagine if I host a GOAT format Yu-Gi-Oh tournament and we say, hey, we're putting 40000 on this thing. First place, walking home with $40,000. Hey, we're putting 60k go format tournament. You put you put 200 200 buy in 60k going home the first place. Imagine what will happen. Motherfuckers will be hacking into dueling book bypass. They will be going to your house. They will hack your computer. They will they will hack your computer and be in your screen sh sharing stealing your information from your side of it. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Hell no, dude. That'd be so much cheating and sharking. It would be insane. Oh, yeah. A hundred percent. People are already cheating for free on the ladder for nothing. Of course, people would cheat for some serious stakes. So hopefully we do get a little bit bigger. I would like to uh, I would like to see a little bit more money being installed. But if we if we can keep it into a, mod a modest range, I think that would be a better as Dueling Book is starting to lag like crazy. Hopefully we can make it through the rest of this tournament. I promise you, Dueling Book, I will donate some more to it. Cheating to win that half-ass used $10 Chipotle gift card. Crazy. Crazy. I used to be uh, I used to be really big into remote dueling. Like I loved remote dueling for a long time. I still do. I still like it. But I, I used to really, really like it. And I was I thought it was the future. I thought it was up next, man. We had COVID, remote dueling. Great. Man, tell me why we did a remote duel tournament. We had like a prize. It was like $50, $100, some dueling book codes, something like that. Remote duel. And cheating was rampant. It absolutely blew up the whole remote duel. It was so bad. It was so many reports of cheating that we completely just removed remote duel from the equation. Because it don't get to a point where we're like, hey, remote duel, people are people are really vibing with it. If it's something that takes off, maybe we can do like a remote duel qual world qualifier and have a remote duel PWCQ or something like that. That could be cool. Ha ha ha. Wrong. <laughs> no chance, dude. We put up a tournament, it had like 10 people in there for like a hundred dollar prize. And there was so much rampant reports of cheating that we're like, I will never be a part of this again. Cause as soon as you put prize behind it. And it's going to be what it is. <laughs> it's going to be breaker. It's going to hit the ring of destruction. So you will get a plus on your snatch deal as it often does. And you're going to get some damage in the process. And now AJT is thinking about how you want to commit the rest of your main phase one. Chaos here could be a vibe. You still have not normal summon. So Slork normal summon, BLS normal summon could get us out of there. Ghost Rider said, did they add Potter Greed from the binder? Dude, it was, it was, uh, it was, it was just like people just, sacking not oh, topping oh i disconnected real quick oh my bad i'm back okay here we go pot charity duo graceful ring be like what the fuck dude every time huh okay oh, i disconnected are you back are you there are you there oh snatch for game huh. mst snatch okay dude right on okay you know you know i uh you know i freaking trap dust shot you right before you disconnected and you didn't have snatch or mst and now you have all those cards like what the hell is going on vibes vibration as we have relinquish it's going to be on the approach we're smacking in with 14 and we got a nice straight up suck into a delayed delinquent duo now ajt has to think maybe we got discard trap here 
You did duo yourself all the way down to a ring ring, but ring is gone. So you don't have to worry about that either. As you're snatching the Sukiyo flip me, which is the clean answer to this delink to, to this situation. But tribe is also a clean answer. And that is going to be a GG as we is going to admit defeat before passing it on to the side deck situation. As LeBounty says, Hey, Sunday, you say, let's go. Are you playing LeBounty? Are you playing? If you come on in for Sunday and play LeBounty, we could talk, man. Bring balance back to the force. Someone has to be able to deter this turbo menace. But the issue with LeBounty is that what is starting to materialize is that the PWCQ circuit has its own established metagame that is different than the rest of the circuit because so many people play Warriors in PWCQ. So many people play Warriors in the fucking PWCQ that is messing up the PWCQ meta. It's And it's, it's not reflective of what the game is at large. And now the turbo players are able to pre harder for, uh, for the damn warrior players. So turbo still comes out on top because the, because the control players are eating up the warrior players and turbo still comes out ahead. So it's, it's really interesting. I love PWCQ. Like I said, like I said, come on out and play. It's only, I say only, and I'm not trying to belittle anyone's financial situation. I understand how times are hard out there. And if you cannot afford it, there are other ways you can gain entry. Oh yeah, oh yeah. If you come out and you provide duties as judge, if you if you provide duties as tournament organizer, if you provide duties as uh, uh, support, as moderate Discord moderation, you can earn free invitations to the PWC. You you don't have to pay, but you gotta you gotta work to get in, because that's how we're able to get to get staff. But if you do have the ability to have you know ten dollars a month. We'll have two of those free tournaments to enter into the world's qualification. Winner of that gets the mat and then vibration dude and gets to go to worlds. So that's, a, it's, a, it's also a really cool experience. So that's next weekend online PWCQ. Come on out and participate as we start the link duo little makeup for the, uh, the complete brick factory you had last term, but night assailant is going to be a little bit of delinquent duo proof as you just go one for one there with a graveyard night assailant set up. And Thunder Dragon is back. As four says, J Dapper Z, how are we doing this fine day? The sun is shining. The lungs are filled with oxygen. The coffee, a little cold. Very Hawaiian, though. A little cold. Very Hawaiian. Coming in from the island of Kona. So I'm feeling so good, big dog. Hydration level is bad. Water is not present. So that is that is a that is a huge downturn there. That's a that's one negative. That blazer call is popped. Am I is it popped? Oh, have I been popped this whole time? I need it. I don't have my, my, my water bottle is out in my truck. Okay. So I might have to take a I might have to take a break to go grab that water bottle just so I can fix the hydration level. If I get the hydration up and my eyes kind of hurt a little bit because I don't have my my screen protecting glasses. But other than that, I am 10 out of 10 would recommend feeling fine, feeling fit, feeling froggy, ready to execute. As we got Manju of the 10,000 is on the field. We're getting the blue, the blue baby added to the hand. RB, we're pitching that bad boy immediately. Can't be SERP. It's going to be spy. We got 14 swinging, getting in clean. As four says, I've been working on a stem pack turbo deck thoughts. My initial thought would be, um, why? Okay. That's the initial, that's the initial thought is why if the answer is vibes. Okay. I can respect that. What are we trying to achieve with this stem pack? Okay. Is it just, is it just something? Is it just something that are we trying to tech at this thing? What are we doing with the stem pack? Are we trying to put it on your opponent's guy? Like, what am I doing with stem pack there? <laughs> what am I what am I what am I what what am I doing with stem pack? Oh you said it was popped hours ago? Oh man, I thought it was this one. I thought oh, dude, I'm an oh, dang man. I can't believe it. I'm st we still with it though. We still with it. We still with it. We still we still with it. <laughs> is it going to ring up the tribe who was trying to clean in for an attack uh, to make the opponent question things enough to where they scoop? 
Yeah, if I saw if I saw the play, if if you go if you go, all right, if you go BLS, stem pack, stem pack, swing, swing, I'm quitting. I'm quitting. Like I'm scooping. Like if you go, yeah, if you go blade night, stem pack, run over my spy, I'd scoop. I get the hell out of it. I'm like, I don't want nothing to what this guy's. I don't want. I don't. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go. Here, here's me. Here's live. Here's a live, live scene of what would happen. I'm, I'm the guy that that's being stem packed. All right, go ahead and pass over to you. Let me, let me read that. What is that? Add seven hundred. Lose two hundred five. What? Attack? All right, man, GG, you got it. You got it, big dog. You got it. I'm, I'm getting the hell out of there. I don't want, I don't want nothing to do with a, I don't know, I want nothing to do with stem pack guy, dude. Maybe it's, just, dude, nostalgia might be, might be the vibe, man. Nostalgia might be the vibe because stem pack, stem pack, stem, John Doe, you don't understand. Sometimes stem pack was all you had, big dog. Okay, you're sounding very privileged. You're sounding, you're sounding like you, like you had it all. You're sounding very silver spoon right now. Sometimes stem pack is all you had. Sometimes it's all you had. Stem pack to hit over mechanical chaser, you know the vibes. I'll tell you right now. I've put stem pack on a bistro butcher more than once. Okay, more than one time. I've put stem pack on an Amazonas swords woman more than one time. Okay, this is what I'm saying. Sometimes you gotta have it. I've I was a stem pack duelist. I put stem pack on a dark elf more than one time. Benevolent nuzzler, big benevolent nuzzler over here. I used to benkai the hell out of people. Benkai was like my first real meta deck that I had. Benkai holds a special place in my heart because it was all common cards. And you can just beat people who have these these really really expensive decks. You can Benkai, you can giant trinade Benkai someone's ass off. It doesn't matter. Fusion Sword, Murasame Blade, whatever. Axe of Despair, United We Stand, Stem Pack, Manevolent Nuzzer, Mask of Brutality. I would mask of brutality people's balls off, dude. Didn't give a damn about their health or well being. Hate to see it. As we got Kaiku to Ghost Destroyers holding it down. Dang. And his open deck list. It looks like it's backfiring a little bit as Pui is trying to hold position as Kaiku to Ghost Destroyer is able to thwart these small dudes with the greatest of ease. Thwart. <laughs> thwart these dudes with the greatest of ease. Auto scoop card was weather report. If this effect resolved, my opponent's swords, that person was just, <laughs> oh, dude, I had a funny skit I wanted to do with that card. It could be funny. I'm going to save it. I don't want to spoil it. As Pui is still trying not to give up, we got tribes on the field. And we're going to go ahead and kick the Thunder Dragon off, blow up the Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer, and then we're going to be able to bash in for 16. It will be a... Soccer Resu Armor is going to get rid of that tribe infecting fire. So Pui at least getting some value out of the tribe before not taking a greed play, not trying to go for a spy play. I believe she might have some information of what that card is that's set. Sorry, I've been over here reminiscing about Stem Pack and Mask Brutality. Sword of Deep Seated. That was another one. Sword of Deep Seated. I've I've Phoenix Wing Wind Blast myself with Sword. I've locked my I've locked myself out of the game more than once by playing Sword of Deep Seated. That's a fucking fact, dude. I've I've freaking bricked my own deck. I've bricked my own deck more than once with a damn sword. I was big in equip cards, man. Equip cards were my were my lifeline, man. When you're poor as hell, you just neg yourself into a soccer rescue armor or not or whatever. Mirror force. To hell with it, dude. Equip cards are so ass. They're so bad. All of them. Except for Snatch. Bagos Bagos says, wasn't Pui on the staff? Pui is on, on the staff. That's correct. But if your name is not red, you really don't have any. Because you have staff, goat format staff, 
and you have tournament staff. Tournament staff means you're not playing in the tournament, and then you get the red name. And if red name says it, you just got to roll with it. Please don't disrespect that staff, dude. I will have to always side with my staff, and then we'll sort it out later. But uh, she was she was helping with the tournament because she is a uh, on the goat format staff, as someone who helps run the tournaments, helps helps with content, helps with promotion, helps with everything. Just being an all around person with knowledge and information, teaching people, which is another duty of the goat format staff, like answering questions and helping these noobs out. You know, the noobs, the new players. Hey, what do you think about this deck? respectfully respectfully hey your deck's bad here's how you fix it kind of kind of energy is what i would like the staff to display and pui does that so much in the discord helping people get better and i i enjoy that as grace of charity it's going to be up so please trying to get back and look at these spies again dueling high look at them look at them just check them out tell me what you think about it Look at him as Pui kicks the Chaos Sorcerer out, which is kind of scary, but now you have your Dark Monster required to make your Chaos play, and you got another one as Chaos Sorcerer is going to be down. So this is an answer to those spies. You can get one, but now you have to pass the buck, and AJT will have the opportunity to, to try to take your Sork out and still sit behind the other. Never mind. We're going to go for a Snatch deal here. Let's see if AJ ha AJT has an answer for this. As an answer for this, Mechanical Chaser, Gemini Elf, and Voice Raider are such menaces. I don't really get hit by Voice Raider because that was out. That was pretty much out before I was. Uh, that, that card was gone before I started playing, unless you have like some OCG stuff. But Me Gemini Elf and Mech Chaser, unfair. Shauner says, Pui just helped me with a Warrior Relinquish deck. See? And you just ask, and she'll, uh, she'll, be, she'll be willing to come out and help. As you're going to do the delayed. Uh, you're going to do a delayed great delayed regeki break, which is kind of, which is kind of scary as Pui is in the chat. Again, you need to be locked in laser focus. Pui is in the chat saying that Shauner's deck is sick. You might have to share it to the program real quick as we're going to go for a chaos source replay here. And it looks like AJT is ready to take over the game as Pui patent pending, of course. And we're going to see. AJT making some predictions. It's either Sangin or Serpent. We'll find out soon. Stay tuned. Either Sangin or Serpent. As we're shifting all systems to attack position as 1200 gets into the center of the Serpent. So the call was correct. And Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer will be able to peel some cards out of the graveyard as well. Things are looking grim for the red corner player. However, you will have the opportunity to get another draw and you need a real one. You gain a thousand heavy storm would be vibrational BLS Sork, not good enough and trap dust dead and mirror force. were going to be the last cards. You needed that heavy storm to come off the top of that deck. You just could not get to it. And the blue chaos goes down AJT alive and well feeling swell going on through to the next round. Okay, so we'll stick with the AJT train as we have uh, Pui with the blue chaos. It's gonna end in fourth place. She does have her invite to the Go Format World Championship. I know that's something that she has been working very hard to get, and now you have gotten what you wanted. So real quick, as that's happening, as we're in flight, you guys get a sneak peek behind the scene. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this up real quick. Let's go ahead and lower, this is all the replays right there. I will open this and I will go ahead and add. Let's add Pui to the list. And we have uh, one so far. And that will be GFC 22. And playing Blue Chaos. Okay, a Relinquished Turbo. I'm calling it Relinquished Turbo. That would have been calling it. All right. And Pui is from the US of A. USA! And we also have, I think AJT, AJT, BLS, one. Representing Canada, Canada, France. And then we have Herney Hog. I think Herney Hog already invited. 
Herney Hogg's already got one. So Herney Hogg has two. Look at that, Herney Hogg. Getting your second invitation to the GOAT Format World Championship, GFC 22. I'm not sure where Herney Hogg is from, but I'm just going to put find out. Find out for Herney Hogg. Check out Herney Hogg's nationality so we can keep that updated. So we have Pui, AJT, Herney Hogg, and who is number four is going to be Insidious, who is now sitting at three. And, oh, Insidious is at three, three, three. Three invites, not one. It should be at three. And we have GFC. So he topped GFC 21, 22, and one PWCQ. And it's trying to win GFC. So Insidious is having an incredible season so far as well. So those are going to be your invites. Those are going to be your invited duelists to the GOAT Format World Championship. Round of applause to all of those duelists for an incredible work. Job well done. Oh, my goodness. Again, ignore this. Ignore this. It's a meme. It's a meme. Don't think. Uh, Herney is from Cosmo Land. He is in Canada. Okay, so I'll add that. I'll add that. He's Canadian. So two Canadian to American going out today. Please don't judge, my, don't, ju don't judge my dueling book background. Don't judge it. Don't judge it. Don't judge it. So we have AJT and Henry Hong, aka Arn Henry Hong, ready to get their duel on. I will see what is happening as AJT and Herney Hong are looking to play. And this is the round, we're going to call this round number four. <laughs> round number four all right are they playing are they in game are they doing a little bit of a little bit of film film study get it let's get it cracking let's get it cracking let's get it cracking huh let us get it cracking as we have insidious waiting in the wings in the winner's grand finals very advantageous position but you got two absolute beasts coming after you to try to knock you off of your throne so hopefully you're getting some rest you're getting some rehydration you're getting some focus i'm sure you're in with the team you got a good idea of how you're going to side this thing and you're trying to take down another another rehab victory on the season the team's going crazy man they're looking very very strong very formidable dueling outfit can't even lie as Herney Hogg is hosting without hesitation. AJT is an Ohio man now. We need to correct that before he wins worlds for three <laughs> world for three USA. Is is AJT? Did he not think AJT is still Windsor through and through? I think he is still represents Canada and all official publications right now. Okay. I, I think he's he is American. He is Team America, but I think he is the Great White North to his core through and through. I think he's uh what what do they say? What did, how did the song start? Oh, Canada. Uh, da, 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 da. I, I don't know. Something. I just know the words. I forgot. Oh, Elliot Steven says, don't forget GGP Cardiff. We are waiting for the go ahead. We stay ready to bring it to Wales. We're going to bring it to Wales. We are going to Wales. What was the date again that we talked about? Because we are going. I didn't go through all of them. I didn't go through all of them because we still have Athens that is happening. I think we're going to go two in Athens this year. So two in Athens. I just need to get the dates. I need to get this stuff streamlined. I'm sorry, my organizational skills are lacking. You got, and I'm doing all all of it my, myself. That's all coming through me as well. Hey yo, no pause. Okay. <laughs> that is that is uh, all happening. That I'm I'm the I'm the I'm the person I'm trying to help with the flyers. I'm doing the dates. I'm doing all the coordination. That's all coming through the headquarters. So I'm looking for someone. If you want to help out and pick up the pick up the mantle as support tournament organizer, GGP late planner, I would like to help. I I, I need immense help in that situation. It's maybe we can get one for a European GGP planner, American GGP planner, something. I definitely could. Uh, I definitely could use some assistance in that uh, in that regard. As AJT BLS is trying to go as go go format champion, he all he's already the three time three time three time format library champion. Does not have a blue. Pink is good. Shout out to format library. Shout out to the shout out to the OGs. Okay, pink is good. Pink is good as a major go format tournament. Without format library, there wouldn't be any, there wouldn't be goat format. But if you want to be true, if you want to be true, 
you got to be blue, okay? If you want to be if you want to be real, <laughs> you got to be teal, okay? I'm blue. I'm teal, okay? You got to have it. If you open if you when you're talking about the greatest in the game, you're talking about Alvarado. You're talking about La Bounty. You're talking about delinquent. Guess what? They're blue. They got it. If you're not, a, it starts with GFC champion. If you don't have that crown in, if you don't have that ruby in, you can't be on. You can't. You you can't. You can't be on Mount Rushmore. If you're not a. If you're not a GFC champion, you can't. You can't be there. You can't be in that conversation if you're not a GFC champion. AJT understands this. All the players in this community understand this. Whatever. Sapphire, Insidious, you shut up, you. <laughs> shut up. You can't have that jewel, okay? We'll just say jewel. We'll say jewel. Will there be another GFC this year? Yes. We're going to go to, uh, we're going to have a, the next GFC will be the final GFC of the year. It will be a European GFC though. So keep in mind that will happen. Free to enter major goal format tournament. It will be European time central centralized. Any talk for GGP Orlando? There is actually, dang, I can't, my memory is so bad. Oh my God. Yeah. Memory of uh, GGP Orlando is happening as well. It's going to be the second week of August. I believe the second week of August. It's already, we already, we're already got um, approved from the shop. We're going to go back to, uh, we're going to go back to do my memory is so bad. I hate it. I hate it. Versus gaming. We're going to go back to versus gaming in Orlando and it's going to be in August again. And I'll probably be there because I love Orlando. I'm probably going to Orlando. I'm definitely going to Texas. I'm for sure going to be in Seattle. Oh, they talk about doing a uh, time wizard weekend in Orlando one day, one day, Ed, we talked about that. We talked about that, that briefly um, last year. And again, I don't really have much relationship with the Edison tournament organizers. I don't, I don't know Keegan very well at all. Um, I, I, have, I, I, I don't, I don't, we haven't like been talking about like co-planning anything, but that would be something I think would be very interesting. The issue is, is that someone is going to lose out and that someone is probably going to be goats because Edison is just that much more popular right now. And if someone's going to come out and travel, they're probably going to come out and travel for Edison, which would put Edison in the primary Saturday, Saturday spot. And then they're going to leave on Sunday because people might not have the resources to play in both of those tournaments. And if you do a one day Edison tournament, they have, you know, 250 people, 300 people, which they can hit very easily, especially in an area like Orlando, they're going to, you're not going to have a, a you know, goats is going to essentially just become relegated to a side event, which isn't the, it's not the, the worst thing. It's not the worst thing to have that happen, but I think it's, it's not, it's not, I, it's not ideal to expect people to play 12 hours of Edison format, come back the next day, play 12 hours ago format. It's just, and then travel and then, tr you know, travel back home to go to work the very next day. It's insane. I don't think that would be possible. And uh, GCI does Edison on Saturday and goes on Sunday, but GCI is built. They're built way different than the rest of us out here in regular world. They're, they're on some other stuff as Herney hog is on the play with chaos maneuver going in early, just trying to push some P P for pressure. Never mind. We're going to push some P for banish, uh, sentence Serpente and then smack on in for 16. GCI is built different. They're built different, man. I don't, I don't know how the hell they do it, but GCI is on another wave and I really want to save some money and get over to uh, GCI soon. I probably won't be able to do it until uh, 2025 or something like that. Maybe but I think it'd be really neat to get over there and experience one of those tournaments in person. Cause they're, they're whole, they're hosting like 200 person goat format tournaments regularly and they cook. And it's a lot of competitive, a lot of competitive things happening over there. A lot of great duelists, man. Shout out to Calcifer and the whole GCI organization and Italy in general. GGP Athens will be on 26th of May. And I believe there's a GGI that day as well. So that was just a scheduling conflict. That was on me again. Cause I'm just, I'm unorganized with it. I have to take some time to get it, uh, to get it under, under wraps and get it together. But I'm just having some, I'm having some issues and I have, 
I, I need help in the GG, GGP uh, market. As Echo, Yu-Gi-Oh says, bro, you're looking fire. I mess with Tuxedo. Yo, thank you. Thank you. This is our major tournament, and I always like to dress to impress for the major events. As AJT is down but not out, we got a freaking Regeki break draw phase. We'll pop the Dekoichi, and then we're able to bring that Sinister Serpente back. Thank you so much. Hey, Zeus. OG Betchy says, damn, I can't travel from August 1st to August 18. I'm going to miss GGP Orlando. I hope y'all have fun. Oh, go in city. Yo, OG Betchy, you got to come. Are you coming to Texas? Are you coming to Texas, OG Betchy? Tell me. Tell me. Tell me you're coming. Uh, you're coming to Texas. Tell me you're coming to Texas. As Zoggler says, JDZ, the conflict wouldn't matter. We have talked with our Italian friends, and they wouldn't be able to come on May, and neither could we go to them in May in Milan. So I guess, I guess it all works out. But I really, I really would like to have um, each try to have them spread out, just so people can enjoy their own day. And I don't, I don't like booking these things on a certain day. But I understand that summer is very short, and there's very limited days that you can already have. So it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be what it is. But it's 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 tough. It's tough. I will if in a perfect world, I would like to have them set up to where they're not on the same day. Unless you have one in Europe, one in America, because Europe is going to start first and end probably before the American ones start and end. OG says I'm coming to Seattle and Texas. OK, we'll hang out heavy in both of those. We're hanging out heavy in both of those. OG Betty, you know how we give it up. We're going we're going crazy in Texas and we'll go crazy in Seattle. I'll host you. You can come out, uh, and we can get some. We get some. Uh, some was that Dos, Dos Equis? No, what are you drinking? Uh, Dosarios. We can. We can get lit, dude. You don't even have to drive. Well, we'll sort it. We'll. We're, shh. Give that. Give that. Party, Texas. We're gonna party in Texas. You and me. You and me. We're gonna get lit. Keep that. Keep that. Keep that down. As Bobby Bodega says, "Are it's Philly happening? You gotta talk to Insidious." Garden of Earthly Lights needs to get it in and wake up, dude. Garden of Heavenly Earthly uh, Earthly Requirements needs to get out there and make GDP Philly happen for the third year in a row. I think they can do it. Um, I know the numbers are 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 going to be a little bit lower again because there are other things going on, but I, I still think a Philly stop would be nice. As we're going to go ahead and hit the heavy storm, get a plus there. Flip to Koichi, get another plus. Am I am I staticking? It feels like I'm uh like I'm in static. I'm in static. Uh, Ghost is asking about GGP LA. I, I I do I do have I do have the form, but I have not contacted the the store manager just yet. That's on the list. That's something that I will do this week. This week, maybe not tomorrow. Maybe not tomorrow. But this week, I have um I do have some some out of town stuff I need to do. I gotta go to the great wolf lodge with my family so that's going to be monday tuesday and wednesday but thursday friday i'm going to be ggp locked in i'm off work both of those days and then saturday we got pwcq so i'll have answers for you if i don't have answers for you next saturday i will um i'll slap myself in the face live on the stream dude i will have answers for you next week so it will happen thursday i'm doing 100 percent goat grand prix information friday 100 percent because we got windsor is applying LA is applying. Cardiff is applying. People are trying to get in. People are trying to get in. And it's uh it's 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 gonna be energy. It's gonna be energy. As HMVB says, you gotta do a vlog again for one of the GGPs. I tried the last time I went to Texas and it just didn't turn out very good. It turned out bad and the footage got messed up. I still have it. If you guys want to see that, I can try to whip it up into something and release it. But it just it just my camera was all jacked up and it looks so poor, man. I, from from the last time we went to GGP Austin last year, I have some footage from that. Maybe I can roll it up and make a video out of it and salvage it and intro to GGP or something. It could be cool, but I just, again, I'm I'm very self conscious about it. I'm 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 very very self conscious about it, and I just have to be very very cognizant of of that. And it's it's something I got to work on. Vlogging is not a natural thing. As we're just gonna hit the ring of destruction. And AJT gets a snipe in. We got two cards in hand. You got 10,000. You're at 1,700. You're down quite bad, but you're not out. Infusions Cap says, careful, JDZ. That sounds legally binding. It is. I will rock my own. I will rock my jaw, dude, if I don't deliver 
on Saturday, when I turn that stream on for PWCQ, number 57, I believe that's what it is. If Ghost Rider comes into this chat and says, JDZ, GGPLA, thoughts? And I'm like, oh, dude, I forgot. I will slap the shit out of myself live on this stream. I will knock my own head off. I will slap myself as hard as I possibly can. I'll try to knock myself out for not delivering, dude. You could take it to the bank. You could take it. You could take it to the bank. <laughs> you could take it to the bank. As we got Snatch Steel, AJT got to it. Heavy Storm has already been played. A lot of good Trinity has already been resolved as well. This Chaos Sorcerer being Snatch Stolen is looking to run the gambit, and it may not. It may work. It could work. You got another threatening set onto the field as well with another set spell trap beside the Snatch Steel as AJT. As AJT is trying to go blue, if he can, we'll just set one spell trap, play card D. We're digging deep. Let's see if we negate this, and we will not. We're going to let it rock as you're cashing in the Torrential Tribute. Send a Serpente, and the Dead Trap does shoot. It's looking for some real viable units. Breaker of the Magical Warrior kind of goes crazy right here. Your own Snatch Deal, pretty decent. You got um, your own Mystical Space Typhoon, pretty decent. Upstar Goblin, you're going to check another one out of the library there, and then you go three now in hand. Is it one of those cards? You have a, quite a few outs. You got five cards left in this deck. Oh my goodness, you're about to deck yourself. You got five cards left? Do you have an answer to this Resolved Chaos Sorcerer? Smashing Ground even? Mind Control even? What's in the Banish Pile? We got one Sork and a bunch of dudes. A bunch of dudes and dudettes hanging out in the Banish Pile. Heavy is in the graveyard. He had it pro set. Snatch Steel was also pro set, so you had to clean out to the board position as we're just going to out and swing. What is it? It is going to be that nasty night ass. So you're going to be able to break the board of AJT while still maintaining some cards as you're going to set one set two T set, pass it back on over to AJT BLS five cards left for Herney hog. As we're getting to the thick of it, two cards now 2,700. You need to get some, some momentum happening here too. But you don't want to overextend and get your back blown out by another car. Your BLS sitting as a meal ticket type situation. Standby phase will add the cert. 2700 is quite attainable. AJT still holding on to two. How much train has AJT played? Zero. You got wait, you got no Trinity there. So you got some real, real diabolical cars left into this deck. Man, you got some good ones. You got some really good Yu-Gi-Oh cars in your deck. The best ones. You have the best cards left in your deck. So Herney Hog needs to make it happen quick. You need to make it happen quick. It's just going to go ahead and break the duo, smack in with 16. And that will get in clean. That knocks off a couple plays for AJT. But you have some really, really good cards left out of these 15. Some of the better ones. Grace of Charity, that's a really, really good one right there. But you're going to be forced to draw three more really, really good cards. And you're going to have to kick two more awesome cards to the graveyard. Dang. As we're thinking. Tough spot here for the blue corner player. Dang. And make sure you guys like the stream. If you like some GOAT format championship action, like the stream. As we got some Stone Cold music. <laughs> Stone Cold, I have that. Let's see. We got some Stone Cold music. Dang. Is, is that BLS's music? Can we confirm? Confirm? Is that BLS? You think BLS is coming? I'll keep it queued up just in case BLS drops. I'll, I'll drop it if BLS drops. We'll keep it queued up. We'll keep it queued up. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start breaking glass every time BLS shows up, dude. That's a new vibe. That's a new energy. <clears throat> As we are rocked and locked, fully stocked, ready to go. Oh, Pui says, oh, I, I'll, oh, sorry, Pui, I missed it. That was too, that was too, that was too long ago. Tell a story about how, <laughs> that's, that's good. I just started doing that, dude. Story time. Story time. As AJT, did he discard Pot of Greed? Well, no, he didn't. Oh, he discarded Trap Dash and Sork. Okay, I'm tripping. <laughs> what the hell? Sork and, it looks like Sork and Trap Dash Shoot. Was that the discards? I thought he discarded Pot of Greed. I was about to say, that's. That's crazy talk. 
I'm an addict. Ain't no way. Even if I know all my outs are gone and I have an out in my hand, I'll throw it out just to draw two cards and lose. Every single time. I do not care. Yeah, this yeah, this you would have to have a literal game shot to pull that off. I'm I'm drawn, baby. I'm addicted. I'm addicted to adding cards from my deck to my hand with pot degree. It's a it's a vibration. AJT is thinking about it. AJT is thinking about. It. I think he has an um, he, I don't know. He played cherry. Did he did he discard these two? And you're gonna send the BLS in attack mode. He's gonna put them out there, ready to engage in combat. It appears. No, we're just gonna go engage in a banishment. So combat seem like the incorrect play as you were been punished severely by this nasty night assailant as Henry, Henry Herney hog is now si Oh, damn, I forgot to play it. I just said it and I didn't play it. Delayed reaction. Dude, that was some good music. Stone Cold was truly, truly, truly him. Stone Cold was truly him. Dang. Stone Cold was truly him. Story time of the homeless jacket. Do you remember that? Oh, Zogler, you are a true real one, dude. You are a true. <laughs> you are a true real one, dude. People don't know about the homeless jacket, dude. I still have that jacket. I wear that jacket. I don't. Want, it's too hot for it now. But as one of my, that is literally one of my favorite earthly possessions that I own is that jacket. I love it so. That jacket and this rug. That jacket and those two, these two rugs that I have in my house, two of my favorite earthly possessions that I own, man. And that that is so good. I can't believe you remember that, man. That's funny. Thank you. <laughs> oh man, people don't know. People don't know. That's for the real ones, man. You gotta go back. You gotta go back and talk talk about the homeless jacket. As we're gonna go ahead and kick the Regeki break and blow up the breaker. Dang, and BLS is alone and unafraid in attack position. We're going to take a quick jog. Oh, we got to have another BLS coming. We already got another BLS inbound. I can, I can feel his energy emanating through me. Hey, yo, no pause, dude. <laughs> hey, hey, yo, hey, yo, no pause. As two cars left as BLS is insane. And we're going to go one light, one dark. And we're going to go one... Well, AJT still got some really good cards left. Not as many as you once did. But you still got some. This game is far from over. Duelists, this game is far from over. But you're off the top of the deck. And it seems a lot less cool things you can do coming off the top of the deck. But you still have another Sork. That can stabilize you. All you have to do is get through two cards. That's all you need. And you can kind of vibe from the rest of it. But this damn BLS is on your ass, and you need to figure out a way to live two more cards as we're still chilling in the first main phase. And we're going to go ahead and set one and pass. Try to probably try to, I mean, bring out the serpent was probably pretty good playing around a potential block and a card destruction kind of thing could be could be energy there taking 300 as well could also be energetic as you're still sitting here weighing your options you're staring down a freaking golden boy you're staring him down what do you do fiel what do you do what you gonna do man hernie is thinking about it my palms are sweating and i'm not even playing dude they're built different. My palm, my palms are sweating, and I'm not even playing. He said, "To hell with it. You ain't got it. We're swinging, swinging for the fences." Viewing deck, you're all in your deck, so you're going to go ahead and get the hell up out of there. As you go ahead and have the mirror for us as the last two cards that you just didn't get, and that's going to be a GG. So we're going to a game number two, two, two. As Herney Hog takes the advantage. As takes the advantage as they're going into a game two scenario. <laughs> couldn't get to the mirror force, couldn't get to the chaos sorcerer. Very, very grindy game number one. All right. <laughs> Let's 
All right, all right, all right. Yeah, I'm gonna work. I'm gonna work hard on Thursday. I get back. I get back from the Great Wolf Lodge on Wednesday. Okay, I'm excited. Go down there, get my slip and slide on. I'm gonna go down there and get my arcade on, my Magi Quest on. I'm gonna get my wolf ears on, and I'm gonna be out there Great Wolf Lodging Monday and Tuesday, and I think even Wednesday. Okay, I'm gonna come back on Thursday. I'm gonna close that Go Format Dueling door. I'm gonna lock in, and it's gonna be GGP planning preparation Thursday. Friday, I'm gonna make an announcement. And I'm gonna put out these pictures and I might even make a damn go format dueling video, okay? And put that stuff out onto the internet. Just talking GGPs. The video is gonna get 10 views, but it's gonna be informational in nature. And people might watch it, they might not. That's what's gonna happen. So stay tuned. This week, we're gonna have it figured out. I'm gonna get my ass off my shoulders, okay? I'm gonna get my ass off of my shoulders. And I'm going to get it done for the goat world. No more excuses. No more excuses. Thursday, it's going to happen. All right. Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. It's going to happen. All right. Cool, 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 cool. 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 Classic. All right. As we got a double upstart, 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 all around. Upstart, 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 Thumb the Dragon. As we're going to both both duelists starting this thing off high. And then we got the tribe infecting virus is going to be slammed into attack position. Going in clean, trying to come after these GK spies early. And you're just going to go ahead and get a one for one or what is that? Just a just a neutral. Just go net neutral after blasting the Dekoichi, the battle chanted locomotive. And then you're going to reduce the Sakurazu armor. So Herney Hog is big city dueling over here. Meta game and trying to put those Sakurazu armor in there to clip these Kaiku to Ghost story that AJT may be siding into. Big city dueling. Open deck list adds another layer to this game that I think should be explored more. I like it. I like to see what these duels can do with near perfect deck information. But at this point in go format, it's kind of, you kind of already know anyway, but let's just be lit. Let's make it to the point where you literally know and see what these tools can cook with known open deck list. I think, I think that's a cool little, cool little layer that you add to it. Very neat and very cool. Mm. I hurt my damn tooth. The secret ladybug tech would be destroyed by open deck list, though. You have to play around it. I think it'll make it even better for you. Just imagine setting a serpent and a, and a, and a, and a, and a duelist does not flip their GK spy because they're playing around a damn four star ladybug of doom. The shambles that they would be in. <laughs> playing, play, you're, you're, you're seeing shadows, dude. You're never going to get blown up by a ladybug. You're going to have to play around it. You're going to be playing around four star ladybug of doom for the rest of your damn game. It's a vibe, man. It's a, I like that. I think that's adds another layer. I think that adds another, another little piece to it. I think it does. And we're, I was talking about that, um, earlier to a, to a duel. We're having a conversation about it. And it's kind of like at this point, you got to do what you can to kind of get those edges. It's very similar. Like I said, it's a lot of similarities between this game and the Smash Brothers Melee game, the speed running communities for those really, really classic speed runs, Mario speed runs, Mario World, Mario One speed runs. Very hyper, hyper optimized games. People, people still play Melee to this day. They have Melee tournaments that are in large scale all over the world, still going down all the time. Why? Because it's, and it's, I mean, you kind of know what you know, you know, like this player can beat that player. This, this character can beat that character, but still, you know, there are, there's still some, a lot of game in there. There's still a pretty, a pretty good meta in there. Same thing with go format. It's kind of hyper, hyper fixed, man. You know, chaos turbo, a lot of people playing the chaos turbo decks with a very similar ratios, but it's AJT playing chaos turbo. It's Herney hog playing chaos. Turbo. It's insidious. If I play if I play Falco in Smash Bros. Melee, if I play Jigglypuff in Smash Bros. Melee, and Hungry Box is playing Jigglypuff in Smash Bros. Melee, who the who the fuck do you think is gonna win? 
not me. I'll tell you that. If I'm playing, if if I'm playing, uh, if I'm playing, start Fox. If I'm playing Fox and I got the Leffen or somebody, I don't, I don't, I don't know. If I'm playing Yoshi and Amsa's playing Yoshi, who in the fuck do you think is going to win? It damn sure ain't me. But you rarely see people complaining like, oh man, this star, this star Fox, everyone's playing Fox, 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 Fox meta. Oh. It is what it is, man. RIP Leffen, you know, for, for sure, for sure, for sure. I, I just, just a name of a, of a goat that I had on, on my, on my brain, you know, that's just a name of a goat. <laughs> that's just a name of a goat that I had on my brain. That's the wrong attitude. JDZ Alvarado is top one. Cause it, I ain't serious about this yet. Is that a fact? Bagos, Bagos. Is that, a, is that a fact? Is that a fact? If that's a fact, I want to see it. I want to see it be I'll prove it with your actions. Actions. I'm a man of action, not a man of words. As you got snatched deal, take over the chaos swords or get a banish. I, I need to see it with my eyes. I need to prove it. Talk is talk. Talk is cheap. Matter of fact, talk is so cheap. I would say it's free. It's at such a discount. It's at such a discount. The return on your talk investment is so low that you can basically give it away. This is like Venezuelan real, dude. Whatever the Iranian current currency is, that's what talk is. One for one in exchange rate. That's how cheap and undervalued talk is to me. I am action. I need to see it. There are so many people, Boggles, Boggles, and I'm not calling you out specifically or directly, but there are so many duelists that come on out and talk this talk in this chat about these misplays and about how good they are. I'm like, big dog, get out here and prove it. PWCQ is next weekend. Get out there and win. Show me, show your moves, Captain Falcon. Get out there and play. Come in GFC and play. Because I've seen these guys do it. I want to see you do it. I've seen El Rado do it. Alephia winning when using non-top tier decks is evidence that Go is skill-based. It has to be skill-based. It has to be. There, it might not be complete. There might be some, some luck, of course. Everyone will say that. There has to be some luck into it. But look at the grand finals. You got Insidious sitting there again. He's won tournaments already. If it was all luck, there would be a different winner every single time. You wouldn't have multiple invite duelists. You just wouldn't. That's not how luck works. That's not how luck works. It would be luck would be random. It wouldn't, it wouldn't, you wouldn't have repeat multi, multi GFC winners, which we have several. Multi FLC champions, which we have several. Multi PWCQ winners, which we have several. It wouldn't happen. I would say the more information and the more non-static your game is, like again, I have nothing but love for Edison Format, but they have very few people are back to back to back Edison Format winners of Edison Format tournaments. It's very few. It's not a lot. It's very few. As it's going to be GG, where it looks like we got another game three going down. As AJT jumps all over Herney Hall there in this Chaos Turbo Mirrors, it's very few. It's very, it's very few. Not, and again, I know it's a lot of skill based there. I'm not saying it's luck or whatever, but there's so much more that goes into an Edison tournament than there is a GOAT format tournament in my experience. There's so much more that goes into it. In GOAT, you know Turbo is going to be there. You know Warriors may be there. You know, you know the meta is way more solidified. So you can plan your day accordingly. But if you have all these different decks and you're planning for the meta and you show up with a nice meta deck and someone shows up with their concoction and their concoction just so happens to look into you and they just so happen to be way just completely isolate you from the game, you need to hope your bracket is good. They might not have pot and charity, but they definitely have some bracket busters in there. If your bracket is good and your deck is good and you know how to play, you can make a you can make a run. You can make a run for sure. If you're playing against the Black Wings and against the Vayus and against the Hero Beat and the Diva Hero Beat and the 
on what are, what are the, the miracle fusion stuff, the frog stuff. You're if you're ready to play that stuff, and you never see it, and you're playing against alien man, alien guy shows up and he aliens your ass, or burn chain burn guy shows up who has no business being in the tournament because you know he's not gonna win. Let's be real. Let's call a spade a spade. Let's call it, let's call it what it is. You know he's not gonna win, but he's gonna have just enough to beat your ass and you're out. Maybe you just got unlucky. You just got a bad matchup. That's to me, I think that's that's a little bit of you have to say that, that it, that's luck. That's part of it. That's a part of it. It's too much, it's too many. It's too much. I would I think, in my personal opinion, again, this is just me as my opinion. You don't have to agree with me. We can have that conversation. But I think when Edison gets more solved to me, it's going to be better when it's only more values, when it's only dragons, values, frogs, uh, some type of miracle fusion hero thing, rogue. When that is the meta, I think it's going to be better to me. I like, I like knowing what I'm going to get into and I like technical play and we're going to be done. I like having, so I don't, I don't like the, I don't, Hey, I'm, I'm, I like to cook. I respect to cook, but I think the cook needs to be 10% cook. And we need meta. We need, we need meta. And, and that way you can cook. But if everybody's cooking, it's too much cook. It's, it's too much cook. It's too much. We gotta, we gotta, we need a meta in order to have the cook. That's it. <laughs> That's it. All Yu-Gi-Oh formats have a high degree of variance. It's built into the game. If you don't like it, go play chess. It is what it is. I agree with that a billion percent. There's no there's no perfect format. There's no perfect game. And I understand this. The top players understand this. The co- the casual players understand this. It's just that area of players who enjoy to complain. And I'm a complainer too. I enjoy a little bit of complaining because that's my human nature. You know, everybody likes to complain. But after a certain point, it's like, okay, now you're just, when complaining goes into bitching and when complaining goes into crying and when complaining goes into whining and when complaining goes into negativity, that's when I like, okay, you're, you're, you're doing, you're doing too much. You're doing too much. And it just starts to harsh, harsh the vibes too much. And here we go. Back to the action. We got Thunder Dragon into a pot of green. Upstart. Wow. Great start for Henry, Henry Hong over here as both duels are just these, these now, if you can keep drawing like this, you're going to win a lot. <laughs> I don't know how they're doing it. I'm telling you, maybe they got their, they got their hacks in their EXC in. They're both hacking. They're, they're, they're both hacking. As Paul Bauer says, all complainers get into the front leaning rest. And that is a mystic swords in level two. Cool card. Play it. Why not? Get into the front leaning rest position. Move, dude. And just start beating your face. As Mystic Swordsman level two is going to slice and dice to the Magician of Faith. I love it. I love the I love the tenacity into a trap death shoot. I love the aggression. I love the tenacity. It's a card game. Only a fool would complain about luck in a card game. Play chess. Again, that's and I'm not, I think I think we're taking too many shots at chess. I think we're taking too many shots at chess. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to blow up chess because shout out to all the chess players out there. I'm not, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to take, I'm not trying to take any shots at chess, but you can, you can quote me on this clip this if you want. I think go format Yu-Gi-Oh is much better than chess. I said it. (laughs) I I, I said it. (laughs) Go format Yu-Gi-Oh is much better than chess. In my opinion, I play chess. I can play chess. Queen is OP. Queen's broken. That game hasn't been updated since the damn 1800. Get it out of here. En passant, castle. Oh, I got my one knight to beat. Shut up, dude. <laughs> Shut up. Okay. Can't even beat a computer. <laughs> Look at this nerd. Move could lose it to a stockfish. If you don't get out of my damn face, you can't even beat a computer. I would, bro, I'll, I'll load up Stairway to the Destined Duels right now. I will load up World Championship 2005 and cook the shit out of a computer right now. You show me a computer. You you put a you put a dueling computer next to me. I cook the hell out of them, dude. They don't know what they're doing. They don't know. They don't know what the hell they're doing. Some damn computer. Motherfucker can't even beat stockfish. Oh, they look. That's not a perfect move. It's not fucking nerd. Shut up. <laughs> like a dweeb. 
Oh, chess is such a beautiful game. I have my books. You're just studying and reading and memorizing. You're a jerk, okay, for one. You're, you're a jerk, for one. As we got... <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I cannot... I've never beaten forbidden, forbidden Memories. That game is too damn hard. I've never in my life beaten forbidden, forbidden Memories once. That game is broken, dude. That game is broken. As we're cooking... As we're cut, we're going to continue to send these spies after this level two. Look how good this level two was, huh? Why not? And I guarantee you, AJT shows his deck list to somebody like, oh, you're playing Mystic Swords level two? That guy's an earth. That card sucks. You're at. Look at it, man. That thing just had a, that thing just had a field day on Henry Hong's position there. That thing just went crazy. And now you set yourself up to get blasted with a Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer. Do you have an answer to defend it? Book of Moon. And it's going to be Regeki Break. Let's see what you discard here. As your Thunder Dragons have already been cashed out, you're going to discard Delinquent Duo. Look at that. And you're going to get that uh, Kaiku Ghost Destroyer off of the field as you shift the San Gon to defense position as you set another. As you set another. JDZ, how do you think AI will be used later to, to go format to find variables, ratios, smoke screens, and so forth? Uh, that we have never thought about before. I, some people are already experimenting with like ChatGPT and Go Format, but I th honestly, I think there's too many variables as it is. Maybe there's a way that you can build like once once we completely like solve the game, and I think it's close to find out what the very very best 55 cards are. Once you find that out, or what you think that might be, you probably can feed some supercomputer thousands and thousands and thousands of replays and game information card data and stuff and maybe i mean maybe not chat gpt but maybe like some some supercomputer like um if you've seen a documentary with AlphaGo, how they did it with chess and how they did it with go and it would take a, a team of scientists which let's let's be real bro we barely can hit ten thousand subscribers people don't even like the stream Ain't no way we're getting a team of scientists to come out here and develop that type of hyper supercomputer technology. But if we could and just and feed it like thousands and thousands and thousands of games, different positions and when to set what and how to do, you probably could develop something where an AI could play go format. It would have, but it would have to be like nonstop mirror matches. It would have to be like, it would, it would have to be, like you play 55 cards, I play 55 cards. They have to be the exact same deck because it's just too, it's too many variables. Like you, you, I don't think you can teach a computer how to make a read without knowing what I have. If they have to process the entire card pool every time they make a decision, it would just be too much. They'd be playing around. They, they literally be playing around the damn flip flip guy who can destroy swords. You know, you play swords and now you're playing around fucking the weather report. It'll it'll just blow up. It, it'd be hard. It'd be hard to do. I, I'm not a. I'm not a computer guy. It would have to be. Uh, it would have to be something like, something like that. As Henry Hogg, Herney Hogg is going to go ahead and stand behind the tribe, and now GK Spy is up. GK Spy is up. Herney was hoping this thing would last a little bit longer, and now we're, we're bust out the advocates too. The advocates is out. Oh shit. Shit. The Abacus is out trying to do a little bit of mathematics, but Herney Hogg is doing math from this position. Maybe you're thinking about a solemn judgment, perhaps. <laughs> oh, Nate, Nate, exactly. The, the, the defense mode arithmetic can't be healthy for your mental health, dude. Can't the defense mode arithmetic cannot be healthy for your mental capacity unless you're just absolutely big city gaming and you're trying to like set up for a, uh, a torrential tribute, but it's not, it's gonna be that solemn. And we'll see if AJT can follow up with another play that was your normal summon, and you're gonna have to just pass. So the solemn worked, the solemn worked as GK Spy is gonna be able to set up in defense position and now you're going to be able to try to take back over control of this game board as you'll bring out your chaos sorcerer in attack position and it looks like you might be geared up for a banishment or maybe you might be running a red light now you're going to get that guy up out of there and then you're going to continue to vibrate here in this game number three 
This is winner go on, loser go home territory. The winner of this duel will have to go double dip the chip into Insidious. Ayo, no pause. And we're going to see how it goes down in the grand finals. So both of these duels are invited. Um, right now, they're also playing for their cut of the winnings, which uh, we had, I believe, after the last donation, which was AJT donated $50. Um, so that brought us up to 310. I'll round it up to a nice $350. I'll add, oh, 300. How much money is that? Yeah, I'll, put, I'll do 350. I'll just add more to it because it's 310. I'll go ahead and do 350 dollars getting split up. So these duels are actually playing for the uh, their share of the 25 percent. It's going to be 50 percent, 25 percent, 15 percent, and 10 percent. So fourth place, I believe Pui is going to get 10 percent of 350 dollars. So congratulations to you. Third place is going to get. 15% of $350. And then I'll have to kick some off to the side. I'll just, I'll cover that out of my own bank account. I'm not too worried about it, but we'll do it. Uh, we'll do it that way as, and again, the money is relative. It's just something to give away something to do. And I don't, I don't want it to be millions and millions of dollars because it'll just incur so much more shenanigans. Probably should stop giving away so much money because taxes, whew, man, if you guys only knew, if you guys only knew, oh man, you have no idea. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So much, so much. As we are in the main phase one, as this chaos sorcerer is sticking, Herney Hog is trying to claw back that GK spy again, showing tremendous value. Being able to just stifle this game, draw some cards, set up, and then vibe. AJT's graveyard is set up, but you just don't have the guys to deploy as chaos source is going to stroke on in for another 2300 another 2300 as mr vavoda says the optimal solution to go for matt is probably to play turbo 70 percent of the time warrior 20 percent of the time and some other deck 10 percent of the time same as ideal rps strat is to play at the given move 33 percent of the time i mean if that's what you want to do until there are more developments made i i, I mean chaos turbo is just one of the stronger decks in the format. But if you are able to identify that, and I think it's just on Dueling Book too, man. I don't know. Something about Dueling Book, man, Chaos Turbo can just open like this very consistently. I don't know how that happens. But IRL, like what are the chances that both of these duelists get Thunder Dragon Charity? Both of these duelists get Pot of Greed, Char Thunder Dragon Charity. Like what are the chances that it happened? IRL, IRL, that's just not the case. As Nate Dog. Comes in with the 40, 40, 40. Yo, huge shout out to you, Nate Dog. You did not have to do that, big dog. You did not have to do that, man. You did not have to do that. But I appreciate it. And of course, it's going to go in. So now we got the 350. We're going to be sending that on to the players. Thank you so much, Nate Dog, for your contributions, man, and your love and your help. Nate Dog's always around. UI's finest in the building. Hopefully, we can meet again if you come back to Orlando again or if you come to Seattle. Come hang out, have some more lunch, dinner, whatever. Go kick it, walk the promenade, and drink some uh, ice, ice, ice slushies and sweat our freaking beans off. Remember that in Orlando, walking the freaking, walking the pier, sweating our gonads off, eating, eating steak meat outside. It was energy. Dual bowling is energy. Okay, people don't know Nate Dog. I understand, man. You're working. You're working. You're working. Get that. Get that go for Matt dueling paper. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Dude, people don't know about goat format dual bowling. That's a new meta. As we're spamming and slamming the Black Luster Soldier in attack position. And look at that. Oh my goodness. The boy is back. 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 And if we got Ring of Destruction, we're out of here as BLS is going to attack, tack into the set as well. Hina Dekoichi, Ring is gone. Ring of Destruction is gone. And now you're shuffle, 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 and hoping, hoping, hoping as you're going to enter to the second main phase. Do you have a normal summoner set? Dang. Dang. Oh, Xavier. I can't say it. Xavier? 
So JDZ, you got to be careful. Your heart too pure, drip too fly, stash too swag, voice too smooth, bow tie too tight. They'll kill you. They'll kill, they don't want to see you succeed. Another one. Too much. It's too, too much drip. My girl too bad. I don't want to say the real words. That's funny. Thank you. Thank you. Good shot to you. Good shot to you. I actually shaved the mustache. I don't know if you guys can tell. The mustache has been uh has been taken. It was getting out of hand. Shaved the head, trimmed up the mustache. Feeling good. Feeling good. Feeling good. I was thinking about cutting it off. Let's see if you guys notice that the mustache is gone. The mu I look so stupid without a mustache. Can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it. As AJT fans are in the chat, it looks like we had to uh, get rid of the Blacklist Soldier. Maybe you know that there is a looming snatch deal. Perhaps. But what I, I think you had some information. Based on uh, knock knock mind control, saw, maybe had mind control. I'm not sure. So you got the BLS out of there. You got you, you got the BLS out of there. Unless I missed something. I'm sorry, I was over here checking out the chat. I like hang, I like hanging out with you guys more. You know what I'm saying? Kicking over here with the chat. It's 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 it's, it's energy, vibrational frequency through the roof. Feeling good. Early on the stream, second week of August uh, was Orlando. Not sure if that implies. A hard date. It's 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 the second week of. I just got to figure out the exact hard date. I have the hard date. It's just in my DMs and Discords. I have to go through all that stuff and and get it sorted. As we flip the Thunder Dragon, and Thunder Dragon goes in. Call of Haunted is in this deck. Keep that in mind. As AJT might be gearing up for a Call of Haunted push for GGs, and here, dude, Call of Haunted. If you got it, you're out of here. If you got it, it's out of here. Sean Bush, Safari Zone, is in the chat getting lit because he can feel it. He can sense it. His senses are tingling as Call of the Haunt, it seems like it's looming as we're waiting on the search. And we're going to play it right now preemptively, unless it's Karibo. You don't got it. We know the deck list. They're open. And Call of the Squanch, we're bringing that Black Luster back. And he is back at it again. And AJT is going to the finals. You got to play it. 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 And I think he had that side deck call to hunt it. But, I mean, the graveyard is looking pretty juicy. Mystic Storm level 2 did a lot of heavy lifting there, too. You got to play it. You got to have it. But, I mean, the, car, the cars are great. The cars are great. Herney, Herney Hog. He has some pr pretty damn good cars, too. I mean, that's kind of... that's These are all the best cards that you want to have in this mirror. So, you got a chance to play. You got a chance to execute your game plan. But that Mystic Storm level 2 was an absolute menace to your cheeks, dude. He was coming after you. If he forced you into some awkward spots, opening double spy is never great. But that misses on level two was forcing your hand into some very precarious positions. And that kind of was a deal breaker in that game number three. And that call on it, two cards that AJT is playing. Look at the rest of the top list. The rest of the top turbo list. Two cards that AJT is playing that other turbo players aren't playing that paid tremendous dividends coming in to the to that to that match and led to that outcome so deck building it still matters okay it might not matter as much because the the game is the game we understand the game but still it matter a little bit those cards came up huge in that match call a hunt at jenzo where are you at let's go level <laughs> level two was punching the clock okay 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 so we are in the grand finals 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 if Insidious wins, tournament is over. Insidious gets 50% of the 350. AJT gets the 25. And the rest is going to be the rest. I'm cashing everybody out immediately following this tournament. Okay. If AJT wins, we got to reset. We got to run it back. We're going to have to do it again. So we're going to get some water. We're going to get these guys hydrated. We're going to be ready to duel. So we got the grand finals of the GFC. Insidious versus AJT. Rehab versus the Safari Zone versus 519 versus Rhino. Okay. First GFC win for either, I believe, AJT has multiple FLCs. That's true. That's true. They're going to, they're trying to be blue. Insidious has topped this tournament. He's topped the Go Format World Championship. He's topped FLCs. He's topped PWCQs. He's won PWCQs. Insidious is not blue. Okay. Shogun Lopez coming in. Welcome to the membership, Shogun. Thank you for joining. I'm going to have to do something with Shogun, man. I don't know what to do for the members. I suck at membership. 
maybe we could do like a members only chat. We could just sit here and 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 vibrate, dude. I don't know what we can do for the members. We can figure something out. But uh, Shogun's blue. Shogun's true blue. Shogun knows what to do because Shogun is blue. Shogun's almost two time GFC. Don't forget that. You better put some respect on it. If you ain't blue, you don't know what to do. I guess I don't know. Write that down. Pass it on to your kids. I'm not blue. I'm not GFC. These guys are. I mean, I wear blue. I'm a fan. But that's that's just that's just where it's at. If you're in this competitive game, if you want to consider yourself among the best goat format players, you gotta be blue. I mean, pink is good. You can be pink. You can be among the best and be pink. That's like like uh, you can be pink, but you gotta be pink or blue. You can't be neither and be the best. That's crazy talk. That don't make no sense to me. That's crazy talk. You got to be one or the other at a minimum. But the, but the, but the real legit game separators, they're, they're both. Sometimes they're multiple, both. There's two, there's, there's two of them that are, that are, that are both. Okay. If it's, there's lots of people out there that are, that are both. You're not even, you're not even in a conversation if you're not, if you're not one, but you want to be blue and it's your chance. This is your opportunity of a lifetime as Insidious is close and he's in a very advantageous position. But AJT will not be denied as you are crushing through this tournament in the finals. 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 Take some hydration. Locked in and ready to go. Yo, thanks so much, Shogun, for coming in and being a member. I appreciate that. If we get more members, we got to do some members only stuff. I don't know what to do for the members. But I do appreciate your membership and style astronaut, the original, our original Dracula member. You know, I'm seeing. I'm hopefully both of you guys. I'm seeing, but yeah, both of you guys are coming to Seattle, so I look forward to meeting you guys. Maybe we can do some some hangout stuff. Maybe go get some some dinner or something like a big a big go format Discord dinner, hang out, kick it, find something to do, go outside somewhere, hang out on the beach. <laughs> Tell me how I played Shogun round one in GGP Orlando and GFC yesterday. Bro, you guys are you guys are locked and engaged as bitter rivals and friends. Like some uh like some uh Piccolo Goku type situation. Something like that. A nice go format dueling dinner. Let's do it. I'm down. I'm all I'm all I'm always down in Seattle, man. Seattle's gonna be really nice. Hopefully the weather holds. Uh it looks like we got a, a beautiful spring underway. And summer in this place is 10 out of 10. Super duper recommend. It's so nice when the sun is out and people are out and people are starting to smile. And people are feeling good because this place, let me tell you, real talk. I've been living here for the past uh, 10 or eight, eight, eight ish years now. I've been maybe about 10 years. I've been here. Um, and this this place is this place is in the wintertime. This place is miserable. It's an absolute hellscape. It is terrible people are so mean and they're so frowny and it's so rainy and dreary and miserable it's cold it's wet it's the worst but in the summer in summer come on now it's so nice man people are outside people are smiling random high fives are going around walking their dogs jogging skating bike riding mountain biking Winter in Georgia is where you at? Not here. Not not these not these Pacific Northwest winters. When it's rainy and dreary, get that shit away from me, dude. Let's get these duelists dueling. Let's get out here and play, huh? Enough talk. Let's start dueling. Let's start dueling, huh? Let's go. Let's duel. Where where you at? Where are you at, Christmas? Where are you, Christmas? How will I find you? Come on. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Let us cook, man. Where they at? Where you at, AJT? Where you at? A Insidious is hosting up. Uh, Scully, this is the grand finals, and there are not. This is turbo. This is turbo time. We got a turbo versus turbo in the grand finals. Uh, Pui was the 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 furthest along. She played. She had a really cool deck. Uh, Moxie's was the furthest remaining warrior, and Gia was the furthest control deck. So there there were not. There is not. 
There is and there is not. Maybe both of these duels are just lock and load in their EXE right now, just trying to, uh, just trying to, just trying to get it cracking. I don't know, getting there. <laughs> just trying, just trying to get it going. As somebody find AJT, let's get them dueling, man. We don't have a lot of time. Let's make it happen. All right, let me. I'm gonna do another announcement right now. Let me do another announcement right now. I'm gonna add everybody again because I just don't give a damn. I don't care. People probably got these announcements turned off anyway. People probably got them turned off anyway. And it's going to be like that as I am going to announce one more time. Dude, museum. My museum. Oh, museum got me. Bro, the museum. I'm a museum member. I got I got tumbleweeds all through my last time. The museum turned on me, dude. I got to hit the museum up real quick. Yo, museum. Y'all supposed to be my boys, dude. I suppose I'm a museum member. Dang, that's cold blooded, man. They they straight tumbleweeded my last announcement. Guess what? I'll give you another one to tumbleweed. I'm gonna hit them again. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. How do I do this? Uh, do do. Grand finals starts now. AJT. BLS first insidious all caps at everyone. I don't care. Boom. And we're gonna do a little crap. There we go. Boom. All right, let's get the game going. Let's do it. At everyone is huge too. And then we'll do a little a little one of these. And a <laughs> dang, somebody took my insidious mode away. Where's my insidious mode at? Where is it? Oh, did somebody take it off? Did he this did insidious take my emote away? You jerk, dude. Oh no. Okay, okay, we're locked in. This is the grand finals. This is the grand <laughs> This is the grand finals. Did somebody take it? Oh, where is it at? Oh no, we lost our boost. Can oh, somebody need to boost the damn Warlink server real quick? Do I need to boost the Warlink server? We lost a boost over there, so I can get my Insidious React back. Son of a. As AJT is gonna go first, we're gonna go upstart Thunder Dragon Trap Dust Shoot. Dang, do I need to boost it? I just need to. Oh. Y'all killing me out here. Y'all are killing me out here. As, we got, as Insidious also has the upstart goblin. As Insidious also goes double upstart. So upstart, upstart. Able to shake up your hand a little bit. Take a little bit of that information back. You got Graceful Charity as well. As upstart Sork Suit. Regeki Break is going to be the hand. Sork Suit, Regeki Break, Sinback Tribe. So you really don't even have a play unless you added some new ones based off of those two upstart goblins that you play. And you're going to just rip the Graceful Charity here. Come on. Man, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. You got that boost money. Get <laughs> oh, I got. I do have to remove. I... <laughs> WWE is going to block the ad revenue. You think so? Maybe. I don't. I think Vince is like big canceled at this point. I think he can't. I think he'll never work in his town again. I think he's cooked. He's cooked. Innocent until proven guilty. But I think the evidence is quite damning. The evidence is quite damning. But it's also just kind of ruining the if you if you this is this lagging my 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 dueling machine here. It's 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 getting rid of my uh my my situation. Looking good though, yo. Thank you so much. Thanks for the thanks for the compliments. I'm glad you guys already know how I give it up. Now I got to keep doing this. I got to keep. I have to. I'm I'm in it now. Like I'm going to continue to bring a tux every time I host a major tournament. The next major tournament that I consider a major tournament. It's going to be Clash of Champions. 
Clash, uh, clash, clash, clash. Clash of Champions. Clash of Champions coming up. I believe that is going to be May the 24th, I want to say. So I need to start promoting that one right away because I'm trying to get more people to come in in order to qualify. And if you're listening to this stream, if you're listening, if you're listening to this stream, <laughs> if you're listening, if you're listening to this stream and you know someone that is a champion duelist, it does not have to be in go format. It could be at any time. We accept uh, GFC, FLC, um, YCS, previous class of champions winners, world's cha- world's championship winners, any national qualifying winner is going to consider it's going to be a class invited to the class of champions. So if you won a YCS in 2012, you're invited to the go for Matt class of champions. Uh, someone should tell Lux he wasn't around for past class. I'll make sure I'm going to put that information out and everyone will know that if you want to participate in clash of champions, it's becoming uh, one of the go-to events of the year that a lot of people look forward to put on their calendar because there is a lot of ego. There is a lot of, not necessarily narcissism in a bad way, but there is ego here because a lot of these duelists, especially on this level, believe that they are the very best and they believe it wholeheartedly, wholeheartedly and whole, tr- holy, holy true. They believe that they are the very best in the world. So what a tournament when you can take the best versus the best. So all these duels that have entered into that clash of champions have stunned at, stood at the winner's podium in first place and hoisted the trophy. They've all they've all stood there and hoisted the trophy and said, I am the champion. They all have done it. So they, they have a claim to say they're the best. Well, come out and prove it. Let's see who is the champion. Uh, if you won, if you won a Shonen Jump in 2007, you are qualified. Yeah, any Shonen Jump, all Shonen Jump champions throughout time, any year, are gonna are gonna are gonna get in. Okay. Any YCS champion can get in. Pharaoh Tour can get in. It's a vibe. It's, it's a very cool tournament. So come on out and play, and it's going to be cool. We also have 3v3 happening as well. We have – just keep going. No one is taking my title back up. LeBounty, come on in and play. Make sure you take off work that day. You got to come out and defend. You got to come out here and get it. You got to come out here and get it, and let's duel. As we got Dekoichi, the battle chant at Locomotive, is going to reach on in for 1,400. It's going to reach on in for 1,400 as Insidious is – Ahead, uh, and head ahead right now as we have the first established chaos mon hits the board and vibes as we got Jar Bree is going to resolve here with full effect. Uh, who do you have winning? Who do you have winning? I think it's I always in these situations I always kind of go for the the top side player whoever is coming in from that winner side is such an advantageous position. But it can it can any it could be anyone. I'm pretty sure AJT if he takes it one game at a time, one match at a time, and makes this thing um, makes this thing a, a, a reset, it can go either way. But I always lean towards the person who has the advantage as a as a gambling man. I would say as Tristan Horner, aka Herney Hog, comes on in and says, "Thanks for making it enjoyable, JDZ. Yo, thank you for playing Herney, and congratulations to you for punching another ticket to the Goat Format World Championship. You now have two. So congrats and kudos to you. Congrats and kudos to you. It's going to be a pro set heavy storm here. So let's see if we can get some value out of this thing. Maybe you'll chain another discard trap, perhaps another jar of greed, perhaps. As thumbs, <laughs> as thumbs up all around. Uh, it's posted in the, in the events calendar. Uh, Clash of Champions, all the online events should be up there. The only ones that are missing is going to be Goat Grinder 2 and the... European GFC. I'm just looking for dates for those two. I need dates and I need sponsors for those two. Goat Grinder is not only a grinder for the players, but it's a grinder for the staff. Okay, that fan, real. Let me give you guys a a sneak peek behind the curtain. Okay, let me give you guys a. I'm I'm trying to be very transparent in my time here as new Goat Format leader or whatever. The Goat Grinder is the worst tournament to run out of all of them. It is the worst one. Terrible, terrible, terrible tournament to, to run. And if you just give me a reason to get rid of it, I'll get rid of that thing so fast your head will spin, okay? 
So I'm looking, I'm looking for a way to a reason to cancel it. Cause I, I don't want to run it. And every staff member that we have shout out to Bluetooth. He ran it beautifully last time. Shout out to Ivan for winning that tournament, but it'll drive you insane. It's so, it's so hard to do. And it's like a pat. That's like a, it's like a, a welcome to the staff kind of event. Everyone has to do it every now and then, but it's uh it's bad. There are a few GGP events missing on the server, like Detroit and Connecticut. I haven't, the GGPs are not updated. The online ones, are the ggps are not so i'm again on thursday like i said i'm working full ggp information thursday 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 it'll be up on friday big announcement friday for all the remaining ggps there's still going to be a few in planning but i'll have them all on friday should be on the events cat tab by then like i said i just have some vac some vacation coming up i need to take a break i'm gonna have to completely detach from online Yu-Gi-Oh for about three days and then when I come back on Thursday, I'm, I'm back in fully. So if you give me until Friday, I promise that stuff will be up. I promise that I promise that'll be up. This is game number two. Insidious has won game number one. Nope. Check that. I'm bugging. Am I bugging? Am I bugging? Yes, it's game number one. I'm sorry. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. This is game number one. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. My bad as we still are locked and engaged. It looks like we got a T-set here as AJT with a set graceful charity. Look at this guy, he's a madman, dude. Loose cannon over here, I'm, I'm with it, I'm with it. You just gotta do wild stuff sometimes. I'm, I'm in full support of the techniques. Don't sweat the technique. As we're gonna go ahead and get, be, be able to continue to play around Trap Does Shoot, the game within the game. Seeing how much you can fade the trap does shoot, not allowing your opponents to see your hand as it's a card that's heavily played. If you're just joining the stream, this is the Go Format Championship. This is the finals, grand finals. The winner of this will be the champion. Insidious has an advantage. AJT does need to reset the bracket. Does need to reset the bracket as we kick that Sukiyo flip me on off to the GY as we'll throw out the trap does shoot as well. And it was hard summon the Dekoichi. We're trying to get aggro, bring out the black lusted one. And we're trying to go pump, pump, pump. We're swinging, it looks like. No men across out. Big, bulky, beefy damage as Magician of Faith is gonna be the card that is sent from the deck. We'll resolve it completely before attacking. And Insidious needs an answer. Maybe AJT has some ideas of what this set card can be. And it looks like it will not stop the Koichi. It will. Thinking here, not stop the Sork. It will. Book of Moon, show book or you're dead. And you did, did show the book. And that's gonna be a GG all around, all around. Stop, taking game one, AJT break parity first and goes in. As PD, Purple Drunk, is in the chat. Yo, huge shout out to Purple Drunk. Drunk for being in the chat. Yo, PD, why did you not play? Why did you not play, big dog? I didn't see your name in this bracket. I didn't see you out here getting your duel on. Where were you at? Why didn't you play? Where are the Italians at? Why are you guys not playing? Where's Leo P? Where's PD? Where is Ray Saber? Where is the whole Italian syndicate of duels? This thing, this thing was open for the Italians to come in. Was it? Oh, there was. There was GCI. There was GCI. I. There was GCI. I, I thought it was. I thought that was GCI points. The points one. The top cut one. I didn't know that was an actual GCI today. This GC. This GFC seemed kind of free, shifty. Purple. This was your time to win. This is your time to win. That's what I'm saying. Being second place, second place, sec second place, second place, first place, is the way that it could have gone. This is your chance to win. This one was one of the smaller ones. This one only had, we only had 145 people show up. I think you could, I think this was your chance. There's, there's how many Italians we had in the top cut? Somebody show me the Italian to Italian to top cut uh, ratio. Where's, where's my top cut at? How many Italians we got in here? Let's see. We got, we got, there are no Italians in the top cut of this tournament. That might be what it is. The lack of Italians in this tournament might be why, you know what I'm saying, it, 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 maybe less Italian representation. Maybe 
it was uh it was a less Italian, less European inter representation. I don't know. That could that could have been it too. But still, no matter what, man, I think it's I think it's a, a, a good tournament. And we'll see. Lack of EU in general. Let's see how many EU players we got in here. Let's see how many EU players. We got Geronimo 7. We got Bro. We got one EU player. Maybe there's an EU. There might be an EU crisis. There might be an EU crisis in the GOAT world. You might be onto something. There is a lack of uh, of, of European duels. And, and shout out to all the European duelists because the European duelists are at a significant disadvantage playing in these tournaments. I'm not going to lie. The time is unfair. It's, it's, a, it's a dramatic problem. And I will. It is self-identified. We have come up with plans and we're going to be able to... Um, to do more for the European time zone. The reason why is we have goat format Europe discord, which is like another one of our sister discords format library, goat format, Europe, go format war league. It's like a whole family of dueling discords and go format Europe. In my most humble opinion, in no disrespect, I don't think they're doing enough to service the European time zone. There should be more, Go format Europe discourse as AJT comes out with a pot duo situation, hacking the mainframe, downloading the database and going out with a pot duo. Hate to see it if you're insidious as you're losing your break the magic warrior. Games bullshit sometimes. It is what it is. It, it's it's hard. Yeah, especially your whole weekend is getting nuked. You stand up at 3 a.m. one day, you come back the next day, you stand up at 3 a.m. again. It's not sustainable. It's not sustainable. But I promise you. Even if I have to host it myself, even if I have to judge it myself, even if I have to do it alone, there will be another GFC taking place in a European time zone. We're going to start 6 a.m. EST, maybe 7 a.m. I'm going to run the numbers. Whatever prime time. What time is it? Let's see. Let me 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 see. CET. Let's see. 10, 10 a.m. No, 11 a.m. 12 p.m. CET to PST. All right. So 12 p.m. CET is noon. That's going to be 3 a.m. PST. That's what time is going to start. It's going to start at 12 p.m. noon CET time. I promise you. I pr I pr I pr I promise you. If this thing doesn't get at least 120 people show up to this tournament with 80% of those duels being from Europe. I will never do it again. Okay. And that is a 100% fact. This is factual. So whatever date that we land on, we're going to make sure I'm going to check the calendar. I'm going to make sure there's a date and we're going to have a 12. Uh, <laughs> it's going to, it's going to be a, it's going to be a 12 PM C. CET start time. No, it's going to start 3 a.m. my time. So it'll start 6 a.m. East, East Coast time. I don't care. I'm dedicated. I'm locked in. I'm motivated. I don't, I, 3 a.m. is nothing to me. I could stay, I could get up and get this thing rocking. 6 a.m. East, 6 a.m. East Coast start time, 3 a.m. East Coast, West Coast time, or <laughs> East Coast, West Coast, what am I talking about? 3 a.m. PST, 6 a.m. EST, 12 p.m. CST, noon, start time. If I don't get 120 duelists out here in that tournament with at least 85% of them being European, I will never do it again. But it's going to happen. I'm writing it down now. I do, I do not care. Even if I stay up all night and stream the next day, it's going to happen. It's going to happen as AJT is spamming and slamming the Black Lesser Soldier in attack position, starting strong. BLS live early, too. Hate to see it. And Sid is like, you gotta be booping kidding me, man. You gotta be, you gotta be kidding me, man. As BLS's swing swing gets in clean. And let's see if the 3K rocks it as well. As 3K will go ahead and rock out hard, gets in clean again. And then Tribal One will finish it up the drill with another 16. Ben AG says, let me know the dates and I'll book off work to ensure I can go X2 drop. <laughs> Dude, come on. <laughs> Dude, not self-shot. Not a self-shot to take off work 
not a self shot to take off work to go X2. I hate, I'm hating that. I can't, I can't, I can't tell you how much I'm, I'm hating to see that. As we're going to go over a Geki break, just try to rip one in the back row. Maybe you can go Sork here and we're just going to scoop it up there. Never mind. We're going to not scoop, but get, get another draw and at least hope for the best. As you hit the Solemn Judgment and you hit the Heavy Storm, bro, Snatch Deal is insane. His plan, very Snatch like. BLS is insane. If this thing, oh my goodness, can he do it? Do you believe in miracles? What a play. What a snipe. What a duel, huh? I'm panicking if I'm AJT. What do you do? You got second solemn. Well, you, what do you do, PL? What do you do? What do you do? As you're thinking heavy about this, we're thinking heavy huh, about this heavy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we're, th <laughs> we're, th <laughs> we're thinking heavy about this heavy. It's got to be ring set. Somebody's calling for ring of destruction. What do you do? What do you do if you do you ring? What do you think about? Do you ring for draw? Is he bluffing you out? Snatch is real. Oh, I'm so scared, dude. I'm a, I'm a bitch, dude. I don't know what I do. I don't know what I do. I don't know what I would do. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do when you guzzle down sweets? Eating as much as an elephant eats. What are... He should have snatch 100% didn't break the BLS. That's a that's a tough one. That's a tough. That's a that's a toughie. As in City's sitting there, I bet his poker face is on intense. He's just tenso mode. That's why I like playing IRL because you can just really stare him down and make that call. Because you can like look. Let me look into your soul real quick. As AJT will pull the rip cord and go for a ring here. Will pull the rip cord and go for the ring. And if Insidious shows the bluff, we got to pull it back up. Let's see if he bluffed him down or if he had it. We got to pull it up after the stream. We got to pull it up. We got to pull it up. But I'm taking that. If I'm Insidious, I'm taking that draw and I'm running to the bank with it. Because someone goes pot duo freaking turn BLS on you. It's a rough ride, dude. It's a rough, rough ride. So you take that. He definitely had it. Okay. Insidious in the chat saying, I had it. I had it. You, you take, you'll take that. Any day of the week. Because you don't survive. Especially with a player of AJT's caliber. You don't survive too many pot duo openings. You just don't. If it, You just don't. And it's uh it's one of those things. So it's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be cool. I take that I take that any day of the week and twice on Sunday if I am insidious there. As we're gonna be going into a game two scenario technically game three but it's a game two we got another re-roll happening he definitely rb the bls and had to top the heavy okay okay that's pretty dope but i have honestly what, what, what event were we uh i was streaming an event i think it, it might have been it might have been the world war one it might have been world war one or it might have been one of these other tournaments. I think in City was playing, and he made a play very similar to what just happened right now, and he didn't have it. I saw it. He stone cold just played it as if he had it, and it worked out. He he bluffed it out. He's like, I didn't even have it. So he has done it before. He has he has just said, you know what, I'm gonna send it. But obviously, I think the play the play that he made indicated that he did indeed have it. But still, it's gonna be what it is. It's going to be what it is as AJT is going to go ahead and dominate RPS. I know Insidious uses such tactic. He he has done it. He, I, I'm, I've, I've seen it. I It's on the stream. One of these streams. I can't remember which one it was. But he freaking played it like he had it. And he did it yesterday too, Nate Dog. Yeah, good. Remember, yeah, he had the TT. And he played it like he had it. And it worked out huge. It worked out huge. So that was pretty cool. And that's, that's what you got to do, man. You got to be ready to bluff. You got to be ready to know when to hold them and know when to fold them. As a, as AJT is going to make a much lower start this time. Just set a couple. But you do have that trap does shoot, so you're getting perfect information. You're getting near-perfect information. 
Insidious does not get enough credit. Very, very, very under recognized duelist, I would say. I think the hate to credit ratio for Insidious is way too much hate. Not enough, uh, not enough love. It's it's so much negativity incorporated with. I don't know why. He's a very good player, man. It only thing I can think of that I think was negative about Insidious's dueling career that I can remember was just the world, the uh, the War League season one. He had a very tough season, and it just didn't didn't uh, didn't pan out very well. So a lot of people like, oh man, he sucks. He's washed. He's this. He's that. He can't do this. He can't do that. And now he just comes in. He's been playing turbo at some of the highest level in the format, making great runs, topping, getting invites. He's got his third one. He's an extremely strong player, man. Like I don't, I don't know why he gets so much negative. I think it's just too much negativity in his community all around. That's because he was on CC. That's true. That's true. I miss Insidious on CC. He was the last soldier on the on the wall there for a minute, but he completely let that thing go. He's full chaos all the time now, as most people are. I think CC is just in a in a bad spot. You had Guy Steve try some stuff. You had Don't Copy try some stuff for a while, and then they put it down and they're back on their other things. And it's gonna be what it is. As Tribe, aka Beautiful Head Huntress, is on the field smacking in for sixteen, smacking in for sixteen, and will it get in clean? Just trying to put some pressure up, man. And it will not get in clean. We're just going to take rain for both both duels east of 16. Dun, 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 dun. Get my alt op open over here. See if I can... Uh, what's another card? I need a monster. I need a monster that is a normal monster. That is a goat format monster. That is... No matter the type. No matter the attribute. I just need the attack to be 1600 and 1600 and I need the death to be a thousand and a thousand. There's gotta be one out there because beautiful head hunters doesn't have the same stats. So I'm gonna see if I got another guy out there that can fit that bill. Okay. As we got another set coming in, uh, two cards, we have man eating treasure chest is what that is. Or a rogue doll also fits those fits those stat lines as a four star monster with sixteen hundred attack and a thousand defense. Dekoichi is on the field, ready to swing, gets in for fourteen clean, and this game looks like a slower game. This is a cool game. I like these kind of games too when they're not just sacking the piss out of each other. They're just having a little bit of back and forth, whittling each other down, vibing. AJT committed to playing around trap to shoot as you should. <laughs> Rogue Doll and MST is going to go ahead and snipe the Raigeki break. We're in the draw phase now. Stand by for Insidious. You're still holding two. Unknown what those are at this time. Unless I missed something. I was looking away. Snatch Steel coming down again. See if you can get a plus from it. Do so you got the Souk to go with it as well? Is there a Souk to be had? We're going to book them. Insidious getting some maximum value out of that book. Oh. Oh. Dang. That's a terrible, that's a terrible, ouch. I hate when that happens. As you just had double regeki break, double regeki break there, set onto the field. Some people call that a madman tactic, but it worked out great as your opponent goes neg hard. Rarely did see snatch steel turn into a plus value for you. It's always usually a, you're getting negged when someone snatches you, but AGT managed to gain a couple cards out of it as you had to set their Dekoichi and then they get the damn, um, it comes back to your side of the field. Hate to see it. But still, if you see one Regeki big, chances are people don't don't set two together. So I'm saying this, I think still made a pretty good play trying to get a card. And it just did not work out. As we're going to go ahead and set now into the face of this ferocious, ferocious Dekoichi. As Night Ass is going to flip, pop. We're going to continue the aggression. It seems like as 16 is on the board. Do you have another thousand? Sangin would be a GG, and you don't have it to summon, or you don't want to risk a torrential tribute delayed right there. As we're going to smack on in for 14 and 2. There are no trap cards to be had in the GY. We'll set one. 
Ring of Destruction's already been utilized as well. No green on that scene for AJT. Haven't played a spell just yet. And City is sitting at 1,000 down a few cards. Chaos, not live. So we got a lot of dead cards, but Pro Set Heavy Storm is going to be played. Jar of Greed is going to go a, um, I guess going to take a neg there. And, AJ, and, uh, and City is just going to go ahead and scoop it up. So we got the reset. AJT feeling hot and heavy. Great duel. Great game. I'll refresh. Refresh or rehost. I guess you could have just hit the hit the restart there. But I guess they're gonna go out and we're gonna to try to refresh. Maybe get that get that nasty algorithm out of there. Add a whole new algorithm back to the game and see if you can uh rehost again as we backed all the way out of there and see this hosting up again. So we have the reset. Shout out to everyone. If you like a reset, if you like a reset, oh watch the replay. Oh shit, I'm sorry. I should have. I should have. My bad. I didn't think about it. My bad, my bad, my bad. Who's got the replay? Did anybody, did anybody snatch the replay? Can you send it to me in Discord? I'll pull it up here. I mean, I guess we could probably do it afterwards. If you guys want to do like a little post, a post analysis, we can kind of do that. Um, send the replay and, and we can do that. But I didn't, I didn't grab it. I wasn't thinking about it because I wasn't thinking that they would, uh, that they would get out of there. I wasn't thinking that they would, I didn't, I wasn't thinking, I wasn't thinking that they, that they would just start it over as... <laughs> Dude, dude, Scully, oh my goodness, with the JDZ. You guys are killing me, dude. Oh my goodness. Reactions, dude. I never I never knew. I never I never knew how important reactions were until I got into this whole Discord culture and the reactions and the emoting. It's great. I can't get enough of it. It's like another way to speak. It's like another another way to speak as Insidious is hosting up. Fabrico, Fra, Fabricio, Andre, Magne, Mamani says, yo, bro, hello. Nice to see you again. Yo, nice to see you too. Fabrico, Fabricio. Damn, I can't read. My Italian is horrible. Fabricio, Andre, Magne, Mamani. Yo, bro, hello. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you too, Fabricio. Fabricio. Dude, somebody's hosting. You see that? Hold up. You see that? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Can y'all see that? Somebody's cooking, dude. Somebody's cooking. What are, what are, what are, what are they doing in here? Casual $10 decks in Gopher Map. Eric Houdini. Somebody go cook real quick. Somebody send me a casual $10 deck real quick. Let me go cook, Eric. Now, he already got a matchup. Let me see what they're cooking. As they're waiting on, uh, as they're waiting on Insidious real quick. And somebody give, give, let me know when they hop in. But I'm going to see what they're cooking over here. I'm going to see what Joker and Eric are cooking real fast. With their casual $10 decks, dude. Let me see what they got going on in here. I'm a watch, dude. Somebody let me know when the, when the match is back. I think he means the winner gets ten dollars. Ain't no way they just out here cold gambling, unrated. What is a ten dollar deck? I think it's a deck with the estimated value of ten dollars. I'm about to find out. I'm curious too. I am. I am curious as well. My Pac-Man deck is about ten dollars. I think I could have hopped in there and, and cooked with this Pac-Man deck at ten. I think. <laughs> let's see. I just want to see what they. I just want to see what they're cooking real quick. It's a little side quest. We're waiting on the players to come in. Just a little something. Just see what they. I just want to see a couple cards come off the top. Blade Knight is ten. Man, come on now. How much is Blade Knight? I guess it's a couple cent. I guess it's a couple cent. As Eric Houdini got Blade Knight. I hate that play. I don't know about Blade Knight. T one summon sixteen hundred Blade Knight never works out for me. Breaker, look at this. They ain't getting plus though. I hate to see it, bro. I hate to see it. Unless you got something. MSD, yeah, you're getting plus on, dude. Hate that. You could have even ran the red light there. Maybe. That'd have been bold and Derek. Breaker? How much is Breaker? How much is Breaker? You don't even crash, huh? You gotta crash there. Come on now. Eric Houdini, you gotta and yeah, you gotta Ryu Koki. Come on now. You misplay it's misplay number one. You gotta bump coconuts right there. Take your plus. If you get a chance to plus. Take your plus. Why? Why are we wasting pluses like that? Get that breaker, and we're gonna, and we're just gonna take eight thousand right there. I gotta get out of here. Let's see if they're ready to play. Let's see if they're ready to duel. I gotta get out of there. I gotta get up. I gotta get up out of there. It's time to duel. We're in the GFC. I just want to see what a ten dollar, and they're in game. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's do it. We are in the grand finals. Breaker is pennies. Okay, okay. We're, we're talking reprints too. I didn't realize we we're talking reprint. So all these decks are pretty cheap. That wasn't grands. No, 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 no. That, <laughs> that was not the grand finals. 
That was not the grand final. Bring back Houdini. You guys want more Houdini or you guys want the grand finals of GFC? Let me know. Whatever you guys want. We can we can we can do that. And I kind of want to host a stream like that one day, like maybe not a tournament stream. Granted, we talked about that earlier in the stream, maybe in the future, post worlds, um, especially if we can't get more solid staff and just to just to just to deter from burnout, it's very likely that we will probably have less tournaments. There's probably gonna be a significant reduction to the amount of online tournaments that we have because we're just doing too many. And I would like to have more streams where we just hang out on the ladder and do stuff like that because it could be very entertaining and ways to learn or you play or you do other tournaments that are not necessarily as competitive. Yo, what's up? Viking Goats, a.k.a. Lucas G, is in the chat, hanging out, kicking it. Love to see it. The tournaments bring in the people. We're going to continue to uh, we're going to continue to have the tournaments. We're going to continue to have. Of course, we're not going to just stop having tournaments completely. But I think we're just going to maybe go back to how we used to do it, where it's one PWCQ a month, and it's going to be, you know, still one GFC every quarter, one, um, you know, Clash of Champions, because it's just too many. It's too many. And our staff can't support it. It's unsustainable. It's burning everybody out. And it's also burning the player base out as well. So I think that might be a, a necessary thing to do. Granted, it won't happen this season. We're going to make it all the way through Worlds as prescribed but that might be something that takes place then you got to lower the price to enter those tournaments as well i think ten ten dollars like if you go to uh, a locals to play in a tournament you're paying ten dollars to get in anyway i mean you're you're playing you're you're paying you're paying ten dollars i mean ten ten dollars i'm not again i'm not trying to minimize anyone's financial situation and i understand times are very hard and everyone is going to be different and how much money is, you know, going to be around for people have free income to do what things they want to do. But $10 is, is to enter and to enter into a tournament to pay $10. is not that, not a, not a, not a lot. Um, especially when the people hosting it, we're not getting anything. There's no, all the money is trying to go to worlds and to the free events. Like this cash prize pool comes from that money. The mats that we issue out come from that money. You know, the shipping and the all the things comes from from that money. When's this worlds? Ask Gulaz. Gulaz asks when's this worlds? Always going to be the third week of October. That is when the GOAT format world championship take place. Third week of October. The bounty says I can't get my invite with all the tourneys as it is. That's a that's crazy. I don't believe that. You just got to play, big dog. You got you got you got to get your ass together. Get your ass in gear and play. You're not playing enough. You're not playing enough. Plain and simple. You're not playing enough because you're too good to not be invited. The only the only reason you're not invited is lack of motivation. You're not playing enough. And that's it. You're good enough. As we're going to go ahead and hit the Regeki break, discard Knight Assailant, target Mon. <laughs> it is going to be enemy Knight Assailant. So you're going to be able to get back your Dekoichi here. And let's see what we do with it. As you're going to go... 24 in and it's going to be mirror force there so going one for one essentially as that gk spy has already done its duty for king and country getting a plus insidious now sitting at three looking for some good trend as you're going to go ahead and set set and forget kick it back on over to ajt who's already used one dagger looking for another interaction with these set mons and we're going to flip that known decoichi add another draw here into a trap does shoot do you have it Priority has been pass, pass, and chain. And there is a trap to shoot. So AJT did not have the ability to get around this trap to shoot, or he just failed to do so. As we're going to go ahead and have the hand be spy, sork, shoot, and knock. So I guess you could have had a situation where you set up the spy and then play it and flip. I don't know. Maybe he wanted to get the shoot out of the way now. Go ugly early, okay, when you have a known entity. Could be a part of the strategy. <clears throat> when the world needed LeBounty most, he vanished. Did he say go av Avatar last airbender? Dang. Is that what it is? LeBounty's going to come back and break the meta? If anybody can do it, it's LeBounty. He's a strong player, and he has the ability to diagnose the problems and come up with a solution. Being a problem solver is a skill. 
being able to do deduction and reasoning is a skill. As TCG RS, do FLCs cost to join the tournament? No, FLCs are free to enter major gold format tournaments, as are the GFC, free to enter major gold format tournaments, as is World War. Uh, the World War is the newest major online gold format tournament. They should be free to enter gold format tournaments. And Sukiyo Flip Me is going to be added. So this is a plus here. It's not looking favorable as we did, huh? Okay, so a little bit of... Let's go ahead and fix the game state. Sorry, long turn here. It was a uh, it was a misplay. It should. I'm, I'm not gonna make the call. Let's get let's get the judge in the house. MMF, shout out to MMF in the chat. We also have several other judges who understand how this thing is supposed to go. But I believe, I believe, from what I if if I had to, if I had to call it, I think you show it to both players and put it back on top. I think that is the, uh, I think that is the play. I think, I think Insidious gets to know what that card is. It's shown and then it's placed on top or is it just placed on top? Yeah, just, just ask. And then, uh, and then, and then we'll, and then we'll go, we'll go that way. Oh, <laughs> uh, little bounty says I was just on ladder with anti spell. Were you crushing? Were you crushing? Placed on bottom, AJT takes 4,000 damage. Damn, dude. I just had to look at the UDE penalty document. What is the what is the actual what is the actual play here? Manic Lore, I know you I know you've had some judging abilities there. What uh what happens here? I'm pretty sure it it was caught in game. It's a little bit of a warning there. Sounds like reshuffle would be an improvement. Yeah. Cause you can kind of make some plans here, make some plans of what that card is. And MMF is going to make the call. Shout out to MMF again. Shout out to MMF again for coming through huge for GFC and everything that they do. Everything that they do for the goat world, the Edison world, the Tengu world, the freaking hat world, all the retro worlds. It's going to be a vibe. Lavalanti says, of course, I played five matches and all five of my opponents opened by discarding T-Drag. So all five <laughs> went down. <laughs> is that is that so? Lavalanti. Lavalanti, is that is that so? Is that the case? I want to see it. Like, like I said, and I'm not trying to say this about you, Lavalanti, but I was just talking to another duelist out here that claims people come in this chat on this YouTube chat. YouTube chat is like right, like slightly, YouTube chat is slightly, it's slightly below Discord chat. I think Discord chat is a little bit more reliable than YouTube chat. Above YouTube chat, it's probably like Facebook chat. Because people come in this YouTube chat and they'll just start saying stuff. I'm not saying this about you, LeBounty, because you, you're certified. You're an all-time legend, probably one of the greatest to ever do it. Your name is going to be up in the rafters when you hang it up, for sure. For sure, okay? It will happen. When you hang it up, when you say, I'm, I'm done with Go Format, your name's going up in the rafters as one of the greatest to ever do it. But right now, you're talking You're you're, you're talking about it, and you're not, uh, you're not, you're, you, I got to see it. I need application. I need to, I need to visualize. I need to see you out here. You're not playing enough. As MMF says, we're going to shuffle it back in. Okay, so we're going to shuffle it. That's coming in from the head judge. And we will we will ride or die with what the head judge is going to say. No overrule needed. As we're going to go ahead and pass as Insidious is down in position. Down in cars, but not down in morale and attitude. As the reset is underway, AJT is up. Do you want me to bring back warriors or destroy people with anti spell? Now I'm confused. I want you to come back and destroy turbo. I want you to, I want you to, to win tournaments and I want you to be in first place 
with a deck that's not Chaos Turbo. That's what I need. I don't give a damn if it's Moki Moki Beatdown, okay? I don't care if it's Emissary, Tomato, whatever the hell. I don't care what it is. I don't care if it's damn Shinato. I just need you to come out here and put Turbo in its place because right now these Turbo players are running running Rapshaw all over the format. And I can't do it because I'm not good enough to do it, okay? But if you claim that you can, and I believe in you, I want to see it done because I'm sick. I just got to put them in their place. Put them in their damn place. That's what I need. I looked at this damn stream today in this tournament. Guess what I saw? I saw freaking Bobby Bodega flipping damn spies, pitching for Thunder Dragon. Hate to see it, okay? If I see Rabbit out here T-setting fucking Night Assailant, and setting Jar of Greed, I'm going to lose my damn mind, okay? We need to bring balance back to this game. We need to stop being so lazy. We need to start being more motivated. And we need these top players out here proving their mettle and merit. And getting out here and solving the problem. That goes out to you. La Bounty, okay? Challenge issued. Can you do it? <laughs> or can you do it? Next tournament, you will see a new name on the horizon. If I finish all of my exams, I'm gonna write it down. I'm gonna write your name down in the things I need to remember page of my notebook. If your name, if, if your name is, is in these tournaments, I'll remember. And then you'll call your shot right now. Plus Bumani. Am I reading that right? Plus ban, plus, plus, please unban mine. Oh damn, I can't read. Oh my God. That was terrible. That was terrible. That was terrible. That was terrible. Sounds like a challenge. Get out there and play. Spice Master, JDZ, does Heart of the Underdog have potential? It does not. It doesn't. It, it don't, man. I've, I've been cooked by that deck, though. I've been cooked. I've been cooked. I think on the episode when uh, LeBounty came by for the Coach's Corner, I got to bring that show back. People have been asking about it. I got to bring that up, that show back. That was a good uh, that was a good program. But we had LeBounty come by and we both got cooked by Heart of the Underdog. It can beat you. <laughs> Sorry, I can't read. I went full dyslexia there for a second. I said plus but uh, plus be miney. Please unban me. It's going to take over the goat world. Please unban me. I'm going to tell you right now. You're not the first person to say something like this. You're not the first person to say, to make these bold, wild claims in this YouTube chat. But I tell you what, you will not be the first person to just disappear off the planet of the earth and not make it happen. Talk is cheap. Talk is low value. Talk means nothing. You got to do it. I need execution. I need deliverance. I need, I, I need vibes. As AJT is digging, digging, digging. One win away from winning this whole thing coming in from the dip from double dip in the chip making it happen from this impossible losers bracket like everyone is saying all these players were just oh no not the losers bracket i went through swins and i gotta start with the losers bracket oh, i can't ever win you should have it was all over the place oh my god i can't believe this format it's so oh my god <laughs> AJT was like, I'm going to grab it. I'm going to go. I'm going to get it done. Okay. And he's getting it done. Trying to. But in cities, it's like, not not now. I ain't heard no bell. I ain't heard no bell. You've been sacking me. Guess what, big dog? I can sack, I can sack your ass right back. As we're going to go ahead and show the pot of grief. Show the trap dust shoot. Show the thunder dragon. Oh, my God. I am so done. I am so. <laughs> I, am, I, I am so done i i can't deal with this right now i want to play and i want to just top but <sighs> it's too hard from the loser bracket <sighs> crying okay crying and here we are aj is like i'm gonna make it happen i'm a dog i'm gonna go eat you show me the you show me the guy, put him on the other side of me, and I'm gonna take his ass out, dude. I'm gonna take his ass out, dude. I don't care. Double elimination, triple elimination, Swiss, freaking single elimination, round robin, goddamn, I don't give a damn. You put him in front of me, and I'm gonna take his ass out. That's the attitude of a champion. Okay? That's the attitude of a champion. 
and I love it. I think I think it's I think it, it is is <laughs> is one of those things. I'm not, I didn't say any names. I didn't say anything. I'm just saying there was a lot of it. There was a lot of it happening. There was a lot of it, and here we are. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. It's it's just it's just one of those things. It just happened. It, it oh, <laughs> it just happened. This sounds like a generic corn outro album, dude. You you, did you, you know you know you know my you know my uh you know my corn you know my corn impersonation is is, is spot on, dude. I love me some corn. You know, you know my, you know my corn person. I can't do it now because I'm on, I'm nervous and I'm on the spot about it. I'm, I'm on the spot with it, but I love some corn, man. Corn needs to come back. I can't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. I did it before. It was pretty good. <laughs> good old corn. Are they still making music? Is corn still making music? Do they still have songs coming out? Is corn? Does corn? People like Yu-Gi-Oh and Corn. <laughs> I love Corn. I like Corn. I I didn't I didn't listen to a lot of Corn growing up because it just it just wasn't in my in my area. Like it just wasn't music that I I listened to. But as I got older and started to appreciate other walks of life and other cultures and different types of things, I kind of got into Corn a little bit later on, dude. And they go crazy, dude. I rock with Corn. <laughs> Something I can't do. It. I can't. I can't do it. I'm dehydrated. My 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 voice box is not clean. Twist, twist. There it is. There you go. That's all you get. That's all. That's all. That's all you get. Acting like a freak on a lead. Something like that. A little something like. Corn, corn, not porn. I said corn, corn, <laughs> corn. Okay, all right. Sorry, 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 sorry. Back to the chat. Back to the game. Back to the game. Back to the game. They're one sided. When they're one sided like this, you can kind of you can kind of see what go what goes down. But here we go. 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 All right. So Insidious is up. We're back to the grandfather. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. You're right. You're right. Ten. We need to be more 50 50 instead of 90 10. Okay. You're correct. My bad. We got upstart. It's up and it's started. We got three for AJT, who's trying to dig out of this trench that you found yourself after a strong, vigorous opening from Insidious. You got Snatch Deal is up. We got Snatch Deal is up, and it's looking to get a major plus if it can take over, pound into the GK Spy. And now we're thinking here. <laughs> and you will do a delayed Regeki break, so you will get some value out of it, but not the value that you had wanted as now you're still sitting behind two full cards, chaos, not live as you're checking both duelist graveyard and see is, is set up for a potent potential push from a powerful. Damn it. I lost it. Almost very close. Very close as Sangin, thunder dragon, GK spy getting clean. I need to get some H2O. Let me text. Let me text somebody. Let me text a. Let me text a, a, a child to bring me some water. My water bottle's in my truck, dude. My water bottle's in my in my truck. Let me get a. Let me get a little text message in here. <clears throat> See if I can get one of these one of these children to come help 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 the old man out, dude. Help the old man out as we're going to go ahead and set, set, flip, spy. And this is pressure, pressure, pressure coming down as Insidious is viewing the deck. Do you have another nobleman that's pro set onto the field? If this is GK spy, you're living and you're laughing and you're loving stall control. Stall on the wall and look at that GK spy. Look at him go. Look at him go. Look at him go. Dang. <laughs> you like that? You like that? Hey, man. You know what? I've been doing this for a little bit, man. I got, I got some, I got, I got some, I got some, I got some bars left. You know, I don't even figure me out. You think he figured me out?
Did he summon? Did the summon spy have to be an attack? I maybe it was a uh, something to do with Night Assailant. I think that could have been a vibe. Maybe Night Assailant could have. I don't know if he had enough to swing through a, a Night Assailant there. I, I think could have been where we were at with it, or maybe it was also playing around a uh, Sukiyomi could have been there. But he, I think he just was all in and. It happened to be GK Spy. Like if it was, it was Suk, I think his his attack plan beats the Suk and Night Assailant. I think something like that. Something like that. Unless Suk is gone already, I'm not. I'm not sure. But he went for it, and it did not work out because either way, it was GK Spy, regardless. But it's going to be what it is. As now we got the chaotic one who's going to be down, and he's ready to yeet. So <laughs> And I'm getting nowhere though. I'm getting no response. Let me text another one, dude. Let me text another one. Somebody please support me, dude. I'm gonna text all three of them, dude. They all got phones, bro. Somebody help me out. Hey, I'm telling you, kids ain't worth a damn. These kids, man, these kids ain't worth a damn, dude. That's not very skibbity. I need some H2O. They're actively ignoring me at this point as we're going to go ahead and bump coconuts here. Just trying to ensure your GY is a stout, still established. I suppose get that thing off the field. This chaos sorcerer is getting major plusage. This is game number two of match number three. I hear some, I hear some rustling out there. I hear some rustling as chaos source is going to get another vigorous plus as we're just plus and ultra there. Dude. <laughs> oh man, I'm I'm hearing nothing. Let me let me hit the last one up, dude. Let me hit the youngest. The youngest is is the go to man. She'll be there. She'll be there for me, dude. Oh, I'm, so, I'm hearing some rustling. Please, as we're gonna go ahead and hit the Regeki break target set. It is Night Assailant, and that's gonna be in a main phase one. Oh, thank you so much. Very, very skippity of you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, man. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh. Woo. Feels good. <laughs> oh, my God. Feels good. Oh, man. Dang. As we're going to set the Sork this time with Sukiyomi. That's a tongue twister. And now you have to think long and hard. And Sidious has been rocking and rolling. Could this be a torrential tribute? Maybe is what AJT is. He getting bluffed off his spot again. You never know as we're viewing. Could be anything. All these. It could be another. I don't know. That's right, man. I, I do. I, I got I got the life, dude. I got the life. <laughs> I quit, dude. I quit. No more. No more corn. We're done with corn. We're done with sucking. We're done with skibbity, dude. No more of any of that. We're locked into the fucking... To, to, fuck it. That was a hard curse. Dude. We're locked into the grand finals. No more skibbity. No more anything. We're locked in loaded. All right. All right. All right. So we're still holding position. Here in the first main phase, as AJT is on the play. This is a tight spot. This is a tight spot. What do you do? And we're flipping it. Do you got it, Insidious? Insidious just gives a thumbs up all around. And then we're just going to stroke in with 2300. And it goes down clean. So you're not bluffed off your spot. You're going to just go ahead and take your 23. Rolling the dice. Insidious didn't have it. He tried to bluff you down. And you called it. And he just had to fold. So here we go. We're in draw phase now for Insidious, who is now at three cards, staring down two spell casters, and it is the tribal one. Or no, not tribal one. It is a snatch deal. Tribal would have went pretty hard there too. And this is going to be a GG scenario. So we're going to game number three. We're going to game number three. As Shogun says, Korn's Woodstock performance is legendary. I just watched that documentary. I just watched that documentary. Um, a couple days ago, the woods, it's, I think it's on Netflix, the Woodstock 99, the Woodstock 99 documentary about that time. It was crazy. 
watch that one. If you like a documentary, go check that one out. It's really, really good. It's really, really good. <laughs> Twisted transistor. <laughs> Something. Come on, man. I love corn, dude. I like corn. I like, uh, I like, who else I like? Oh, man. I, I like, I like a lot of alternative rock. I got into it. I got into it pretty heavy a while back. I like, I like a, a lot of the alternative stuff. I like a lot of chill stuff, chill vibe kind of music. R&B, of course. Rap. I don't really listen to too much rap these days. I just, I just, I think I'm just too old. I like a lot of the classic stuff, the 90s stuff. Someone's DMing me over here. What are we saying? Oh, and see, it's just giving a little bit of a little bit of backside information saying that mirror force was indeed set. I don't know if I can say that he texted me. So I had to just for you guys so you can have some illuminating information. So he did hold uh, hold the mirror force and was re greatly rewarded by the snatch deal. So there you go. As we are side decking in progress. Yo, make sure you guys are continuing to like the stream. And my uh, oh, we got some subscribers coming in. Yo, 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 Michael Kemp. Campley, Campley has subscribed. It's not notifying me anymore. I think I turned the sound off. And Logan has subscribed. Yo, welcome, Duelist, to Goat World. Thank you for coming out and participating and playing. Lincoln Park and Yu-Gi-Oh were my childhood. Dude, that, uh, what was that? Was it Meteora or Hybrid? Which one came out first? Was it Hybrid Theory or Meteora? The one with the hits on it? Oh, how did the song? How did the song go? Uh, Ding 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 da 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 da. It starts with one. Which one? Which one was that on? Hybrid Theory was for that thing went crazy, dude. That thing was coast to coast, slappers, top to bottom, dude. Slappers, top to bottom, dude. It was so good. It starts with one thing. I don't know why. It doesn't really matter how hard you try. Dude, it's so good, dude. Keep that in mind every time to find this day in due time. All I know. So good, dude. So good. So good, dude. That was a and uh, what was the what's the other one? What's the other one? Uh Don't turn your back on me. I won't be Is that the same one? No, what's it what's the other hit? They had another one. Uh damn. Damn, dude. Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. And we're back, we are back as AJT makes another slow start. This is it, dude. This is it, dude. This is it. You can't ask for a better tournament. You can't ask for a better result. Two of the best players that we have in our game, locked and engaged in a winner, go home, loser, whatever. Shit, reverse that. Winner, go on, loser, go home, finale. This is it. If you like go for man, you have a pulse. Even if you don't like go format, you're on the edge of your seat because you're trying to see who's going to take this thing down. You got Insidious. He already has his third invitation. AJT got his first. But both of these duelists, they want the title. It's not about the invites. It's not about the crown. It's not It's not about the trophy. It's not about the... It's going to be for... It's, it's, it's going to be for all the gusto as MST is played in the ending phase. We're sniping, trying to go after that trap does shoot, and you're hitting the Sakuretsu armor, and Sidious brings that thing in. Probably a part of the plan. You gotta stop that level two. You gotta stop that damn Kaiku to Ghost Destroyer from dog walking your whole operation. Man, oh man, what a duel. As we're flipping GK Spy, we're bringing to attack position, getting a plus, and we're bearing down. It appears. Let's see if we got another summon to put beside this GK Spy. And we're just going to wait. And we're going to TT rip it right here. And Sidious is not going to take the chance. Just trying to keep that damage output low. Going one for one here. Not the end of the world for AJT as he's got two dark monsters in the GY. That other one was plus. Still good use of a torrential tribute. And, but AJT still has a normal summon yet to transpire. As we got a little bit of damage here. Are we jammed up? Not like this, Dueling Book. Dolomo can't handle it? Not like this, DB. Am I kicked? Are we lagged? Okay, we got a little bit of lag. We got a little bit of lag. Okay, cool, 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 cool. We're not doing that. We're not We're not lagging out. We're, got, we're not lagging out. As we're going to get a jar of greed here, it looks like AJT is looking for a normal summon to put on the board and start pushing the, uh, pushing the agenda. We'll just calmly put down another T-set as Insidious now has the momentum to take over this board. <laughs> Nick M asked, was the bracket reset already? Oh, the bracket was riggedy, riggedy reset. This is it. 
This is the tournament is right here, right now. Lock in. Just don't miss it. Don't touch that dial. Tell your friends, this is the very last game of the tournament. We're going the distance. We're talking nine rounds of Swiss. Top eight run. This is it. It all comes down to this. It all comes down to this as Insidious is just going to set two more spell traps. AJT got that T set. He's able to flip first. It's going to be Dekoichi. We're going to add one. It's going to be an add one. Dang. And they had a the, they had a draw in one of those games too. So they had extra games. Rampage, uh, Levani says, incoming ring for a draw. One more game is needed. Oh, why you got to say that? Now that's going to actually happen too. And you're going to have to, we're on bated breath for more. As we're going to go ahead and attack into the set, it is going to be that Sukiyo flip me who's strong enough to wall out that damn Dekoichi and flip itself back face down into defense position. And City is holding tight. Two Thunders in hand. Sukiyomi on the field. AJT has some rich nutrients in hand. Hanging on tough. As we'll summon forth your own Sukiyo flip me. And then you got the ring of destruction. We're going to go ahead and put that Dekoichi into the bin and take 14 off of each. Your normal summon has transpired as Tsukiyomi will go ahead and add itself back from the field to the hand. So here we are in this position. AJT holds five. Tsukiyomi is known. Thunder Dragons have not been deployed. Vibrate, whereas Insidious has deployed the TDs. Graveyard still not saturated. You could set it up now if you felt so inclined. Punch down for 16. But let's see what Insidious elects to do. As we're going to go ahead and just set another card beside that Sukiyo flip me. And now AJT has a decision to make as he's going to have to be forced to set in the face of the Sukiyomi and unknown as we're just T set. Oh, T set as well. Two set spell traps. Kick it back on over to Insidious. Hold strong in the end phase. Maybe you might have a card you want to chain. And it is going to be that mystical space typhoon. We're going to come after that regeki break, which may have been used on one of those set mon. <clears throat> and you're going to go ahead and flip the nasty night ass. He's going to be able to pop your set mon. It is that magician of faith, clean plus value. And this pairs well with that Sukiyo flip me that could be set up onto the field as you flip it and reset that night assailant. So this is a great play from Insidious as you're able to bear down with 11 as well. This is looking pretty clean for Insidious here. As you take 1,100 off, and this is looking pretty great for the red corner player. AJT, let's see your GY. It's now saturated. You got the ability to make the plays that you want to do. Light and dark established. You're going to go Thunder Dragon up here for the draw. <laughs> Adding two. And you got Sinister Serpente which is pretty not great as you take the 200, but maybe you're looking for a, a banishment main phase two, perhaps could be the energy you're going for as yes, you will go ahead and execute, send chaos sorcerer out just to get that nasty night ass off your case. Take a plus where you can and hopefully take back control of this board. That Tsukiyomi night is saying lock is one of the gro most grotesque uh, locks you can have. Magician of faith as well as we talked about earlier. But getting that thing broken up is probably really important. As you still understand, there are several cards in in Insidious's hand that just aren't really doing a lot right now. Insidious really needs that grace of charity to cash in these damn Thunder Dragons and gets the ball rolling. As in as AJT is continuing to try to maintain this momentum and get the dub, pressure is mounting. Pressure is mounting. Checking Insidious graveyard. Yeah, there is no Dark Monster yet. There is no dark monster yet as we're holding position here in the first main phase still for AJT BLS. <laughs> Dang. Dang. As we'll summon the Sukiyo flip me face down is going to be the chaos sorcerer. And now let's see what we do here as we flip the chaos sorcerer back bash in with the Sukiyomi. <laughs> And it is going to be that Tsukiyomi yet again, as you're going to just reset that Tsukiyomi back down, take a little bit of damage from AJT. Mm 
And then we'll just go ahead and clear the Tsukiyomi here. And let's see who you elect to set. You're going to pin that Tsukiyomi back down to the field. And now your graveyard is set up. So AJT has offered Insidious the opportunity to bring out a Chaos Monster. But at the same time, he has the Trap Dust Shoot. So if it is too much, you'll be able to relieve him of that. <clears throat> you'll be able to you'll be able to take it down. So Insidious would be in a great spot if you had two Chaos Monsters in this type of scenario, which you very well could. You play three. You could be holding on to two as you understand what some of the cards are in hand, two TDs. Very, very strong trap does shoot. It's going to be Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer is going to find his way tucked back into the go format dueling deck of Insidious. And the hand is Sork Sork TD TD. Mirror Force, it looks like. So he did have two Chaos Monsters as well. As you're going to go one light, one dark, we're going to bring out none other than the Chaos Sorcerer. Chaos Sorcerer, thumbs up all around, and you're going to be able to banish Chaos Sorcerer with not an issue. And then you'll tribute the Chaos Sorcerer for a Thunder Dragon. Heads up play by Insidious, ensuring to set your graveyard up for your next potential Chaos Monster as Ring of Destruction is going to come on in and, ban and blast the Thunder Dragon. Both duels taking 16, AJT preserving his set monster onto the field. And now we have to think. There is a Mirror Force in hand, known Thunder Dragon, known Sork, so you have all the information. Sork, Thunder Dragon, Mirror Force is the play for Insidious. What do you do? Whew, man, I'm stressed. AJT, though, holding, as Insidious says, holding on to two Thunder Dragons and Serp. So really, it's a, you're, you're at two real cards that are really active. Hmm. <laughs> no, this is not the first game. This is game three of the bracket reset. This is game number three of the bracket reset as you're forced to put a known entity of Mirror Force on the field, face down, right there in the middle. But AJT has to think about the damn Chaos Sorcerer that is looming. It's so it's such a tight spot, man. That's a tight, that's a tight, tight, tight spot. Tight spot, man. Very cool. Very cool stuff. What a game. What a match. Wow. Coming down to it. As Insidious is saying, first to pot and grace is going to win. And those games do happen like that sometimes. It's going to be what it is as AJT has to figure out a way to finesse a mirror force and a damn chaos sorcerer. As we bring forth the uh, Sinister Serpent, hard summon, set, and then bash in for 11. And let's see if this goes in or will we go ahead and reveal that mirror force. Eat the 11. Take the Mirror Force challenge. What do you do? Let's see what it's going to be. <laughs> Zozoth. That is Dilf. Dilf and Teva says the old flippity floppity. The old flip flop maneuver. That's tell as old as time, dude. Tales as old as time. Both a little scared. Neither one prepared. Beauty and the Beast. Come on, Sukiyomi. It's been flipping and flopping since 2003. Get it in. Putting cards face up, face down, all around town. As now we have Sukiyomi, Thunder Dragon, Sinister Serpent, Mirror Force Set, Three Sork, TX Hand. They're just typing, getting the information out. <laughs> Barely even friends, then somebody bends unexpectedly that's what this uh that's what this game is all about this tells those that the 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 lyrics to that song go hand in hand with what you see in go from at Yu-Gi-Oh. tales as old as time tales as old as time something like that i, I can duet myself too I'm multi talented multi-faceted multi everything okay sing dance act play right whatever you need i got you as you got another set onto the field Jar goes crazy. Upstart goes crazy. Shaking that hand up, getting some new information going, finding a set, putting on the field. We got a duel here as both of these duels are getting deep, deep, deep into the GOAT format database right now, staring each other down openly. We'll flip to Koichi. 
Man, if JDZ was good at Yu-Gi-Oh, he'd be re <laughs> he really would be able to do it all. Damn, dude. Damn, dude. Hate to see it. 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 Come <laughs> cooked. That was good. I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. So good. <laughs> All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We're still main phase one though. I gotta lock back in. This is this is tight. This is tight. This is a tight spot. This is tight, 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 tight. I think it's a bend but don't break thing. Whoever whoever yields first, you're gonna have to grind it and get to your true cards and hope for the best as the Koichi is going to attack into your set here. And now you're thinking that mirror force, how how much better is it gonna get? I guess it can get a lot better. I guess it can get a lot better, but who knows, man? And you're just gonna pull the trigger right here because that damn Tsukiyomi was looming and you just had to get it off the field. And you're just gonna go ahead and T-set, pass back on over to Insidia. So the Mirror Force is gone. The last known card you have, I believe, is gonna be that Chaos Sorcerer. And uh, and Thunder Dragon. I think Thunder Dragon is still looming as well. So you're kind of kicking it as AJT, I think some of your information, you got Serpent, you got a Tsukiyomi, you got a Thunder Dragon in the in the fray somewhere, and you got another super duper trap to shoot. Holy moly, that's a game winner ender right there. That is a game ender right there, as Insidious says, I threw, I just mentioned that too, bend but don't break. You gotta respect trap to shoot right there. If there's any way to play around it, even if you burn a card, you gotta play around it. You cannot get trapped that shoot in this situation. It's too much. It's too much. Not against AJT. Not right now. Not behind in cards. Not without your trend set up. Not without your 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 shit going on, man. Can't do it. Can't risk it. I think there's ways you could have played around it, but it's just too tough. Now you got this damn. Oh man, it's tough. That's tough. That's tough. That is tough. Let's see what we got here. Unless you got a, you probably could have some a, a, a night ass is good. A night ass is good. I think that's a good start. As you're gonna night, <sighs> hi cha, hi cha. I had to be singing. Damn it, dude. Come on now. Let's be real. Let's be real. I hate night ass pop singing. But you know the other is serp. So what can you do? What can you do? What can you do? Oh man. As you're gonna pop the singing. So you get a search here. He's going to get a search here. As as uh, Dilf says, he flipped a really bad jar. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's that's a... I mean, you got to... I guess you need your cards. I want a structured settlement, and I need cash now. Cold JG. He needed settlement, dude. He needed a pot. He needed a charity. But still, th that dust shoot, man. Dust shoot is, is, a, is, a, is a kick in the balls, dude. Hard one. With, like, steel-toed boots on. It hard. It hard. It, it's hard. As Insidious, get out of this chat and lock in. Focus. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of this chat, man. But yeah, you gotta, you gotta, damn. Yeah, kick it. You could do, you could do that. Kick the, kick the TD out. Take a little neg. But then he duos you, and you feel like an idiot too. So that's one of those things that just damned if you do, damned if you don't. He's got, he's gonna have shoot or he's gonna have duo. You kick the damn thunder dragon, he duos you, and you feel like an asshole. Hate to say, it. hate to, hate to see it. As we're gonna go ahead and tribute set any old card could be anything. Not gonna lie, could be a, a few things, but we'll see. As the Thunder Dragon is probably gonna be in defense position. <laughs> As Thunder Dragon could potentially be down in defense position, AJT has a billion cards at his possession, and Graveyard is set up for all the possible plays you could ever want to make. One Chaos Mon is already down. The hand is Moth, Tribe Infecting Virus. So you got to try to, if you're going to make a push, it's got to be a game ender. The set is Guardian Sphinx. Trust me. Okay, I'll trust you. I'll trust you. I'll trust you. Alessandro Casolino says, yo, JDZ, how's the score? This is game number three of match number two on a bracket reset. AJT is up in position. If he wins, whoever wins this game is the champion. Whoever wins this game is the champion. Whoever loses has to has to take second place. So it's gonna be it's that's just the nature. That's the nature of the game. Second place, GFC, second place is what it's gonna be. 
but that's that's uh that's where we're at with it. All the all the lists are up on Discord. As we're gonna go ahead and tribute the Sinister Serpent, bring out Thunder Dragon, bring out Chaos Sorcerer. So we're just trying to push, push, push. Looks like we got a chaos play coming down. Normal summon is up. And we're going to battle in as we're going to just smack into the Thunder Dragon. And then Chaos Sorcerer is going to rattle in for 2300. We'll set one and vibe. Now we have to think. We got Tribe. We have Faith. And we have a draw. You might have to get. That sucks, man. You're going to blow your whole wad. Hey, yo. No pause. Trying to get this. Trying to clear this board. And then you're going to have nothing left if you if you do that. Hate to see it. <clears throat> Hate to absolutely see it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And tribe is up. So I think this might be the play as we got no negation on the solemn judgment. No, I mean, no solemn judgment on the summon. We allow that to rock as we're going to go prio, prio pitch. And prio pitch. We're going to hit, kick the faith, hit the chaos sorcerer, I would only assume. Maybe he's got snatch again. Snatch would be vigorous and violent. Man, this game is so tight, man. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, thanks. I seen JDZ chilling with Diddy. Come on now. I'm not chilling with Diddy. Come on now. I'm not doing that. As we know that there is a TD, Sukiyomi, and Dekoichi, as Insidious knows those cards are available. Trying to think about it. Trying to ponder. Oh, man. Oh, man. Edge of my seat. Oh, man. Get nervous. Got to sing a song. What are we, what are we on? And not, <laughs> I'm not going to sing any more songs. If you're going to call for the Thunder Dragon, go for the Snatch Steel. Are we going to snatch victory from the jaws of defeat? Feet, feet. How much damage is this? Is this enough? Could this be? 16 and 23 all go in cleanly. Do you have a heavy storm? Do you have a card that can interact with this Snatch Steel? And you have your own Snatch Steel. And it's going to be GG's. Good games all around as Chaos Sorcerer will go back to AJT BLS's side of the field. We'll just hit a chunky banish here. Go for a flip reset and swing in for game. And AJT BLS has done it. Securing the loser's bracket, making a tournament run, and is now your newest GOAT format champion. Round of applause for AJT BLS for doing that. What a stellar Stellar performance. He played that game probably as well as you could have. And I like these kind of games. There was a no Trinity game. Neither one of these duels played a single piece of the Trinity. And they just had to grind the shit out of each other, dude. Ayo, no pause. Very well done. Taking nothing away from Insidious. I think he's an incredible player. Strong player. Making it to another top of a GFC. People can play this game for 15 years and never make it this far. He's done it back to back in, in rapid succession. But AJT is truly... Truly, 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 truly a great player as he has now four major GOAT format wins in recent years, three FLCs, and now AJT is true and blue. Very well done for both of these duels. Man, I can't say enough. Oh my goodness. What a stellar and fantastic performance by all of the duels that played. Huge shout out to everyone in the top eight. Huge shout out to um, everyone who, um, who participated. I'm going to send the cash out now. I will also have the trophy. I'm probably going to take it back to the shop to get the uh, to get the player's name put on it this time. That's something I really wanted to do. And that will be going back to Windsor. Windsor, Canada is now the home of the GOAT format champion. 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 But again, as I stated before, huge shout out to everyone in the community for coming through and playing some GOAT format Yu-Gi-Oh! It's been great. It's been an honor and a pleasure to host this tournament. Thank you so much to MMF. For coming out and partic and, and hosting as uh, as running mantis manually by hand, manually by hand 
a 145 person tournament mantis all the way through nine rounds of swiss so make sure you thank that duelist when you see them around the discords and thank them for their service and uh, and all that kind of stuff thank you again to all the staff that helped out day one and day two and thank all of you um so i have all the winners from all the raffles and all the games that we played we're going to get those out uh probably tomorrow i'll swing by and i'll get this stuff out to south of the champions as well but that's all i have duelist Thank you all so much for kicking it and enjoying it with us on the stream today. It's been a blast and it's been an absolute pleasure. And I really mean that from the bottom of my heart. And I hope to see you all sticking around. As I stated before, there are going to be several GOAT Grand Prix that are happening all over the GOAT world. We have PWCQ next weekend. Okay, so we're coming right back at it. We'll have PWCQ next weekend on Sunday, I believe it's going to be PWCQ. So come on in and play. If you wish to play, all you have to do is be a premium member in the Discord or a premium member in the Patreon, and you can participate in PWCQ number 57 or 8. 57. I can't I can't remember what, what number it is, but I'll find out. You guys see it. It's out in the uh it's out in the in the announcements. But Duelist, thank you so much for coming out and kicking it with me. I really appreciate these past two days have been a true, true treat. And from the bottom of my heart, I hope I see you guys all next weekend. And I see, hope I see you all in GGPs as well. As always, Duelists, I'm JDZ. I play Ghost. Until the next time, shout out to all the real ones. Salute to the OGs. Peace, 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 peace. Ahoo!